Okay, hey guys, welcome to the stream. How's everyone doing today? Obviously not many people here just yet, but that's cool. Alright, so I'm doing something that's a little bit unusual because... And somebody noticed it in the chat already. In the last live drip, last stream, somebody said, Hey Legend, what about Krokgar? And I was like, yeah, I'll think about it. So I thought about it. And yeah, okay. <laughs> that's So if it wasn't for that guy going, Hey, what about Krokgar? This live stream would be a different faction. Uh, because I thought about it and I was like, I haven't played Krokgar in a while. And I like it. So I'll do it. So we're going to play Krokgar, Legendary Difficulty of course. I'm just going to put the Endgame Crisis on default because I don't enjoy the Endgame Crisis. And let's be honest, we're probably not going to get to it anyway. And, uh, yep. Cool. We're good to go. So... A big change, I think, to Lizardmen over Warhammer 2 is that I definitely recruit melee infantry with with Krokgar. In fact, I usually spam it. Um, it actually feels good playing Krokgar and having quite good Saurus Warriors and Saurus uh, Generals. And I don't tend to spam... Stegadons, which is what I'm most known for when playing is the Lizardmen. You just don't need to do it in Warhammer 3. You don't need to do it. You know, the reason why you had to do it, we well, didn't have to do it. The reason why I did it in Warhammer 2 is because quite often you will have one army and it'll just be wave after wave of enemies. And so you needed a unit that was able to thin the enemies out without, you know, getting totally obliterated. And the Stegodon unit is the best for that because they've got ballistas. So if you go up against a smaller army, you can walk away without any damage. And if you've got a life wizard into the army, you know, a life slan or a oracle, you could heal whatever damage you want. But you don't really need to do that in Warhammer 3 because the enemy don't really put up much of a fight. Uh, XJS become, uh, became a member for 21 months. Let's go, legend. All right, thanks, dude. Appreciate this. Sora's hero doom stack. You can do that. It is good. I'm probably not going to have time to do that. Legend, what about Nakai? I did think about Nakai, but I've I've already done a live stream campaign with Warhammer 3 as Nakai. Whereas I don't think I've done one as Krokgar. I've played I've played Krokgar in my own time. I know I've got a save file with him in here somewhere, but I I don't think I've live streamed him. You hate playing Cold Blast? Teach me, Senpai. Um, I definitely think that the Lizards could use an update, for sure. But I think they feel pretty good in Warhammer 3. So we start off with the Golden Colossus, and we've got access to Saurus. And I definitely want to recruit those, because we get all kinds of bonuses. If we have a look over this, we got reduced upkeep cost for armies led by Saurus Old Bloods. Weapon strength per character rank for Saurus Scar Veterans and Old Bloods. Experience gain for them. And then this here, we got reduced upkeep cost for the army, 15%. Unit experience gain plus 25. Yeah, so we, we definitely benefit from getting Saurus Warriors. Okay, what do we get here? Humble. Okay. Um, it's fine. And we start off at war with. Highborn. Clan Mordkin, and I don't think we can do any diplomacy. Should always check what we can. We can actually get out of this war on turn one, but we shouldn't. Kyle, maybe, maybe, <laughs> did a five dollar super chat. Uh, gotta love time zones. I'm here bright and early before my six a.m. shift Pacific time. All right, no, dude, thanks for the super chat. Appreciate it. Uh, okay, now let's have a look here. If we do an or we also start off with two Blessed Saurus Warriors, which Blessed Saurus Warriors are really good. Um, this is what I'm thinking. These two units here make a rush for this. That's that's how we minimize casualties. Cause yeah, otherwise we're gonna take a lot of damage if we actually try to actively kill them all. They've got two menace belows. That's not going to do anything to us. Alright. Low FPS. Uh, seems to be running fine on my system at the moment. 
Rock card start is very slow. That is true, yes. Did they update the geometric web? They updated it, but it's not great. The sound, the game sounds a bit high. Okay, I can turn that down. Yeah, just let me know if there's any issues and I'll adjust what I can. You know, I can't pull extra performance out of this game any more than what I've currently done. I've tweaked it so many times to try to get better out of it. It just it won't go anymore. Game runs absolutely fine for me, but I think it's just, um, I think it's OBS. OBS really chugs with Warhammer 3. Really chugs with it. I don't recall it ever chugging this much with Warhammer 2. Okay, so I usually like to stay over here because the towers can't get us. Just with them to begin with. But what I want to do is send these two around this way to open the gate first. Actually, I'll send you with them as well. But don't send this... Actually, no, I might send this one as well. Okay, leg it. Yeah, that tower is looking like it is active. But yeah, see there's no one over there. So of course we want to minimize damage as much as possible. Here, could you try to tank those shots? Because I don't want this one taking casualties. It'll reduce their camping power just a little bit. The tower there. Don't you like it how the Skaven in Warhammer 2 they had um, two settlement types? <laughs> and in Warhammer 3, they've made it so they've only got one settlement type. Every single time you fight the Skaven, it'll always be this map in a walled city siege. Always. Uh, who would you recommend for a min-max Lisbon campaign? Oxyodal or Tehenowin? I'd recommend Tehenowin. Tehenowin's got some insane buffs to his faction. You might not be using the right encode in OBS. I tried a whole different... I tried to dip... Like, tons of different encodements... Encodings with OBS. This is the best one. That I've got on. So... I, like I said, I've, I've spent hours trying to optimize it, and it just, it just I'm not going to get any more out of it. So I just need to either get a better computer or just deal with it. Alright, those are the two menace belows we need to worry about. Unfortunately, we definitely did a number on us here. That's okay. So by leaving those guys there, what's happening is that these guys are, are waiting for us to attack. But I have no intention of attacking unless this fails. But if, if this fails, it's because they dedicate a ton of force to go chase after us. Which means that this will be undefended, so these guys can launch the attack. So either way, it's fine. So we've got a plan A and a plan B. It's always good to have a backup plan. Plan A is that we just cap this point here, and then that's it. We don't have to worry about anything else. Plan B is that this doesn't work, and we have to bring them in. So these guys will be the first to make it there. They've used up their menace belows. They're, these guys here are faster than them. If I was as rich as Legend, I'd buy an insane PC. Well, you, you gotta understand as well that I actually don't have much cash available to me at the moment. And I really shouldn't have bragged about being rich before because I it turns out I'm actually not. <laughs> so I'm actually if if I had just loads of money, like actual cash sitting around, I would have bought a computer by right now. I've just had loads of friggin' expenses just drop on my hand on my head. Like all this year has just been non-stop expenses. Like as an example, today I had a vet bill, pretty pretty significant vet bill because my dog's getting quite old and old dogs require a bit more a bit more care. Um, so that, that burned through my cash quite a fair bit. So I need to have that cash available. 
So I can't just blow five grand on a new computer. As much as I would like to, I can't justify it right this very second. Legends is bullshitting while posting from a yacht. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm doing fine. But I just don't have don't have cash to buy a ha a computer right now. That's all. And because interest rates are so ridiculously high, I'm not exactly keen to pull out of my mortgage to uh, to loan f uh, to get money for a computer. Could do that, but I, d I just don't think it'd be worth it paying all that extra interest. Uh, the Path of Pain became a member for 43 months. Appreciate you, Legend. Alright, thanks, dude. Appreciate that. You have five figures saved up, then suddenly have to do a house repair, car repair, medical bill, and it's all gone. That is, yeah, pretty similar to what... And then, like I said, vet bill. <laughs> hey, Srini, how's it going? New PCs are in every eight-year thing for me. Me too, and it's been about eight years. It's almost been eight years, so I'm due. I need to get a new computer soon. I'm definitely due. Now, there's no way that Krokgar is going to be able to um, catch up to these guys, but what he can do is just fight these Skaven slaves. No problem, I guess. Just want me to just sort of run out of the way. Krokgar's just slow. Until he gets his mount, he's going to be slow. Easy fixes do a sponsored hyenas stream. Okay, so that's a, that's an interesting idea. All right. Hypothetically, what what do you think would be a fair price that Creative Assembly would pay? You guys tell me, okay? What what do you think would be? Let's let's just say hypothetically, Creative Assembly did offer, which they're not going to, by the way. <laughs> if they don't offer me any money to play Total War, why would they offer me to play Hyenas anyway? So let's just say hypothetically, they offered me money to play Hyenas. What do you think would be a fair rate? And I'll tell you whether or not that would be worth it or not for me. Because uh, you have to analyze the long tail of, of decisions like that. $10. 5k. 10k, 30k. one k Australia. Okay, so there's, there's a, a wild variation there. So I would say that... One thousand dollars Australia for a um, for a um, hyena stream. I would actually lose money on that. I know that sounds weird, but yeah, if I got paid a thousand dollars cash to do a hyena stream, I would actually end up losing money on it. Do you know why? Because it would shoot me in the algorithm. The algorithm would be like, "What the fuck are you doing?" And it would punish me for ages for having that. Plus, I would lose subscribers probably. So there would be a long tail of loss due to it. So if I'm going to do something like that, like um, play a game that my audience don't want me to play, that I don't want to play, that isn't popular, and I'm basically selling out, I have to ask a lot of money in order to sort of compensate the loss. Because it damages the channel permanently if you do that kind of stuff. So I would say the minimum price would actually have to be between five and 10,000, which will never happen. That this is so absurd. In order for me to make a profit off of a hyena streams, it would have to be that much. Legend, that's ridiculous. It is ridiculous. This is why there's no, there's no way it would happen. Because what it would be be doing is selling subs. I'd lose subs on on covering hyena, I'm doing a sponsored stream. Because I'd also not allowed to be negative to it if it's a you know, sponsored stream. I can't be like, hey guys, I'm playing this shit game. I'd have to be positive. <laughs> so, <laughs> no, it'd never work. More than happy to take sponsorships, but it's got to be the right fit. By the way, Manscaped is great. <laughs> I obviously haven't shaved recently.
Is the Dread Soria still bad in Warhammer 3? Yeah, it's it's really bad because it's just not cost You just don't need it. It's not cost effective at all. Alright, it, it looks like we're gonna have problems here because... Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. A little bit longer, a little bit longer. Here we go. At least we managed to cap it. But it, they got here pretty damn quick. How are we going over here? See how they're, they're throwing... Oh, they're pulling all their forces back to try to save this area here. That's exactly what I was counting on. I just want to go around here and hit this one in the flank. I just need to get them to stop touching this square so I can actually start gaining victory tickets. Let's see if this one here cycles charges in, because you get a whole lot of collision damage when it comes in. Which is really good against these low tier infantry. Oh, they're bringing in more. I still don't particularly like Cold One Spears. Try to prevent this from being capped, stay in there as much as possible. Oh crap. Didn't see them there. It's not ideal. Yeah, yeah. These guys are not fighting well in here. I gotta get them out of this situation. It's not ideal for them. I'm gonna have to bring in the Source Warriors, I think. I don't think we're going to be able to cap it. Ah, crap. Alright, we're going to have to advance with these guys. Let's go. Alright, the towers aren't going to offer that much resistance. Let's go. We've thinned out that area at the very least. And these Cold One Riders are basically doomed. It's just too cramped in here. I'm going to try to get him out that way. Too far away. Oh yeah, I'll be able to get him out. Go out that way. Uh, that Yuan Bo money printing with the Wushan Compass still working? No. That, that got fixed. Pretty much straight away. Luke Wad did a ten dollar super chat. Got to love a live stream. All right, thanks, dude. Glad you like it. Appreciate the super chat. All right, let's get these guys elsewhere. It would be really nice if they would actually obey my orders. Uh, there's a unit here. It's... Oh, hang on. It's game saves things. We might be able to just punch through that. Might be able to. Yeah, look, they pulled back. We got free rain in here. So while the plan A didn't work, plan B seems to be just fine. Just need to get over the walls quickly. Why the hell did they stop attacking that? 
They're not on guard mode. I need to get these guys out of here. Try to withdraw him from the battlefield. That wouldn't be good for us. But just break through if you can. I'll try to cap this. What's up with the lighting on this map? Um, what's wrong with it? I mean, it's just it's green because of Skaven settlement. It's pretty typical. 66, ca 66 speed caps pan us. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, as I've said before, you really want a minimum of like 75 speed on your cav. We have to pull this one out as well. It's a lot easier to pull this one out than, than the curve. Yeah, I think I may actually need to withdraw this unit. Otherwise it's going to get wiped out. I can withdraw it over here. over here okay we're in let's try to get in as quickly as we can these guys here let's start getting to these capping points as quickly as we can is brightness on 200% again let's have a look no 141 which is my default so that's what I like it on I don't like it to look super dark They're not going to be able to kill the Stegodon. It'll rout before that happens. So I'm trying to get control of it. Yeah, just tell this one here to leave. Otherwise it's going to get wiped out. Come on, you need to get to come down here. And these two go this way. Alex Brockmain became a member for 17 months. So what in your s is your summary of the hot seat last stream? Anything planned for the next one? Uh, the next one is currently being planned. We're working on it. But it is not concrete yet, so no point talking about it just yet. But uh, it was... It was it was a success in regards to the other creators really liked it, so that was good for them. But it wasn't good for my channel, necessarily. It didn't... It was actually kind of doing it at a loss, but it's fine. Okay, yeah. So capping this didn't work. That'll have to be withdrawn as well. But at least we drew all of their forces away from the front, allowing these guys here to... But you don't really want to have a fight in the walls. It's not advantageous, advantageous to you. And it cost them a lot of troops to... Do that. Problem is, these towers do a lot of damage to us. Okay, this one's back. I'm going to need it to uh, just try to stay close to Krokgar. We've got to be careful not to get it killed, though. Mm, maybe I should just... Yeah, I think I should just withdraw from the battlefield. Because the towers will bloody get it if we're not careful. Mm, it's going to wrap anyway. Don't worry about that position. This 
Skaven putting up a fight. Well, this is our first battle. We don't really have a... <laughs> we don't really get a good opportunity to prepare. And it's the first battle that you have as a siege. You can order resolve it, but I think we can get better results. I think we can get better results in a manually resolve. If you're playing on lower battle difficulties, it's definitely better to order resolve this fight. But on very hard, I think you got to try to get a, a cost-effective win, which uh, we just we just couldn't get there fast enough. What was the 66 speed curve? If we stay here too much longer, Krokgar is going to bloody get wounded on this one. Or he'll get killed. But Krokgar's still got a fair bit of fight left in him. This is the first time we're auto-resolving. Would have been better. I don't necessarily agree. It would have wiped out half of our army. We've taken a lot of damage, but auto-resolve would have been way worse than this. Don't forget, I've only withdrawn two units. They're not dead. None of my units are getting wiped out. I think we're fairly close to inflicting the army losses and we're capping their points. The, the, I guess the problem here is that you're so used to seeing me win battles and taking no damage, you sometimes forget how punishing the order resolve can be with rank 1 lords. Alright, we need to get Krokgar out of here now. It's kind of funny how he can't really handle... The Skaven. Man, the pathfinding in these cities is really bad. Look at this. How many times do I have to tell it? What? What is it doing? send these two to go around this way, cap this point. I'm try to rely a bit more on my actual units now. It's a funny thing situation with, with these battles, right? People are so used to seeing me win battles with like no damage that if I take any damage whatsoever, they say, Oh, you should have auto-resolved. <laughs> but you forget how much damage it would take in an auto-resolve. Especially the the infantry would have been obliterated in the, in the auto-resolve. We would have lost at least 50% of our army. And we haven't lost 50% yet. Because another thing here is that these non-single entity units, they haven't taken many casualties, they've just taken some health damage. Not that big of a deal. Okay, we have got most of their capture points now. That one's taken a little bit of damage, but it's okay. Is that a tier 3 tower being built? Yeah, that's got to get stopped right away. Uh, Taron did a fight all super chat. Uh, it would be great fun to see the AI trying to realign in battle and you get crazy kills as chain lightning. Love your videos, bro. Yeah, that's uh, it's good when that happens. Thanks for super chat, appreciate it. Just 
stay here. We need to cap this. It needs to be done in 44 seconds. We can't let this be spewing out um, lightning at us. This position here has two towers. Sending it up that way, I think it'd be a mistake. Just try to leave that area. Good, we got it. Skaven slave slingers are a bit of an issue. I think I need to send them back over here, actually. We've got him on the run now. Shouldn't be long until army losses. I don't think we'll get a decisive victory, but I also don't think it's going to be a Pyrrhic victory. Mm, it might be, we'll see. Alright, if I use this on that, it's not going to be particularly effective. So just escort them off the battlefield. There's no sense in killing them, we don't need to. So, if I was to have done a better job in this battle, what I should have done, I think, was not try to hold on to this position. Running up here was a good idea, because it left this particularly undefended. But I should have abandoned this position straight away. I stood and fought there for too long. What are you doing? Chasing them off? Okay, that's fine. Get back over here. I could have sworn there was another unit around here. Still no army losses. They must have quite a few hidden units around. Yeah, I scored that one off the battlefield. Why is the map green? Skaven. There we go. Still Pyrrhic victory, but I guarantee you Order Resolve would have been better. Uh, it wouldn't have been better. <laughs> Not would have been better, it wouldn't have been better. I'm just take it on. I withdraw from the battlefield. So what I tried to do at the beginning was make a push for the capture point with these two, but they just they didn't make it in time. And they were stuck fighting Skaven. They drew all the forces away from the front, which is why my infantry had such an easy time getting in. So I don't think there's any real way of winning that battle unless you just get lucky with that with that capping, which we didn't. That's fine. No, you just got wiped out. We'll recover. Okay, we got recovery coming in, and let's get Saurus. We don't need Saurus Spears because we're only going up against low tier rats. And using global doesn't make sense. Melee attack for Saurus Warriors would be a really good idea. Alright, so we need to go to and fight Clan Mordkin, which I think is going up north. Let me just confirm that. Yeah, we, Clan, Clan Mordkin is north, Clan Morbidus is south. We should deal with Clan Mordkin first. But what we do is next turn, we leave behind a lord here, recruit some more Saurus, because we're not going to do it that, that way. Right, let me just have a look here. Nah, no, he's not going to make it. Even if I grab that, he's probably not going to make it. Yeah, that's good, but we de I'm going to go with this first. Yeah, this is the problem with uh, Krokgar start. All the settlements are fairly far apart. All right, we need to get money coming in. That's going to be really handy. And growth is fine there. 
How much better are Soros in Warhammer 3? Well, they're, the, yeah, they're better. They're not hugely better. It's just that on very hard battle difficulty, AI don't have insane cheats anymore. And it's... Um, another thing is that you just don't need to Doomstack as much. So that makes it uh, way more viable. Alright, if we go with this, that gives us recruit rank, but it won't apply until next turn. I think it would be better to get growth. We need to hurry up in growth province. Okay, let's move on. Morbidus always declares war on me as soon as I move north. Yep, and that's why we want to make sure that somebody stays behind here recruiting. Modest did a 5001 super chat. Hey Legend, in your latest tier list, Kairos would have been tier S if not for the fact that he has a tricky slow start, correct? Uh, yes. Yes. Yeah, his start position is what stops him from getting an S tier. Do you think 49 skill points for Lords is a bit lack? Uh, no. No, if you think it's uh, lacking, then you could always just download an extra skill point mod. What I think is lacking is 49 skill points for Lords that don't have 49 skills. I would like CA to add uh, extra skills to a lot of the extra heroes that uh, basically have the same skill line that they had since Warhammer 1. Yeah, I didn't think I would make it. Well, if I stand there, I'll be able to make it there next turn. I just need to make sure we're careful. I'm not too worried about our winds of magic. We need to be careful that we don't get hit. Uh, with, um... By ambush. Oh, ow. we're not that vulnerable to being ambushed. But yeah, we'll definitely make it there next turn. So we need to take this entire... That used to be his original starting position. Which is interesting because the Temple of Skulls used to be south of the Golden Tower. In Warhammer 2 at least. Nothing else to do here. Should you still Dino Spam on Life's Land? The stuff like Sora Spam on Other Lords then? That's up to you. You don't need to do that in Warhammer 3. The game is easy enough that you can walk around with low tier armies, even in the late game. Distributing skill points should mean something from level 1 to 50. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, they should really have some some really good late game skills that are unlockable from like rank 40 onwards. That'd be good. So that way you just can't rush them. And that would give you some incentive to actually get your heroes to rank 50. Hopefully there's an army in here. That's recruiting. That would No, there isn't. Because yeah, if, if we don't catch one of these armies soon... Oh no, they are not recruiting. Okay, yeah, we're more than ready for that. Okay, now if we order resolve, I think that would be a mistake because these two units here will take the most amount of damage. All we need to do here is ensure that our melee infantry fight the entire battle. That's all we gotta do. We wanna make sure that these two units here don't participate at all so that we uh, ensure average uh, replenishment rate right, across the entire army. Off the top of your head, which is the weaker, weakest legendary lords do you think that are fun to play? Fun to play is subjective, but I would say that Tomb Kings are usually on the weaker side of things, but are fun to play. Which Total War game should get a person to play if they haven't touched Total War? If you've never played a Total War game before, then first thing you have to ask yourself is, does the setting matter? Like if I say, you should get Warhammer 2, but if you hate Warhammer, then you're not going to want to play Warhammer. So, you've got to, yeah. I can only give you my own personal recommendations. Medieval 2 is, in my opinion, the best historical Total War game. However, it's quite dated. So, after that, I would probably recommend Shogun 2. Uh, Shogun 2 is a good one for newbies because it's not mechanic heavy. 
So yeah, I, I, I just recommend for new Total War players, get Shogun 2, play it on lower difficulties, and you'll really get a grasp of the basics of Total War. T Shogun 2 really gets the basics done right, and I, I suppose that's a good good place to start with Total War. Good graphics, um, good timeless graphics. Really, I don't imagine Shogun 2 will look bad even in 10 years from now, because everything is just really sharp, clean, looks good. Um, doesn't have like stupid lighting effects in it. Like, like this game. Five years from now, people are going to look at Warhammer 3 and be like, Man, what's with these fucking bloom effects? Um, it's, this is going to get dated really quickly, I think. Because of all the weird effects that they've got going on with it. Um, but we'll see about that. Whereas, uh, Sogan 2 doesn't have that. What are your plans for 500k subscriber special campaign? Oh man, at this rate here, I'm going to hit 500k subs in 2026. <laughs> so, I'm not even thinking about that right now. It's not going to happen this year. Yeah. So, I'm, I'm, don't worry about things that aren't imminent. Are you worried through Warhammer 3 could end like Three Kingdoms? No, I'm not worried about it right now, but I am worried that it might eventually happen. Yeah. It, it does seem like it is a possibility now. Because it, it really, well, it depends. It's a good question, but there's a number of things that need to happen before I would be really worried. Right now, Warhammer 3 is the only Total War game that's making Creative Assembly any serious money. Even if things are going downhill a little bit with it, in terms of how much money Creative Assembly is making from it, um, they're still making massive profit. Massive profit off it. Um, in order for us to be worried about this game, I would have to see the average play account drop below 5,000. That would be a really big concern. It's already starting to be a little bit concerned because we're dropping um, concurrence below 10,000 every now and again. That happens. Um, that never happened for Warhammer 2 post Warden and Paunch. But I should say post uh, Potion of Speed update. Then the other things that would need to happen is uh, Hyenas needs to be a financial success for Creative Assembly, which I don't think it will be. Because if Hyenas is a financial success, then they will focus their attention on that. Creative Assembly focuses their attentions on what's working and dumps whatever isn't working. So in the case of Three Kingdoms, one of the reasons Three Kingdoms was dumped is because it was running alongside Total War Warhammer. You can actually blame Total War Warhammer for the death of Three Kingdoms. Because if Warhammer didn't exist, Three Kingdoms probably would have kept being developed because they didn't have anything else, if that was the case. Now, another thing is Total War Pharaoh. If Total War Pharaoh becomes a cash cow for Creative Assembly, which I don't think it will be, um, then they might, then they would, Total War Pharaoh is really cheap to, to make and, and to reproduce um, more Total War Pharaohs. Like Total War Mep Mesopotamia using the same engine, really cheap for them. So if Total War Pharaoh is a success for them, then that is something that could be the nail in the coffin for, um, Total War Warhammer. Now, I don't think those things are going to happen. So, until there is a better Total War game, Warhammer 3 is quite secure. Not even a better Total War game. A better game made by Creative Assembly. Doesn't even have to be a Total War game. Going for my skinks. So, I wouldn't worry about it right now, but it's definitely something that. Oh my god, there's more than two. It's definitely something that is on the back of my mind a little bit these days. I wasn't worried about it at all like six months ago, but now I'm. I'm like 10% worried. And also another thing, it really depends on Thrones of Decay. I really do feel, and I might be giving Creative Assembly more credit here than it's worth, I really do feel like Thrones of Decay is going to be good. There's still no price point for Pharaoh on my Steam store. That's in India, right, Srini? Um, yeah, I, don't, I can't explain why that is. Skinky boys. Saving my harmonic convergences for this fight here. Uh, they they want to go after these over here. I definitely don't want to withdraw them, but I also don't particularly want to fight these. 
Don't shoot that. Waste of ammo. Alright, I think that's the last of those. Alright, let's advance on them. Yeah, they're sending a lot of force over here to chase us over this way. They didn't try to run away with the Skaven Slaves. It's, that's their choice. Works for me. to run those Skaven Slave Slingers down from over here. Thanks, I feel devastated about Three Kingdoms. It's a very good Total War game. I'm worried about Pharaoh because every friend of mine has pre-ordered it. Well, that's their choice. I mean, you really shouldn't ever pre-order any game. But, you know, that's their choice. How people spend their money, you can't really tell them not to do something. Do you think they'll ever put DLC laws for Warhammer 2 races? Tim King's Empire Coast? I think it's possible. I mean, nobody thought that the Wood Elves was going to get a DLC for a DLC race. But they got one. Same thing with Boost Beastmen. So there's no reason to think that they wouldn't do it, but I don't think you're going to get a lot. You might get one extra lord for each of those races. Um, I don't know if the Vampire Coast are going to get anything, but I'd be very surprised if the Tomb Kings didn't get another lord. Or an update at some point. You're also underestimating the price issue with Thrones of Decay. Thrones of Decay can be good, but if it's $25, it'll be a major issue. Um, well, maybe, maybe not. I, I honestly do think it's going to be $25. I don't think anything that we can do can change that. Because like I said, uh, look, my, my sources from that have this sort of information from CA said that Shadows of Change made more money than previous Warhammer 2 DLC. And I think the way that they did that was through third-party sources, which I don't think... Um, like, I think that the Steam say it, like the uh, the, the global sell, top sellers list on Steam, that only counts if you buy the game on Steam. I think a lot of people saw that the price was shit on Steam, and then they went and purchased on Games Planet or Instant Gaming or whatever, and then they just... So Steam basically didn't make that much money, but Creative Assembly absolutely did. I think that might have something to do with it. But again, I don't have the access to the financial reports. But if they made if they made a profit of um, like more profit off Shadows of Change, I don't see them changing the price. I think they're just gonna demand that you get used to it. And if you wanted to stop them from uh, charging more, you, you had to not buy it in more extreme numbers. I don't. I think they're just going to brush aside the, all the negative reviews. But again, maybe not. Maybe they'll charge twenty dollars for it. I just. I just don't know. Don't know. So much for the boycott. Um, well, I didn't. I didn't try to push for a boycott because I knew it wasn't going to happen anyway. Do you know how difficult it is to organize a boycott with the Total War community? Really, really fucking hard. That's why I didn't bother. It was other people pushing for a boycott. I didn't. I didn't push for a boycott. I just gave you guys information. I said if you if you want them to lower the price, you have to make what they're doing not profitable. But I didn't think anyone was going to be willing to do it. This community has way too much FOMO. 
and they're not they're just not willing to wait for raw uh, sales and that's perfectly fine but if creative assembly feels like um, they can charge whatever they want then that's what they will do it's kind of like the blood pack nobody thinks that the blood pack is worth how much they charge for it but people keep buying the blood pack and as long as people keep as long as people keep buying the blood pack they'll keep charging for it it's just a fact of life unfortunately and you stopped a lot of pre-orders I'm sure I'm sure that that a lot of people didn't pre-order due to the price and also I think it was more due to Rob Bartholomew's stupid statement than anything else but at the same time my sources said that they still made more profit out of Shadows of Change. Again, I'm not saying that they should charge $25. I'm saying that I think they're going to. I absolutely think that Creative Assembly should not charge that much. I think they're hurting their long-term business plans by doing that. And it's going to bite them in the ass in the long run. But I don't get to make these decisions, and they don't listen to me. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that went that went really well, because all the damage was isolated to the infantry. We didn't take any damage on the guys that were already damaged. What do you think of Mother Stanky's skill tree? Yeah, it's fine. Nothing special, but it's fine. Yeah, the real strength of her campaign is the curses and blessings. Namely the curses. I truly hope Rob Bartholomew is being bullied at work. Dude, he's the boss. You're not going to bully the boss. <laughs> Anybody who gives B Rob Bartholomew shit is going to get fired. They'll do fine, they'll release Medieval 3 and they'll buy it. Well, okay, maybe. We'll see. Could be right. If that's the case, then nothing we do is ever going to make any difference, and Creative Assembly could just do whatever they want. And they'll charge $150 for Medieval 3. And there's, there's nothing we can do about it. <laughs> you know, it's, it's a kind of defeatist attitude, and I don't like that. I, I prefer to try something, even if it doesn't work. But yeah, it does feel like it is a little bit hopeless to try to get Creative Assembly to do better. Um, maybe we should change topics because every, every single live stream this goes on about like discussions about Creative Assembly <laughs> rather than the game. And I get it because people are more interested in that than, than the actual game itself. But I, it gets derailed. So there is nothing new to add to the situation. So let's let's just forget about it. We have no further impact to make change on what's going to happen with um, Thrones of Decay. We just have to wait and see now. Okay, so let's see. Um, no. Money is a little bit tight. I do want to recruit another Lord over here. But maybe I should wait a turn because we're just we. You don't ever want to be at zero income, especially in the early stage of the game. Uh, let's go with Iran and Thunderbolts. It's actually a lot better than it used to be. Okay, Krokar's faction suffers from money in the early stage of the game, so going Geomantic Sustenance actually gives you quite a lot of value because you've already got reduced upkeep costs there. But it would also be a good idea, I think, to get Proud Warrior. So let's do that first because that's that'll be quicker. I do really want to recruit some more units, but yeah, the financial situation. It would be better for us if we just chilled with that a little bit and tried to... Um, we can make do with this for now. Because if we ever look at Clan Morgan, they got they got friggin' nothing, absolutely nothing. And this area here is not bleeding magic out of its ass. Okay, 
And yeah, we could recruit a Sora Scar veteran. I could do that. Let me just see what's available. There's a disciplined one. Hang on, what have I got in here? Ooh. Well, I do like disciplined. Alright, he's gonna. I should have recruited him last turn, but I didn't check. If there wasn't a disciplined or a good trait there, I wouldn't have recruited him. Still be saving up a whole bunch of nice traits. Okay, cool. Alright. Uh, I could get rid of this temporarily to improve our income. Well, that improves our income, so. Well, we're gonna upgrade Teotika. Let's have a look at Clan Morbidus. Okay, they're not strong right now, so we're not in any rush. But yeah, I shouldn't get rid of this just yet. I don't want to go skiing, so let's move on. Is it a good idea to disband Cathay, Blessed Dread? Sorry, is it a good idea to disband Cathay by Blessed Dread and emigrate to Lustria? You mean abandon Cathay? Uh, no, you can, it's quite profitable to stay in Cathay. Because it's the end edge of the world. The AI doesn't use the, um, the sea lanes. Lustria is kind of a... Uh, I've never enjoyed fighting in Lustria. Dark Elves don't necessarily do well in Lustria. Especially if you're using Shades and um, Corsairs. Because of all the, the, just the terrain. So no, I think... I think Lokia Felhart does well in Lustria. You should stay there. Malok did a $1 super chat. Thanks, dude. Um, David Carrera Jr. did a $5 super chat. What's an update you'd like for the Dwarves and Empire in the new DLC? And I don't know. I'm not really thinking about specifics. I'm just open to seeing what Creative Assembly can do. That's all. Alright. Alright, well, they definitely recruited some units that turn. And it's... Okay, Clan Morbidus is now nudging ahead. I think we should go Temple of Skulls first. But if we do that, it's likely... I need to know where they are. So... Let's first go into Encamp Stance. No, you know what? Go into Astromancy Stance. Because it'll use up less movement. And I'll get an idea of what they're doing. Okay. Okay. Their chance of ambushing us is pretty high, but even if they do ambush us, they don't stand a chance. Hmm. We'll see if we can make it to the Temple of Skulls. Alright, over here I think we should go with Money. Yeah, don't recruit this turn. I don't have any more money. So we got a little bit of ambush defense chance with that, but yeah, we'll see. It gives ambush defense chance. Yeah, but in this area here, they have a hundred percent chance of success because it's jungles. So it is still possible for them to ambush us. It's it's unlikely, but it's possible. Hard rework to Imperial Authority? Yeah, I'd like to see that. I'd also like to see like Prestige be more useful in the later stages in the game. Have you thought about doing any campaigns for Dark Elves, Rakath, for example? I, I would doubt I'm going to cover Rakath, but maybe I would consider Lockyer Felhart, maybe. Uh, King KJ52 did to the to some chat. How were the results of the Hot Street Hot Seat stream? I loved it. Um, yeah, it seemed to be fine. Yeah, it seemed like it performed fine. Yeah, thanks for the chat. Um, that's all I really... Yeah, it was fine. It's a lot of effort for... Yeah, I don't know. 
You have to ask the other guys how much they benefit from it. I didn't benefit from it, but it wasn't about me. Uh, okay, so their army's over here. I don't really think we should... Because that's a walled settlement. The thing is, they're just going to keep recruiting, and I'm not going to be recruiting. I'm not going to get any more replenishment for that. We've now got Iran and Thunderbolt, so that gives us a lot to work with. Alright, I think... I think we risk it for the biscuit. And we go into this stance here, grab some more magic. They have an opportunity to ambush us. Ambush success chance 100%. Let's let's see if they can do it. Their army is trash. And our army is not vulnerable to, that vulnerable to being ambushed. So let's give them the chance to ambush. Because that'll give us the chance to beat them outside of the settlement. Which will be better for us, I think. But yeah, their army sitting here. Let's see if they run around to try to get back to Serpent Coast. Because we want to get back to Teotika as quickly as possible. Because we're going to have to fight Clan Morbidus as quickly as we can. Um, I think... Hang on, I need to check their uh, strength ranking. Clan Morbidus is starting to pick up strength. So we need to start preparing. It's just a bit expensive. Um, yeah, I should have realized that. If I switch this to here, that recruitment cost reduced by 15%. That'll only apply until next turn. Um, yeah, do it. Do it. Okay. Would it be bad and lazy if prestige, for example, could be used as high off influence? Well, the, if you make it just a carbon copy of a, another races, which it kind of already is, it, it takes away from the uniqueness of each race. So I'm not opposed to it, but I don't think that that is what they should do. They should try to make it... Do you know what I think they should do? They should have, like, an imperial edict, like, button. So you bring up the button, and it has, like, edicts that says, like, um, send Reichland uh, s supplies. It gives growth for... Basically, think of it like Yuan Bo's mechanic, except you can only do it within the Empire. You can s spend prestige to, like, bolster certain things. Extra recruit uh, ranks. Extra recruit capacity. Um, extra winds of magic by using the, the Colleges of Magic. So you have ways to bolster the Empire using prestige after... It becomes pretty much useless in the late stage of the campaign. Um, Thomas F did a fifteen dollars super chat. Love the new tier list, mate, and thanks for the hundreds of hours of content over the years. No, it's did my pleasure. Um, hang on, here we go. I'll get to that super chat in just a sec. All right. Hopefully they're still here. Okay, Istarun did a five dollars super chat. Favorite lizard man. Ooh, shit biscuits. Okay, well, they don't have magic. I'll get to your super chat in just a sec, dude. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Favorite Lizardman start, even on low difficulties, you have to push yourself to get the most out of your opening turns and make tough choices. Yeah, I agree. Thanks, super chat. Appreciate it. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's a lot of trash, and I'm glad we've got Uran and Thunderbolt, so I'm glad that we went Channeling Stance for that extra Winds of Magic. There's a lot of Missile Units. Alright. I usually like attacking from here. But I might actually attack through here this time. Because honestly, a gigantic choke point, a huge meat grinder, might actually be beneficial for us. Yeah, okay. They've got no area of effect damage abilities. I need you to... Uh, 
to you and you try to tank these towers. Uh, Lucius the Eternal did a two pound super chat saying D's nuts. Thanks for super chat, pre dude. Appreciate it. I can't win manual battles against rats. Any tips? Um, get good, bro. <laughs> um, I don't, I don't know. It depends what you're going up against. It just takes practice, dude. Oh, it, it depends. What, yeah, it's too vague of a question. It's too vague. I need to know what you're going up against. There is no generic. Just do this and you win against rats. Try using more single entities. Skaven are bad at dealing with single entities. I don't know. Alright, the night runners are definitely a little bit of a problem. Up on the wall there. I would rather punch through the front. No, 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 no. Are they taking the... F no, they're not. Alright, if we do this, this might help a great deal, because that's a dangerous unit. Did we... Oh, they fucking dodged it! It's, it's playing Lizardman music, so that's something. How much did that cost us? Six months of magic. Fucking do well, it got them off the walls at least. Now the reason why I want to go through the gate is because I want a gigantic clusterfuck in here because that'll just allow me to bomb the crap out of them. Because our melee capabilities vastly outmatch them. They can't handle our blessed Taurus warriors. They've got no area effect abilities, and this area here is very hard for the towers to get in here. So I want to have the entire fight in this area here. The only thing they can do is use their missile unit, so I definitely want to try to stop them. How much damage do the bolts do the walls? Uh, it does okay. It's, it's not worth trying to blow up the walls using it. I don't have enough winds of magic. Alright, send in the chaff first, because we're probably going to get hit. Don't sit in the blessed, war blessed Warriors just yet. Please. Alright, that tower is active. We want to stop that. Okay, let's try to push up to the this area here if we can. Because if we if we get to here, these ones will be cut off. Concerned about this guy's leadership. That's that down. So that one there did 3,000 damage. Not too bad for six wins of magic for a low tier spell. Not too bad at all. Nice big clusterfuck happening here. Okay, we should be fine to actually get these skinks here, up on the walls. Good, we got Skaven Slave Slingers going into melee with this. That's awesome. Oh, that one did a hundred kills. That's what you want to see. 
This is what I wanted to see. Get him out of there. Get him out of there as well. Apparently he's not dueling so well. Bring this one in. This one will be really good at dealing with the enemy lord to Zanti infantry. Keep pushing the source warriors in. Need to break into here. That should route all of this. Yeah, that one can't get away. That's good. We start pushing over the bridge. That's it. Uh, Crew Glove did a 5B way in Super Chat. Is there ever a good reason to construct ruination buildings in Skaven Undercities other than just for the memes? Uh, it's pretty much just for the memes. It's entirely up to you, as is your right in this game. But yeah, it is, it's not optimal. It's never optimal to do it. But thanks for Super Chat. Yeah, the, uh, the Undercities, in my opinion, are best used to just generate food. And maybe if you're using it as a sack city to get yourself extra replenishment and extra menace blows. But yeah, spending loads of resources to blow up the settlement or, or causing a um, a Rat King event or something along those lines just isn't really worth it. Alright, they've given up this bridge. I kind of expected them to hold on to it a little bit longer, but they've given it up. Nice blob over here. We have to pin them down if we want to use a bombardment spell, though. Okay, now these two here have taken a fair bit of damage, so I'm going to leave them in reserve. We want to keep the integrity of our army together as much as possible. But these ones here are in good shape. Come straight from dude. Uh, these Skaven Slave Slingers, they are doing a fair bit of damage, but I can't get at them. Actually, if I could get my Skinks over here, they could shoot down at them. Yes, kill him, that'd be really good, because if he dies... Oh good, it'd be super easy to route their units now. Fire down on the Skaven Slave Slingers. I think our guys, <laughs> they can't shoot from the high ground. Well, here we go, here we go. Just have to tell them to do it. Well, 
Uh, high ground advantage doesn't mean anything if you... They won't shoot. That's frustrating. Uh, Bastildons with revification crystals good, the ones that can heal. Yeah, they're pretty good, they're pretty good. Nothing spectacular about them, but they're, they're good. Coming up my rear isn't going to do anything. I'll show you guys. Bring these guys up just as reserve. Yeah, Iran and Thunderbolt, definitely a good choice. This guy's might need to fight over here soon. I was kind of counting on the AI to blob up a lot, but they're really not doing that. They're giving ground, which actually isn't all that bad. We didn't have the speed to just go over here and cap the town square, because obviously that didn't work last time. You silly to expect it would work this time. Imagine you should have water resolved and you get a better result! <laughs> That is a nice looking blob. This is what I was counting on. The tighter the formation, the more damage we're going to do with this. That's exactly what we want to see. Alright, these guys here, a bit more evenly damaged now. We can bring them in with the rest of them. Back. Yeah, not much I can do about the uh, the night runners. Luckily, they've only got a couple of them. Oh, but yeah, but they can restore their ammunition as well. Yeah, and they will. Sorry, guys. I don't think they're going to get out of the way, and that's a really nice blob of them. Escape and slave slingers. Alright, at least we're starting to cap points now. Right, don't Maybe don't worry about... Do something about these Skaven Slave Slingers, they're doing a lot of damage. Where are you? Oh, you're not really that good against Skaven, you just stay there. This guy here is just getting shitloads of kills in. Loads of value. Oh, I 
Keep pushing there. Alright, let's bring you up here a bit now. This unit here is looking a bit iffy. I got one more cast left, so I really need to make it count. Nope, no, 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 that's blocked. You've just missed your chance to participate here. Okay, recapping this kind of. That looks pretty good concentration. That's our last cast there. It doesn't look like there's a huge con concentration of them. They have lost their general, so there's a decent chance that the army losses will trigger fairly soon. Decent chance of it. Especially if we get their Skaven Slave Slingers into melee. But yeah, that extra winds of magic, extra 15, meant that we got two extra casts of Arana's Thunderbolt, at least. Because you also get a bit of extra when you start the battle. That's it. this way, because these guys could use some reinforcements. Uh, okay, this one here is a bit damaged, I'm going to pull it back. I don't want any units getting wiped out, because I can't replace them out here just yet. Oh no, maybe no, it's unlikely there's a good barracks. Unlikely. Crocodile's getting good kills. It's good to see. Good to see Skaven Slave Slingers in melee there. That's what we want to see. No, 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 no. no. Oh, they built. Okay. Alright, let's bring you back in. <sighs> I need to cap this point, but I also need to keep chasing after their missile units. There we go. Good stuff. No units got wiped out. Very victory, maybe, but the order resolver said defeat, so definitely better than what order resolve results were. And that was their army, so this completely resets them to zero. They're not going to have enough time to prepare for our next attack. So we've defeated Clan Mordkin. They're gone now. They had to, at the very least, smash our army, which they completely failed. Why do you prefer Uranus Thunderbolt over the Wind Spell? Isn't the Wind Spell get it better against Game Blood, or is it because more range? Okay, so the AI doesn't blob up as much as they did in Warhammer 2 on Siege Battles. The Bombardment spells got a massive buff over Warhammer 2, and the Uranus Thunderbolt is actually way cheaper of a spell, so you can get more of them. If you're using a combination... Don't get me wrong, the Wind Spell is great, but I got 800 kills with the Uranus Thunderbolt with... 55 wins of magic. Why are you questioning what I've done? Is that not good enough for you? <laughs> and don't forget our first cast completely missed. EA Kendall IP did a 50 SEK super chat. Hey Legend, did you know you can indefinitely repeat a trade deal with Nakai? Yes, I do know about that one. Yes, thanks super chat. I appreciate that. Yes, I, I do know about that one. Alright, uh, tempting to sack it, but then we're not going to have enough movement, so just occupy. Okay, that should have wiped out all of their armies. Yeah, so next turn they'll recruit a new lord. We've got, it'll take us two turns to get here, but we can just force march down there now. 
We've, we've got them. They've lost this war. They have lost. Okay. I don't want to recruit skinks. Unless I'm absolutely desperate. Oh, we got skinks anyway. And over here, let's get some more Saurus Warriors. Mm -hmm. Then Kalida over here would be good to be friends with. Because we need to be going... Well, well sort of. No, just... I could offer to join war against those vampire counts. Let me just see. Yeah, I don't know. I might go and fight her. I, I really don't expect the early game Tomb Kings to be an issue for us. But we'll just see. Alright, we also got some levels up here. This will make our guys... Three levels up. This will make our guys a lot stronger. So... Six extra armor. Not that big of a deal. But six extra melee attacks so they can smash faster. That's pretty good. This one here. Let's go with... I usually don't go with training to begin with, but... Honestly, leveling up our Saurus is pretty damn useful. Nah, when do we got more units? Yeah, let's make him a better fighter. So, okay, let's have a look at the efficiency of Windblast, right? If we have a look at it... So, when you've put... Okay, you get four Winds of Magic at three points, and this one here I think is also the same when upgraded. Yeah, four Winds of Magic. You, you could go either way and it'd be fine, really. But I'm going to go with Uranus Thunderbolts. I just think it's better in Warhammer 3. Alright. Uh, that could be... That could have been good if I had done that at the beginning of the turn. Because, yeah, recruit rank and local recruit capacity. If we have a look at Clan Morbidus... I think they're pretty likely going to declare war on us over the end turn. So let's do this. I, I should have done this to begin with, at the beginning of the turn, but let's do this now. I hope I've got enough money to actually recruit three. Yes, I do. Okay. And then what I could do over here is get rid of... That'll be useful in non-sieges. Uh, skinks. Nah, I'll leave them for now. I'm just thinking about saving money. If I could get some more diplomacy with someone, that could be good. Order of Lord Masters. Clan Mordkin wants peace. That's not bad, but yeah, it'll, just, it'll cost me more in the long run if I have to declare war on them again. Better just finish them off. Iranian scales better against armor as well. Yeah, that's true. Absolutely. But yeah, there's no right or wrong answer with that kind of stuff. It just depends on what your personal preference is. Like in Warhammer 2, I, I definitely went with um, Windblast. But things have changed since Warhammer 2. It's it's not exactly the same game. And so you need to adjust your thoughts. That's why a lot of people come on and be like, how come he doesn't have Stegadons yet? You don't ever need to get Stegadons anymore. It's not that Stegadons aren't good, but you don't ever need them. Whereas in Warhammer 2, you didn't need them, but damn, they made your life a lot easier. And at this they kind of make your life more difficult because they're too expensive. And he's better off having uh, lots of trash. All right. Having these units here is costing me money, but it did allow me to uh, not get declared war on, I think, <laughs> which is good. Um, this lasts for five turns, four more turns. I don't think I'll be able to recruit another load of them. Hmm. Considering going into channeling stance, getting more magic. If I stand here, I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to reach Serpent Coast over the end turn, over the next turn. Um, well, why don't we just stand there first? Who 
Yeah, that seems iffy. God, if we don't make it there next turn, just because I wanted to get some magic and replenishment, that'd suck. Because we could totally stand in this area here. Because we're not going to get replenishment. Fuck it. I don't want to have to take two more turns to get here. No replenishment over this turn is not that big of a deal. The most important thing is that we get rid of Clan Morbidus right now. And with the little money that we've got, we could get two. Alright, let me just compare our strength rankings. Alright, we're stronger than them again. And if they did launch an attack here... Well, the thing is, if they declared war on us, they won't go over Teotika. They'll go straight for the Golden Tower. So, why don't we put you over here and go into Astromancy Stance. So that we can just keep an eye on this area here. We also, when we uh, bring Krokgar back this way, we don't want to go via land. We want to go via the sea, because otherwise we're going to get hit with this. And I think Krokgar should maybe land here. Whereas this one here, maybe go for Sotex Trail. Hmm. Yeah, we'll see how we go. Okay, let's move on. Yep, that's fine for now. Let's move on. Is Sora's crap stack the new meta now? I wouldn't worry too much about what is the new meta. Um, the game doesn't require you to have a meta. Uh, is it the new meta? I still think you can get a more efficient use, use out of just regular skinks with javelins. But it's not as fun. SJZ eliminated hit a 5 pence super chat. Hi Legend, planning on finally going to Warhammer 3. What should I be most aware of as I'm not familiar with the changes? Also, how does the turn time compare? Uh, I think, in terms of turn time, thanks Super Chat by the way, they go through the turns about the same speed as Warhammer 2. There's just more factions, so it will take a little bit longer. Overall, I don't think the turn times are that bad. Most aware of, probably the siege rework is crap. It's really bad, so that's, that's the thing that I think Warhammer 3 did the worst. Also, if you're going to Warhammer 3, do not play the Realms of Chaos campaign. Only play Immortal Empires. <laughs> just, there's no need to play freaking Realm of Chaos garbage. Okay. Time to end this. And they recruited two chieftains, just in time for them to not be attached. Not too bad for one turn of recruitment. Order resolve doesn't wipe out any of our units. Alright, we're dealing with a... A Grey Seer of, of um, Ruin. That's a bit of a problem. A bit of a problem. I still think we should fight this manually, because we're going to be going out at sea, which means not much replenishment. But yeah, we need to take... If we can take him out, the rest of this should be easy. Realms of Chaos is Funish one time. Yeah, play Realms of Chaos one time on, like, easy difficulty, just to go through the story, and then just never play it again. It's garbage. Um, Andrew Bergaliabas did a $10 super chat. Hey, Legend. Hey, chat. Do you think Gelt should have a new campaign mechanic with magic artifacts, or just a better prestige system? Yeah, magic artifacts sounds good. I'd be down for that. Yeah, thanks, super chat. Appreciate that. Um, I don't think that that's likely something the Creative Assembly will focus on, but I'd be down for it. So that's just tea, by the way. In case anyone thinks I'm drinking beer. <laughs> no, it's just tea. Just black tea, no sugar, no milk. I don't know. Why I didn't listen to the spiffing Brit all these years. He was right. Alright. So. Alright, here's what I think we do. 
Krokgar and this guy <laughs> together will just go straight to Krelk and kill him because they're probably just going to sit there because they've got the high ground and they're kind of having an advantageous position. Kind of. uh, I want these two to hide because otherwise they're going to pop down the menace belows on them. Same thing here. Not good for that. Alright, I want these two to be in reserve because they're in the weakest state. Mr. YOLO did a $10 super chat. Just want to wish you luck before I head off. Alright, thanks dude. I appreciate that. And this one go up with it. Because yeah, they don't have any fast units. Their missile units won't shoot at us. <coughs> and yeah, let's just snipe their lord. Earl Grey? It's actually Dilma. So it's, I think it's, it's Indian tea. It's delicious. <laughs> I also like tea. Specifically, I'm a big fan of green tea. Yeah, I'm, I just like the black tea. Um, nothing wrong with herbal tea, but I definitely prefer black tea. <coughs> I'm a vanilla bitch. What brands of tea are popular in Australia? Oh no, they stopped me from getting there. What will I do? Oh yeah, now we're bringing in efficiency. Four winds of magic. Nice quick cooldown. Nice big blob. Thing is, this will get them to start coming at us. But this is going to massively soften them up. Because we really want to make sure we take minimal damage. Because we've got to immediately get over to Clan Mordkin. No, this is Clan, Clan Morbidus, I mean. This is Clan Morkin. Nice. 5,000 damage. Not bad for four winds of magic. Not bad at all. It's also got really good range. You don't have to be nice and close. Oh, that one wasn't 5,000 damage. Could overcast it, but... Ooh, should I overcast it? No, 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 no. No, it's um, Comet of Cassandora you want to overcast. Now, our units are not hidden. They can charge down at us at any moment, if they so wish. How did Clan Pestilence make it to Lustria? No, Clan Morbidus, not... Oh, Pestilence. Um, they... Uh, I think they borrowed there from the Southlands. I'm not sure. Or maybe even from Estalia. Yeah, I think I think they actually borrowed there. Give me that sweet, sweet Cridal stack. If I manage to get uh, Tic Tac Toe, absolutely. But it's tier 4 unit, so it takes a little while. We're only on, like, turn 6. I do like a Cridal stack. It goes quite well. Good. Having their Skaven Slave Slingers, which is a difficult unit for us to deal with due to our lack of mobility. Get hit with that, that is very good. Because they are. Oh, they're actually getting some hits in on them. They didn't use any menace blows. Maybe they didn't get any. Didn't actually check. Okay, what I like about this is that they're sending a few forces down over here. 
but the bulk of their troops are still remaining here. They've lost their army cohesion. Pull this guy out of combat. He's below half health now. Try to get him back over there. So I didn't do exactly what I wanted to because I wanted to try to kill this guy, but he's that dude is not going to get 400 kills. I'm not going to suffer the same problems that they are suffering from. Come on, move. All right, spread out, dudes. go after them. Good. This is going very well, I think. Good that Skaven Slave managed to do nothing. Any follow up on that impossible battle Reddit post you commented a week or so ago? You have to be more specific, dude. I don't recall any impossible battle on Reddit. You have to be. You have to jog my memory. These guys here run them down. There's the wizard, I need you to go after that. Really should have hit over here instead. Try not to blob up after we've seen the fact that they do that. Do we should told go after him? I thought it was going to that one. Seems like he really wants to target my skink for some reason. Don't know why. Maybe because it's a missile unit? They can know this way. They kind of hit their own units a little bit there. That 
That's not going to be an amazing cast. That's okay. No, come on, go for this one. Nice, kind of dodged that. And there's the army losses. Nice, that went really well. We barely took any damage. These two here took the brunt of it. Nice. Any big changes you make to your lizard unit tier list? Uh, mostly the melee infantry being a bit higher tier. I'd probably still leave the, um, the temple guard where it is because temple guard don't have that much better stats than Saurus warriors. And they take two turns to recruit and are more expensive, so I just don't think that they're worth it at all. I think that Temple Guard need a buff. Or at the very least, take only one turn to recruit. I think when it comes down to melee infantry, I don't think there should be any melee infantry in the game that should take more than one turn to recruit. Due to the way that the game works, I understand that there's elite infantry, but elite infantry, are just it's just not worth it to recruit, take two turns to recruit them. Not worth it at all. They're not they're not strong not that much stronger that the two turn recruitment makes it worth it. Uh attempting to sack it. Give me some money. I think we should just be done with them. Uh Davos woke skis did a eight dollars WJ at Legend. Thank you for the hours of content. The hot seat campaign was ten out of ten idea. Value legend more than my Netflix sub. Thanks, mate. All right, no worries, dude. I appreciate that. <laughs> Better than Netflix. Thanks, super chat. Okay. Mazda Mundi Temple Guard. Yes, Mazda Mundi is an exception because he reduces their upkeep cost by 50%. Absolutely. All right, Clan Mordkin dealt with. All right, now. Let me just check. Good, we still get replenishment out at sea. That's really good. Yeah, because this is all just the same. There's no ports out here. So the next step for Krokgar is to go to the Temple Avenue of Gold. Now, if we have a look at the Skaven there... Clan Morbidus definitely has some forces. We just don't know where they're going to be. They could be there. I just, just don't know. Yeah, I just don't know where they are. I still need these guys here to recruit more. Because we want to try to hit these guys with multiple armies. On the same turn. But yeah, I, just, I don't know what's there. Don't be just standing around. Although, if that's 100% movement... If, if we can't see them, then they can't see us. Well, they can't reach us. Now, with Krokgar, I could recruit some more skinks. You know, try to get these numbers up a little bit. Rookie numbers. Hmm. I, just, I don't really want more skinks. Thing is, what happens if we get there and there's a full fucking stack sitting in the settlement? Hmm. The only ones I would consider worth it at two turns are aspiring champions. Well, aspiring champions are recruited instantly, so that's a moot point. He's on a cold one now. Being on a cold one, we might actually be able to cap the town square. Because, yeah, this one... He what about this guy? No, he's not there yet. So that could be useful. Extra physical resistance. Yeah, let's go with that. And over here, yeah, just go with growth... It'll take a little bit of time to, to grow there, but we need to focus on these walls as quickly as possible. Maybe, 
You know, stay exactly where you are though. Keep recruiting. Alright, let's see if there's any more diplomacy we can do. Yes. Or any diplomacy at all. Nope. Okay, well let's move on. Great message, sounds great. Maybe do it in a few days. Just dropped in to suggest you might want to talk about it a bit on stream to build some hype. Uh, it's best to build uh, build up hype when we've actually got something a bit more concrete. Talking about it right now, I don't think is a good idea. But thanks, Messi. An ecumenical matter did a thirty dollars super chat. Hey, legend! Thanks for all the great videos. The hot seat stream was an S tier good idea. From your experience, is there a particular monster unit that is most versatile for Rakath Doomstack? Uh, probably dragons. Yeah, just go dragons if you want to go with him. Thanks, super chat. Appreciate it. Dragons or hydras? Hydras, it depends on what you're going up against. So, if you're going up against dwarfs, both of those aren't going to be particularly good. The vortex has wrought devastation across the magics of the world, mighty lord. So, yeah, thanks, Super Chat. Uh, that would be a very good item for us, for sure. But with 15 units, I don't think we're ready to do that. Alright, our army's in pretty decent shape. Oh, what am I doing? It's force march we need. Yeah, don't be taking attrition, that would be bad. Good. That way we're still getting replenishment. Good, good, good. It'll take us a few turns to get there. Alright, I should still have some more money for this. Yep. Maybe, maybe just wait another turn. Instead, this turn. Go with this. I want to keep a constant eye on this situation here. Because, yeah, the big thing is that I just don't know what I'm going up against. I don't know where their army is going to be. If they've got all their forces sitting around Temple Avenue of Gold, Kropgar has really got his work cut out for him. Still think we can do it, but really got our work cut out for us. The easiest way to go about this would be just to land here and attack this way and just work our way down. But the quickest way would be to successfully capture this and that on the same turn. Hopefully their army is actually sitting at Cavern of Sotek. That would be ideal. Winds of Magic here is strong, so them, that means they'll have a lot of Winds of Magic if they've got anyone there. We need money here. Public order will be fine. Growth. Yeah, I, I need the cash. I need the cash. I can't justify that right now. Good, that'll be done soon. And let's move on. Okay, now we've got some diplomacy available, that's good. I have no intention of fighting them, so a trade agreement is... Even for 65 gold, it's better than nothing. I'll take it. No. Okay, what if I spoke to them and offered to join war against Arachnos, because they're dead anyway. Yeah, Ragnos is dead anyway, so just, yeah, let's go with that. This night. What? Oh, the Drakenhof Conclave is probably going to take out the Bowmen of Orion. So, Manfred's going to be annoyed at me for trading with them. That's okay. Maybe I'll get just a little bit closer. Why are you jock dog? Yeah, a hero to search that would be really bloody good before we make that attack. Because if there's a full stack, we're not going to be able to do anything about it. If it's a basic garrison, we should be able to win. I could always just um, grab these chameleon skinks as well as, a, as an emergency measure. I intend to recruit one more turn before we launch that attack. It's just that Krokgar is going to need three turns before he arrives here. Alright, let's move on. Let's 
Thorek will declare war on you. I'm calling it. He may very well. That might happen. Yeah. O Town Firefighter did a five dollar super chat. Hey, Legend, Demon Prince or Exalted Lord for the Monogod faction? There is no wrong answer there. Just whatever you want. There's no wrong answer. Thanks for super chat. Yeah, the thing is, both of their skill trees, the Demon Prince or Exalted Lord, are so similar, and their utility is so similar, that it's so marginal, the difference between them, that... Oh, God. That trade agreement didn't last long. Oh, you know who he's going to declare war on me? Fucking Manfred. Speak thy words. He's I still at war with these guys over here. Yeah, he's going to declare war. And he'll... Ugh. Yeah. Oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Manfred. I think we've got time. I think we've got a bit of time. The thing is, nine. this is where we're making most of our money. If we were to lose the Golden Tower, because what he would do is just stand there and I just wouldn't be able to respond to it quickly enough. Why don't you spend one of the heroes and recruit again to help scout? Because it's a good trait. And I can only re-recruit this one. I'm not going to disband that. Speed. Equal strength. Clan Morbidus is weaker than us. Alright, change of plans. I was going to go after Clan Morbidus, but I have a very big suspicion that Manfred is going to declare war on me, so I'm going to change course and head to, in this direction. Got a big suspicion that he's coming. Because if Manfred declares war on us, that is way more devastating to us than if these guys declare war on us. Because they're they're not a huge threat. This is a big fucking threat. We need to we need to address this right now. This is the more prudent option, so sometimes you gotta adjust your plans. We're gonna need more troops if we wanna fight on Manchild. Yeah, we need to go after Manfred, so we're gonna we're gonna go smash him. So change of plans. These guys here might just remain passive for the rest of the campaign. If, if we remain stronger than them, they might just leave us alone. Because they're a minor faction. Manfred is very aggressive, so it is so much more likely that he'll launch the attack on us. Ask Maine to break his agreements with someone? He do he's likely not got any agreements. Manfred hates everyone. The Baris usually declares war on me as Krokgar. Yeah, that might happen, but it's not going to happen while she's fighting the Silver Host, so I'm not worried about that right now. Unfortunately, with these sort of campaigns, you can't prepare for everything. You have to just look at what is most likely going to happen and then just prepare for that. Because if we tr if we split our forces up into three and try to deal with them on all three fronts, we're, we're not going to succeed. So let's go to the biggest threat right now, which is Manfred. Then I think the next biggest threat is Clan Morbidus. And we'll just keep an eye on Libaris. Casting the runes is thirsty work. Let's Okay, now if we offer to join war against Silver Host. What do you want of the warrior queen? Silverhost has no armies. Manfred just got stronger. And we're going to lose a lot of our magic as we force march through here. Don't have a choice. I have to move quick. Yeah, there's a big army sitting in there. we got to move. Alright, if I recruit another unit, three units, we're going to go broke. 
So, stay there, wait for Krokka. Okay, I think we would be best upgrading the Serpent Coast first because we've already got the um, the port building here. So we could... See, upgrading this will give us 100 gold, whereas getting a new one here would give us 200. So let's do with that. I really want more Winds of Magic. But we got minus 10 here, which sucks, but just got to deal with it. That doesn't cost any money. Let's just do that. Why well, don't join his war? Manfred? It's only... Good. No, I think we should strike him now. I'm Actually, that's not a bad idea. Maybe I will declare war on the Rakaf dynasty, because they're not going to do anything to us. Have a look. Oh, they already took him out. The danger thou art in, mortal. Mind -breaking. And a brutal business is fine for us since we're using melee infantry. Cold blooded. I have no two seventy. You seek the favor of Iron Peak. Uh, I'm Four hundred from him isn't too bad. That's essentially one turn's worth of money for us. And it'll make him like us a little bit. Alright, let's have a look at what treaties Manfred's got. I, I doubt he'll break any of them, but let's have a look. Do not underestimate the he doesn't... Thou art in, mortal. Mine patience wears thin for thy I've got a non-aggression pact with um with Order of Lawmasters. Well, I don't even want to trade with what me. Oh, they're at war with Oracles of Zinch. That's good. Yeah, if, if you could take them out, I'll come and help you soon, because they're bastard. Um... Yeah, my biggest concern is that if I declare war on... No, they're, they're going to take out the Silver Coast. The they're going to take him out. Your... Yes. There we go. 400 gold, better than nothing. How to properly manage Geomantic Web? You, you don't even need to. You can ignore it. It's it's a minor... It doesn't even really do much. But there's basically a building in each tier, a uh, major settlement that you build, and it just boosts the Geomantic Web. That's it. That's, it's really simple. Can the Shadow Realm stance be intercepted? Yes, I'm pretty sure it can. I'm playing Manfred campaign and fighting Kairos. Can he target my armies and freeze them even if they're in ambush stance? I don't know. That's an interesting thought, I don't know. After declaring war on Manny, ask Thorok to join? Yes, that's a good idea. I don't think Thorok will do it, but that's a good idea. Ooh. it is. I could preserve my magic or I could move quicker. I think it would be better to move quicker because we just need to get out of this province. And with this one, it's... Yeah, okay. Let's go with that and get some line of sight. Okay. Income went up a little bit. Let's see if we can do any more diplomacy. Defender of truth. This night. Nah, everything's fine there. Actually, no, no. We want to go down the yellow line a bit more. It's fine. Yeah, try to catch Manford with his pants down. That would be ideal. And suck that bald, bald. Never mind. Okay, let's move. What do you think about the new missions at the beginning of a campaign? Impactful? Not very. Oh, uh, it's not super impactful, but it's better than nothing. Yeah, it, it, there's no downside to them. You could always just not do them. If you don't want to do them. 
And sometimes they're relatively convenient and get some decent items out of them. So yeah, not not so bad. Okay, so it seems like Manfred is at the Sun Tree Glades. Now, shouldn't Tic Tac Toe have finished smashing these guys by now? These greenskins? Be at war with Clan Morbidus. <laughs> I, I definitely want to, but we have other things that we have to do right away. I need to get out of this fucking province. Oh, I've still got some magic left. That's not Manfred. That's Manfred. Let's see if we can make it there by regular stance. No. Shit. So I think we'll have to encamp next turn as we make our way towards Orion's camp. At least we fully recovered. And we're generating some wins. Oh yeah, because this area here is generating magic. That's good. What the fuck happened to Plaqua? What? Why won't they be more friendly? Okay, I don't see myself recruiting any more units for the time being, so I'm gonna get rid of this and just get money. Because, yeah, I'm, I'm just not gonna be recruiting. Let's grab that. Because if these guys here do declare war on me, I'll just get skinks and regiment of renown if I've got any. I just I can't possibly afford any more right now. That's a good recruiting province because that reduces the recruitment duration. That's a good landmark, that one. Alright. If we have a look at Clan Morbidus again. Yeah. So they've recruited their army and they're not going to get any stronger now. As long as we don't get totally smashed in our armies, they're unlikely to declare war on us. It still could happen. Reptiles and serpents bring who seeks me. Yeah. Lizardman diplomacy is not super strong. Alright, let's move on. Just over the stream is he starts still as slow. Yeah, it's pretty slow. It's largely because you've got a lot of ground to cover without that many, many settlements. You can't just hop it hop from settlement to settlement. So I've got two provinces at the moment. And I'm decided to hit Manfred first. Because it looked like he was getting out of control. You should usually attack the biggest threat. Ah! What did I guess? There we go. Vindication. <laughs> Good. We knew he was coming. And I'm ready. This is fine. I mean, I would have preferred to get the jump on him, but this is fine. Would Dreadsaurians become viable if they had Wallbreaker? Feels like something they could have. Um, no, not re it's, it's, look, they are viable, they're just not cost effective, so if you're going to do it, it's just not cost effective. Yeah, yeah, okay, we need to exempt, because, yeah, okay. No point growing if you don't have public order. Probably have to build a public order there. Building, otherwise we can't tax this. Why, why is the public order there so bad? Yeah, just difficulty level. That's all it is. I just don't have any offsets at the moment. Oh, Krokgar was actually able to make it there. Shit, I wasn't expecting that. Well, that's great. Never. 
Suck shit, Manfred. You did. And I get that awesome fucking defeat tree. I was kind of hoping this guy here would reinforce. Alright, looking at the map, I just want to see if it's going to be the Wood Elf Settlement. Because if it is, that's good. Because that's a... No, it's not. That's fine. That's probably better this way, then. Uh, Manfred's rank 12. Well, we need to check to see what spells he's got. You said Vindication like Captain Holt from Brooklyn Nine-Nine. That's exactly what I was going for. You, you don't understand how much of a Brooklyn Nine-Nine fan I am. Me and my wife have watched through that show so many times. <laughs> Love that show. Uh, yeah, like a little bit of attrition, not the end of the world. You did trespass. Don't think that matters. Alright, we need to fight this battle manually. Uh, okay, so the thing I was looking at here was what kind of shit should we expect from Manfred. He's got the Sword of Unholy Power. He's on a Bartered Nightmare. But as far as I can tell, the only real damage he's going to do magically is with Spirit Leech. He does have lots more wins than us. But if we use Uranon's Thunderbolt, there is nothing... Blob. There's nothing he can do against us if we blob. Absolutely nothing. Unless I'm missing something. I don't see it. That's regenerating flesh. Yeah. Blob. Alright, let's do it. You watch 9-9? Love that show. I've, we've actually watched through it from beginning to end probably three times. Is it worth the cost to add a single dino for Siege Attacker? Oh yeah, absolutely. Or what you could do is just switch for a Croxagore Lord because they're a Siege Attacker. And then eventually your um, Saurus Lords will be on a Dinosaur. They, so you could do that. You can always use Regiments of Renown. There's quite a few that have Siege Attacker. But yeah, using a dino as a siege attack is definitely viable. You definitely want to make sure you've got a siege attacker in each of your armies, because roughly one in three or one in four of your battles should be sieges. Walled city sieges. Yeah, walled city sieges. So you're going to want to have that... Um... You don't want to sit there and besiege settlements for long periods of time. It's not ideal. Let the blob begin. Blobosaurus Rex. Vampire counts be like, hey, that's my ammo. <laughs> Welcome to the Blobosaurus Rex. There's nothing that they can do against us. Except for rout us. But we're Saurus warriors. We're not gonna rout. Uh, where's our reinforcements coming from? Okay, they're coming from behind here. I don't need to wait for them. So I'm not going to. Doesn't look like they're going to move towards us, so I need to move towards them. Yeah, mainly just want to bring them in just for balance of power purposes, that's it. They're not waiting on any reinforcements. Imagine the vampires also blob in the corner. Good, I hope they do. I hope they do. This is why in all of your armies you want to put an anti-blob weapon, but Manfred didn't do that. So, for example, if he had a Mortis Engine, I wouldn't do this. If he had Wind of Death, wouldn't do this. If he had Purple Sun, wouldn't do it. But he doesn't have any of those things. If he had, um, not that he would, but if he had uh, Fanatics with Twirly Whirlies, nope. Absolutely not. Yeah, you guys just stay out of it. What's the plan here? The plan is to go into a tight formation and use a random thunderbolt to destroy the skeletons. Because, did you know that flanking means nothing in Total Warhammer 3, especially if your units have charge bonuses of 7? It means nothing. So the fact that we're not getting our charges in doesn't mean anything. 
If you had Wind Blast, would, you use, would that be more cost effective over Thunderbolt? Against this, yeah, maybe. But Thunderbolt will be just fine. Because Skeleton Warriors get into nice tight formations. Okay, there, he's using Spirit Leech. He's overcasting it, but he'll just probably heal himself. Use it on this one. I can't do any healing. Would they get penalty if you fight from the edge of the tree line? Only on their um on their monster units, which their monster units aren't a concern. If if the Var guys lands, it's gonna die instantly. So yeah. Oh shit. Okay, that's a bit of a concern. He's trying to snipe my wizard. Okay. That's something because he's probably got enough magic to do it. We need to we need to fucking go. Because if this guy here if this guy here gets sniped, no We'll still probably win anyway. Okay, he's changing his targets every now and again. That's okay. Manfred's casting pretty damn quickly. Thing is, with the amount of wins he's got, he'll get a lot of these spirit leeches in. Is that Kevin? Let the blob begin. It's not quite a blob yet, but we'll see. Okay, what we need to do is try to kill Manfred as quickly as possible. Get in there, kill him. Yeah, spirit reaching my here. Yeah. yeah, like I said, the Var guys get wrecked in blobs. Not that blobalicious just yet, but I will turn it into a blob as soon as I can. Yeah, these two here need to go after Manfred. Get rid of him. If he wants to focus on using the heck on himself, good. Right, get back. Stay away from Kevin. I don't think we're going to be able to snipe Manfred. Let's try to pull Krokgar out and get him back into the blob. Typically speaking, you're not going to do well if you're surrounded by enemy infantry because they just lose their um, targets. So pull them out. Okay, we've got this little patch here, completely surrounded. Big blob over here. We're getting massive kills with this one. That's what you want to see. And yeah, we are absolutely smashing them. Wasn't quite as blobby as I would have liked. We've actually done some flanking over here. <laughs> the grave guard show up at the very end. Yeah, a wind blast in here would definitely be better. 
I don't have it yet. I'm gonna zoom in. Manfred just heals too quickly. Pyrrhic victory, my ass. There we go. Now we've got what we wanted. Massive blob over here. And hey, we're not even surrounded now. Good, good, good. Yeah, Manfred's Spirit Leeches are the one doing all the damage here. But Manfred was always going to be the biggest problem. If you have a look, he's done a lot of damage. I just, I don't have the means to snipe him. He, oh hang on, there's, he gets surrounded like that, that's not too bad. PC fighting for life? Uh, no, this is, it's, I got good frames, what are you talking about? This is... This is running really well. I don't know what you're talking about. And I'm looking at the encoding. I'm look look. I've got it open on my other monitor. It looks like it's good frames. Maybe not like 60 FPS, but it's not not bad. Manfred somehow managed to push me over there. I don't like that. Alright, let's bring these guys over now. Is the stream dying just, just for me? I think it's just for you, dude. It's working fine on my end. I've got no issues here. Look. I've only got 90 drop frames for the entire stream so far. No issues. No issues in the game as well. It's running just fine. Sounds like it's a problem at your end. Drop in frames is when you zoomed in. Uh, yeah, I guess that'll happen. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I can see now. Whenever there's like a... Yeah, whenever I go in close and use the lighting effect, the encoder has a hard time with it, yeah. But it's not at my end, it's just in the, in the video encoding. There we go, Armin lost him. Yeah, I think it's a random thunderbolt. Let's test it out. Although, yeah, it's not. They're going to decide something. Massive frame drop when using the spell. Yes, but it's not in my game. It's from the video encoding. So that's a really good start to this war. The settlement itself is not that big of a deal, but knocking out Manfred for a couple of turns, especially knocking out um, his starting army, because he's not going to be able to replace those Graveguard easily, or the Black Knights, or the Vargeists. You know, he's immortal right from the get-go. Yeah, the only damage done to us was because he Spirit Leeched us. And also, when he comes back, he'll have his magic reset. He's not going to have, um... I'm going to have 115. Mm -hmm. Okay. This isn't great territory for us. We should probably put this one first and don't tax it. Okay, there is something we have to be a little bit concerned about because what they could potentially do is besiege the settlement and then attack this army. But even if he does that, I'm fairly sure he'll be fine. Fairly sure. 
Not certain. Just, yeah, just stay where you are there. Plus, no. No, we didn't really knock down that much strength ranking. Right, it was a good amount of loot. So, the golden tower, if we were to upgrade this... There's nothing here that we desperately need. But we could put a growth building in there. Alright, let's do that one first. Okay. Alright, let's see if Tlaqua will help us out with this. Okay. No. No, we need to keep improving our spells. Let's go with Comet of Cassandora first. And then with him. We don't really need to go down the melee line with Krokgar. He's already a good enough fighter. But going down the blue line first could be quite good. Ancient Cunning, Fervent... Maybe... How quickly are we reading Corruption? Not that quick. I think... I think reduced recruitment cost... No, no. No, we'll go with... Uh, we'll go with Ancient Cunning. Uh, Connor van der Vende, two dollars in the chat. Are the hot fixes band-aids or solid fixes? They're mostly band-aids. Hot fixes are usually just fairly quick stuff. Um, if we put a barracks in here, I could sell the settlement to someone. Uh, Mr. Foolish did a five dollars budget legend. You are the legendary lord, and your viewers are all the units in the field. Lord JK, have a good stream, bro. I love your content and your vibe. All right, thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Yeah, if I build this, I could sell it to them before I attack them. Although they're probably dead anyway. Flakwood could be coming at them. Because, yeah, this settlement here is going to be difficult to maintain. It's just not going to be worth it. But if I can sell it for a shitload of money, maybe even selling it... Okay, let's sell it to, um... To Ironbrow's Expedition. Yeah, I just bail on this position. Uh, I'm even thinking about maybe disbanding this. Because... I don't think I need him now. And it would save me a lot of money. I'd be losing a few Soros Warriors. That's okay. Because, yeah, the hard part of this war, I think, is pretty much over. Alright, let's 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 get rid of him. Yeah, let's get rid of him. Is there anything I can build a bit quicker than that? No. Yeah. If we build that, I'm pretty sure I can sell it to them. Let me have a look. In these dark no, times, I won't be able to sell it to them. We should stand to hmm. Well then... Hmm. Well, we'll just have to see. But I imagine Manfred's gonna run for the hills now. When's the next big update before Thrones of Decay? Probably a few weeks. I'd imagine it'd be after Total War Pharaoh comes out. Alright, let's move on. I can't really see anything here that needs to be done. You require assistance? You dare. Right, let's move on. What's the typical first goal as Krokgar? Um Typical first goal is obviously secure your provinces, take out Clan Morbidus, and then you have to assess the situation. So I was going to attack Clan Morbid. Sorry, take out Clan Mordkin. I mean, um, I was going to attack Clan Morbidus, but 
I saw Manfred expanding down this way, and I knew he was going to declare war on me, so I changed my plan. See, it's important to not be rigid in what you want to do, because you never know when the AI is going to declare war on you. Will you dismount your character off your cold ones? No, no, they're fine on the cold ones. No, that's fine. Alright, if I can't reach them, then they're unlikely to reach me. There's an army sitting there. Because, yeah, I want to sell Orion's camp, but I can't sell Orion's camp. To anyone, but hang on, I can sell it to Thlaqua, to Thlaqua can't I? Yes, I can. I can sell it to them. We need to wait for that building to be done first. Because that'll jump up the uh, the um, the value of it immensely. Yeah, fuck, fuck um, them. Okay, let's go down into here. Any camp stands? Do we have raid stands? No. Yeah, yeah. No one's gonna attack this, and we'll sell it next turn for a buttload of money and relations with with thingy. Okay, I think what we should do here is have a Lord in um, Astromancy Stance. Just a cheap one. Yeah, you'll do. That way I can catch anyone that's coming over here and and like just get an emergency army built really quickly if they're coming down this way. Obviously cost us a supply line, but it's not that big of a deal. Need more cash. Cool. Alright, we got public order going up here, that's good. I don't think there's any more diplomacy we need to do. Defender of no. Alright, let's move on. Now that Manfred lost so much power, could you get Teclas to drop the NAP with him? No, he doesn't have an NAP with him. I have the NAP with him. <laughs> he doesn't have an NAP with Teclas. How are you going to deal with Kairos? Just ignore him and take... Or take his lands. Right now, I'm not worrying about what I have to do 40 turns from now. So we'll uh, we'll we'll see about that. I don't have to even meet Kairos. If Kairos invades the Southlands, then I have to deal with him. But there's a good chance that that won't happen. Um, Attic Lion did a five bill super chat. Love the stream, recent streams, legend. Appreciate you. Given the changes between one, two, and three for many factions, have you considered doing a revised DLC tier list? Um, I feel like right now that will come off as a bit of a shilling exercise for Creative Assembly, so that's not a priority right now. Maybe later down the track, but thanks for Super Chat. Uh, okay, let's go with Reduce Corruption, since I don't intend to recruit for the next five turns. Good. Oh no! <laughs> Never. Well, we found out. And yes, he is coming over here. Alright. So, looking at this, Arena's camp should be worth a lot more now. Yeah, that's good. We could get a... Yep, and this, and this. Oh, ooh. Oh, hang on. Wouldn't it also be good to get one of these? Yep, and one oh my god, we get so, oh my god, we get so much from that. Yeah. Look at all we get. And all that all they get is Orion's camp, which they might lose straight away anyway. Alright, done deal. That is a good deal! <laughs> okay. So he's at war with Manfred. He's going to help us out now. And he also really likes us, which is even better. Since we want to get a confederation with him as soon as possible. See, they're here. Okay. Alright. Get back over here. And we can see. Ooh. Okay, he definitely can't reach here this turn. We've got nine units in there. I think that we could auto-resolve win that, but I might need to recruit another lord. 
and recruit just some basic units. Because it's likely maybe they'll try to attack Krexel. Or maybe even go to Orion's camp. Which is good, if they do that. Because then we can take it back and just resell it again. <laughs> uh, they didn't leave their army at Kasabar, but I will just take it then. I will take it for myself. Yeah, that's fine. Nice, easily spread out damage there. That's fine. Uh, it's going to go down to tier 1 anyway. So I might as well sack and occupy it. Because I think I've got the movement to be able to do that. Better. Yeah, yeah, we're fine. Yeah, yeah, it was down... Yeah, it was fine. Oh, I see, yeah. And repairing that is not essential right this very second. Okay. And Manfred right now is not not considering peace. He's thinking about it. Alright, all that money that we just got. Let's kick this guy out and get a Croxagor Lord. Because they're really good against garbage armies coming in at us. Cunning could be good. That's not a Croxagor. Whatever. <laughs> That's... They are crooks they all look the same. Alright. Yeah, just get some of those units. Maybe I shouldn't have disbanded my army after all. Oh well. So over here, this province isn't growing super quick, so let's get that going. So considering it's not being taxed anyway, let's get some growth going. So what this army here obviously wants to do is wait for me to leave and then attack. They'll cancel their recruitment. Hang on, let me just see if I can. Do not invoke the gods around Cetra. What if I gave you Kasabar? Okay, what if I built a military building at Kasabar? Instead of this one. That'll take me three turns. Yeah. Yeah, it'll take me three turns to build that. I don't want to sit around here for three turns. Still. I definitely want to hold on to it, but... The thing is, he's got a lot of armies. I'll just see how we go with that. I'm not going to repair this, because I just don't know if I'm going to hold it. We need to keep moving. If this guy charges up this way, we'll recruit another lord here next turn. Just standing outside the settlement, it'll make a big difference. In terms of regiments of renown, we've got one... Yeah, we've got a few units that we can recruit in an emergency, but most of this is likely just trash. The biggest problem is going to be the Strigoi, which a Croxagor will sort it out. Alright, Tablet of Crafts will eventually lead to... It's not that easy. Oh, that's, that's better. Let's get that. Okay. Yep, gaining wins. Alright, let's move on. I don't see anything else we gotta do. Hang on, Crocar's gotta level up as well. Didn't notice it. Okay, rank 10. We can start getting these ones here. So we can get... Obliterate the Undead. I don't really like these ones that much. Nah, I'm not going to worry about it. We could go Blessing of... I think, is it Quetzal? Yeah, Reduced Upkeep Cost for Saurus Warriors. Save us 500 gold. Yeah, let's do that. Alright, and... Oh, did I run out of cash? Alright, I could have done a Rite of Sotek before I spent my money. Alright, let's move on. A bit of cash. I could do this. Ten extra growth wouldn't hurt. Alright, let's do it. And let's move on. Ask Thorak to join war. Um, it's, it seems unlikely he would do that because he doesn't border them. So I'll, I'll do. I'll give it a shot next turn, but I, I don't think he'll accept it.
Now, Manfred seems likely that he'll just run away from Plaqua. Very unlikely he will launch an attack. Unless, unless they try to use two armies on one. Yeah, that's what I thought he would do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, look at this. Cowardly AI. And that one's still up there. You could do the quest battle for cash. Yeah, but it would just it would wreck my armies. It'd wreck my army. Doing that in the early game is sometimes a big risk. It's very rare that there's a quest battle where you don't take any damage, and our army's not gonna be suitable for that sort of situation right now. But yeah, it would give us more money. Okay, so we have 12 units versus their 20. But, important thing to note is that we actually have two units of temple guards. Now what I can do here is just feign an attack here. What I'm trying to do is just figure out what, what the hell is in his army. Oh yeah! Okay. Yeah, there's nothing to be concerned about there. I mean, half of the army is zombies. Yeah, if we put in a Croxagore Lord here... Just over here... Do you know what they might do? The they might not attack the Golden Tower because the garrison will provide an order resolve buff, but they might actually attack this Croxagore Lord and will probably smash the crap out of them. It'll be a field battle either way. How is he recruiting? Oh, you fucking cheat! <laughs> You're not supposed to be able to recruit in a region that you don't... You bloody cheaty bastard! Sending me in the wrong direction. He's just waiting for me to leave. Alright, I got an idea. Why don't you take Kassabar? Because I might just declare war on you straight after this. Yeah, he'll accept it. Alright, hang on. Oh, why don't I check with Thoric? Greetings. What do you require of Karakazul? During war against Drakenhof Conclave. Oh, he, he, yeah, he'll do that. He'll do it, but... I don't know if I want to give him the settlement. I don't think I want to do that. See, if I'm going to give it to someone, I'm going to give it to somebody that I'm definitely going to attack. Cetra is a, is a good target to attack. Good lands out here. Green territory. So I'll just let him borrow it and tell him to go to war with the Drakenhof Conclave. Oh, yeah, I won't do it. Um... Well, he doesn't even have to go to war with the Drakenhof Conclave. Just, why don't you just hold on to it and just give me some money. Why don't you build it up so I can come and sack it again later. Yeah, if I built a military building, I don't have time to do that. But yeah, if I go after this guy, he's just going to run out into the wilderness. And just play Kiss Chasey. Uh, fuck that. Fuck that. Let's just try to get rid of Manfred. And not worry too much about... Yeah, there's no way this garrison here is going to be able to stop him. We can always just come back for this. Yeah, oh, uh, hang on, what about this, what about this one? Alright, I could give it to Tic-Tac-Toe instead, but the thing is I don't intend to attack Tic-Tac-Toe, and if he takes it, his garrison will be restored, and then this one here won't attack it. So I want to give it to somebody that I can take it off. So I think I will give it to Cetra. But I don't want any agreements. I'll just sell it for that much. There you go. I'm trespassing, but whatever. It's fine. Okay. Main thing here is just get rid of Manfred. That's all we got to be focusing on. I don't think I need to recruit here. It's not going to arrive in time anyway. We just need to get through this turn here and then it can be disbanded. Yeah, if Tic-Tac-Toe grabs Suntree Glades, and I grab Bagar and Anti Antok, and then I'll go back and smash, um, 
etc. straight after that. Sell to tic-tac-toe. Yeah, it, the thing is, if I sell it to tic-tac-toe, I won't get it back. If I give it to etc., I'll easily get it back. Why no ambush wait? Too passive. They're not coming in here. There's just too passive. Plus, we'll take attrition. Want to go after something. He's only got a few settlements left. Be aggressive. Like I guess I'll just come back for it. Any scenario where we keep Kesabar means that we have to lose momentum. I just need to keep pushing. The settlement's only tier 1. Just let him borrow it. It's not like it was worth much money, but let him borrow it for the time being. It also resets our public order issues. Whitesland did a £5 super chat. Hey Legend, love the uh, recent live streams. Hope all is well with you. Many thanks to the hours of entertainment. Alright, no worries, dude. Uh, hope all, everything is well with you as well. Thanks for super chat. Alright, we're all good here. Confederation with Tic-Tac-Toe. That is not likely to happen anytime soon. The more territory I give to Tic-Tac-Toe, the less likely he'll confederate. So I have to keep him at bay. Ask Volkmar, he might also join. No, don't worry about Volkmar. We've got Manfred. Enough people are all Manfred. We got it. We got it. This is fine. Yeah, you gotta love this blue arrow that shit says what their intentions are, but they don't actually do it. Some blessed skinks are extra manpower. No, I think I can win with what we've got. His army is full of zombies. He's not gonna win. Oh, fuck. <laughs> ah, they pulled a... They pulled a sneaky on me. I was surprised. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, gotta think about this a little bit. Th Manfred is getting auto-resolve bonuses. He'll use Spirit Leech like crazy. Doesn't have that much Winds of Magic. The rest of his army is absolute garbage. I'm gonna hold my ground here and try this. Yeah, if it was the Strig guy, I wasn't worried. Uh, but yeah, with okay, maybe I should have recruited. The, we'll we'll see. We'll see. All right. We'll see. Alright, we'll see. You can still blob? Oh yeah, yeah, we can still blob. Yeah, that's not a problem. Alright, we've got to wait for our reinforcements. Losing the settlement would be a disaster? Yes, it would. So I really need to win. <laughs> I really, really need to win. It's pretty important. But his entire army is rubbish. Manfred's only rank 12. He's not that special. And he gets massive order resolve bonuses. Thing is, I've got a lot of skinks that need to use their ammunition, so that's going to be a little bit tricky. Also, we've got Temple Guard. Temple Guard are going to wreck this army. It's all basic crap. We've got some elite units. They, they've got nothing that's going to be able to defeat the uh, Temple Guard. Come on, hurry up, guys. I kind of wish I had put this to be a Croxagore Lord now, because the one thing got extra health. Alright. Just hang on a second. Alright, there's high ground over here. We should take it. Yes, use... Yes, use it on the skink cohort. What a poor choice. Alright, the problem here is that we're definitely going to get surrounded, so maybe actually come back over here. Because they outnumber us by a lot. Hang on. They didn't get a proper charge in there, that's good. Sacrificing these guys in the earlier stages of the battle is good. These skinks can outrun any of the zombies. Let's 
They're only taking damage on skinks. Alright, need these two guys to go fight Manfred. Now, Mongols tend to have a lot of man missile resistance, yeah. But they also regenerate because they've got the hunger, so we're going to be careful about that. Just wait, just wait, just wait. Okay, wait for Manfred to get pulled into here. That would be ideal. Okay, we've got to get rid of the Mongols. They're doing too much damage. Yeah, even with that resistance, that's wrecking them. got wrecked, good. Move over this way a little bit more, shoot them in the flank. Okay, Manfred's refusing to fight where I want him to, pull that back. Their most dangerous units have essentially been defeated now. That's fine. A little bit blobbed up here, which isn't perfect. Formation's messed up. What we need is the Temple Guard to be fighting Manfred. This guy here needs to be cycle charging as much as possible. Use up lost your ammo. Okay, start running back. It's like this one. Skinky skinks are being shit. Not gonna lie, I am a little bit worried. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit worried here. If we want any chance of winning, we have to take Manfred out. Okay, we're out of ammo now. Gotta hope our guys rally. I don't think they're going to though. The only skinks though. Doing damage to Manfred. Come on, rally. Rally, please. Just just stay there. Don't don't fight. Just stay there. Rally, rally, please. Good. Come on. Oh, damn it. it changed music. Okay, I'm I'm less worried now. I'm less worried. Okay, Manfred has also decided to start fighting Temple Guard. That's very stupid of him. This guy here needs to constantly be cycle charging. Because he can get lots of kills on all their infantry. A few units are crumbling. You stay there. If you route, we're fucked. We don't want these ones going into melee because they'll just route. But we don't want them to leave the battlefield. I think I've got this. I think we got this. Okay, 
Good, that unit died. Get in over here. We don't want to surround them. I don't think that's overly useful. Actually, I want you to try to get around here. Try to flank him from over here. Yeah, doing this constantly will get pretty much free hits. Cycle charge. Right, you go back in on Manfred though. Because he, he's anti-large and if he dies it's not that big of a deal. He's not the commander of the battle. Good. Keep Manford pinned down, keep that guy fighting, because at least he's anti-large. And that guy has poison attacks, that's good. Keep Manford pinned down. Really important. I think we've got this. Yeah, the worst of it's over. It was a bit touch and go there at the start, but I think we got this. Some of the skinks are not fighting. I know that. I'm deliberately leaving him in the reserve. We, we don't want our entire army getting these orcs in. If I send them in to fight, they're just going to run away. Then I'll lose balance of power. We've got this. Yeah, we've got this. Manfred is taking way too much damage to our Saurus here. And this guy here is getting really good hits in. We got this. Big hit from Manfred. Temple Guard are doing just fine. Keep smashing Manfred. Ooh, our Saurus running away is not ideal. The Temple Guard, they're getting loads of kills. It's good to see all this crumbling going on here. That's what we want to see. Just keep our guys in the fight as long as possible. Uh, he will not rally when there's enemy units close by, but we'll give it a shot anyway. Hundred fifty four and hundred fifty five model one. Doesn't matter. I don't need them in fight. They're just skinks. Who cares? Who cares if they're not fighting? It doesn't matter in the slightest. They're not going to trade well against this anyway. They're going to provide literally no value by going into melee. Just leave them be. Good, they actually did rally. Get back over here. Do you know what the annoying thing about this battle is going to be? Is that Manfred is probably going to recover a lot of troops and raise the dead and attack us again. Our <laughs> guy's struggling a bit there. Don't you dare run away. He was doing really well against Manfred for a while, but he seems to be struggling now. Maybe I should wait for him to recover his fatigue. Let's get out of the fight for a bit. Let's 
Let's get over here and recover your fatigue. This guy here is not taking damage. I think his Manfred's just got really high combat stats. Oh, how dare you! I need this dude. Okay, I need to send some reinforcements over here. I'd pull the temple guard out, but they're completely surrounded. I, I really need to just do a little bit more damage to Manfred. Every hit that we do to him loses so much balance of power for them. This guy is anti-large after all. Come on. One more hit. One more hit. One more hit and army losses. There we go. I knew it. He got army lost. Now watch as all of his army recovers and he just attacks a second time. Big, big crossing my fingers hoping here that Manfred actually remains wounded. And this is the biggest bullshit when dealing with vampire counts is how they can just recover straight away and then attack you. What's the point of winning this battle if he's just going to get all these units back and attack you again? Well, he might do that. It's not guaranteed. He might do that. There's no vampiric corruption in the region. There's, there's no... Ugh, Manfred did come back, but his army is fucked. Um, yeah, we should go with replenishment. That'll trickle down into here as well. And will he attack again? It doesn't look like it. Okay, cool. Three scaly spears and a zombie. The problem is, is him though. That's the problem. Did they come back with full health? No, they're still, oh, they're really badly, he must have merged them. We should actually be able to just auto that. Ooh. Plus the garrison comes out as well. Yeah, this should just be... Yeah, yeah, yeah. All good. See you, Manny. And now you've got the so useful defeat trade as well. Alright, well that sorted out that little problem. That was... That was very bloody close. And it looks like this one here may be wanting to come over here as well, so maybe we should keep our forces, I'm not sure. Yeah, he doesn't want to do it. Okay. Okay. This is going really well now. Really well. Do you want to join in on this? What do you require of Karen? Right, if I gave you a settlement, you would. Never. It would actually be in my best interest if they actually took back Orion's camp. That army is more dangerous than the other one that just came over here. There's fewer zombies. So if this one comes over this way, we need to be ready. More ready than last time. So... That will definitely help. Don't need Root Marcher. That'll help. You can be disbanded, it'll save us some money. And I'll recruit a couple more skinks. No, uh, not now, not now. Because all of this mostly recovered anyway. He's not going to be here for a couple of turns, if he is going to come. Okay. Yeah, go and hit Vega. Probably order resolve, I reckon. Hmm. 
No, I just like to fight. We won't have enough movement. What do I enjoy most about Lizardmen? Um, that they're dinosaurs that ride dinosaurs. I don't know. They're just a interesting faction, I guess. Alright, let's go with that. And... Crocodile got... Let's see... Okay, it's unlikely that they're going to be able to reach Antok, but I can reach Antok. So yeah, Manfred is on his way out. That's his last settlement. He'll be trying to get Orion's camp. I'll definitely want to get that back. So I can sell it back to Sviper. And we definitely want that. We want to get down the blue line. Okay. Wait, what's this mission? Is it Occupy? Yeah, Capture and Occupy. Okay, that's good. And that bug. Oh, we got a tier 2. So I can recruit more Saurus from here, but I've already done that. I've already got Max Saurus. For now. So, don't need that right away. How do they feel about us? Okay. Cetra will probably not declare war on us because we sold him a territory. So we can... We don't have to attack him right away, but I think we're going to have to go after Volkmar, but that's good. His defeat trade is really good for Krokgar. So let Cetra have that for a little while, let him build it up. Over here, I think this is going to be the border for a little while. Because we're going to go Antok, assuming... Uh, just to see how things play out. How long will that take to build? Five turns. It's kind of a long time. Nah, go gems. I need money. I need cash. How are we going over here? Alright, we can tax this again for a little while. Get some more cash up in there. That'll be good. Public order starting to come under control a bit better. Yep, I want you to keep a close eye on what's going on. Don't need magic. So just do that. Oh, I wonder if they have a mission for me. Okay, I forget to do that sometimes. No, I don't need an outpost. Okay, let's move on. What's the trait? Volkmar's defeat trait provides melee defense and melee attack for melee infantry. And since we're going Soros Warriors, plus three extra stat bonuses is a big deal. Oh, I need to turn that off. So he might declare war on me. Ooh, no, you're not going to beat Ironbrow's expedition, so no. Oh, they're demanding money? No, you're not in a position to <laughs> declare war on me right now. Nah, man, occupy it. Occupy it, bitch. Well, they'll definitely occupy it next turn because they're not going to have any territory, so they'll they'll have to make an attack. But yeah, you can see how the this is what the AI was going to do if we had chased after them over there. They just they just run off into the distance. Right, available. I don't need it. I don't need it. Um, unknown. Sorry, unknown. Food two one did a five dollar super chat. Hey, legend. Do you think it's possible that both army get lost at the same time? Love the content. Um, I've never seen that happen, so I don't know if that's possible. Well, thanks, Super Chat. Are you purposely not killing the rats in the south so you won't make Kairos? No, I was going to go attack them, but then Manfred was threatening, so I changed my plans. Those rats are never going to get any stronger. Manfred grows out of control, so that's why I prioritized him. As soon as I've got some more forces to go down there, I absolutely will. But I, just, I can't justify it right now. Um, yeah, I don't care about the Sentinels. They don't declare war on us anyway. Okay, so that's good. Yeah, we don't want tic-tac-toe getting that. He'll definitely capture this. I respect the ancient knowledge and wisdom of your masters. Speak. Hmm. 
Yeah, I'd be very surprised if Libarus managed to hold off Thorak for very long. First we drink, then we talk. Now it's a shit trade. Um, okay, just curious about that, that's all. Yeah, Antox's the way to go. Another order resolve. Alright, we could sell that to Tlaqua for a lot of money. Yeah, and that could give us a military alliance. I'm not going to do that right now, but I'm just saying it's an option for us. Uh, it is likely that Tic-Tac-Toe will force march to Orion's camp. And if he does that, that means it's the end of Manfred. Because this army is not going to capture anything. It might run towards us here, but that's good. We want more kills. And then we move towards Plain of Tuskers. These guys have managed to obtain a few settlements out this way, but going up this way is good for us. Yeah, I usually do head down south, but this is a good area for us, for sure. This is just fine. Yeah, we definitely don't want to meet Kairos. <laughs> Kairos is a pain. Alright, so, Cursed Jungle, yep, grab that, and don't really need that at all, go with that. I don't intend to sell this. Actually, I got an idea. Mighty Sigma has granted me the power to see in the world. <laughs> what you could do, I'm not really going to do this, but what you could do is right before you declare war on someone, you sell them a region and then you just immediately take it straight back. Problem with that is that I'll be knocking the settlement down to tier 2. A tier, sorry, from tier 2 to tier 1, so it's not really worth doing. Yeah, so just leave that be. I will build this and get rid of that and build this. I'm starting to get more money again. That's great. So yeah, we've got a right. It's the right of Sotek. We don't need that. We're not even using skinks. And there's nobody sitting in our territory, so that's all good. Don't you want to distract Karas before he wipes that Oxyodal? Um, look, my hands are... I just, there's only so many things you can do at any given time. It's only turn 20. Oxyodal is not going to die by now. Okay, one way we can check to see if Oxyodal is having a hard time is looking at the Zinch corruption out here. Do you see how it's going down? That means Oxyodal has presence over here. If we have a look here... No Zinch corruption here. Yeah, Zinch Corruption out this way. Yeah, we're not... He's not even close to finishing off Oxyodal. We're, we're good. We're good. We're fine. It's not a priority. Yeah, it's not something that you should try to rush towards in the early stage of the game. Oxyodal holds out for a good long while against him. Yeah, there's also a chance that Oxyodal will just wipe out um, Kairos. Just, just, chill. just chill. It's all good. Okay, so he, he is going to Orion's camp. He'll definitely make that attack. That's why they should have occupied it last turn. You can recruit Chief Hero at T2 Skink Building. Yep, that's cool, but that would require me to upgrade it. I'll do it later. We don't really need to, um, we don't need a Skink Chief right now. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So, 
Yeah, instead of attacking that settlement, he's force marched his way over here. He's, he's going to attack me instead. Do you think we play another Warhammer in CA? I don't know what that means, man. Oh, I want regular Blessed Saurus with shields, not with spears. Alright, at least these ones are taking attrition, and if they don't own any settlements, they are very unlikely to... Good, that's easy to take that out. They're very unlikely to... Did we retain any experience? No. That's not likely to be a problem, so... Let's get another Croxagor in here. Yeah, I'll put you in. Okay. And we're going to ambush dance. Yeah, that might that might guarantee an order resolve win. And then smash this army. Probably an order resolve will be fine. Free allegiance points for me. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, we'll get allegiance points for us. So maybe it's not so bad. Also, it's possible Oxyodal might even reach them. I think there's a possibility Oxyodal will reach, because he is the campaign movement range lord. Whatever the case is, Ma Manfred is finished. Alright, it's time to start moving on to the Cult of Sigmar. This is a faction that really should not be able to stand up against us. Okay, just thinking about their armies possibly going to Begar, we should recruit some forces here just in case they do that. Their armies are probably up this way. If you have a look here, the strengths... They do have some military presence. So maybe... Oh, I probably pissed them off because they trespassed, yeah. Maybe I should strike him at Sudenberg first. Nah, let's go Plane of Tuskers. Thing is, this is what I know the AA is going to do. I'll attack Plane of Tuskers and this army will just go straight for Vagar. So, if that's the case, we need to start preparing for that now. So just, yeah, recruit another... Yeah, go Croxigals. They really struggle against them in the early game. And yeah. It costs money, but we need to defend our territory because they're going to go for low-hanging fruit. They're not going to go for our army. Yes, we'll move the replenishment follower. You're absolutely right. Thank you for that. Yep, 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 yep. Thank you. Good. Gives us, what, one extra troop per turn? It's better than nothing. Yeah, better than nothing. I don't know. We'll be able to disband them next turn. That'll free up some money. Public order here is now maintaining. That's good. Just keep everything as it is. Got a good amount of cash in reserves. That's good. Okay, at the Golden Tower, we just got up to tier 3. So that means the garrison here is even stronger than it was before. Yeah, there's, there's more Saurus units here. We should go with... Growth building will help us get uh, Teotika built quickly, but we also would benefit from... From this one here, getting capacity for Skink Chiefs. Yeah, let's, let's get that done. It, it's still growing reasonably quick, it'll be fine. Plus, there's a... Is there a tech with that one? Yeah, tech at tier 2. And talk, go with money. These two settlements here should be relatively safe now. Okay.
Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, and let's move on. Build scrying pool for that public order research. I tell you what, next time we build a tier 3 settlement, we'll do that. Won't take us too long to get another tier 3 settlement. We've got other techs we need to do as well, but yeah, that's a good idea. Nah. Okay. That's the end of Manfred. He's wiped out. Which means Slackwa has no enemies, which means it'll be looking for an enemy. Also, guys, no defeat so far in this campaign. So far. Hmm, Tablet of War Tech. Yeah. It's not the worst here, but they've become really strong to make up for it. Skin Chiefs are pretty good, and they're also really cheap. Getting them early is good, because you want to level them up. Lord Mazdamundi communes, my lord. Yet his Go words away. are greatly Go weakened away. at Go this away. distance. The geomantic web, the fundamental power network of your cold blooded kind. Needs a skip button to that. Alright, this can all be disbanded. This has been sorted. Give that razor standard over to Kropka. Cool, this will save us quite a lot of money. Good, that's that's financially that much better. Alright, military presence of four. It could be... So that means eight units somewhere. I hope it's actually in the Plain of Tuskers region. It isn't. Their strength ranking is higher than us, but only by a little bit. If we have a look here... He kind of likes them. That's okay, I don't really want him to be involved. This, this should be a relatively easy war. So this is just mostly to, to be defensive. I'll even... Global recruit as well, because I don't expect this one to be leaving this area. Ah, oh, my money! They hit me where it hurts. Yeah, alright. You've convinced me. No, I don't have money! But I will have money when I plunder the settlement. Maybe. Well, well, I guess we'll see. If I had my way, you would be dealt flame and hammer. Can't negotiate with this faction, can I? No. No. Okay. You will taste the impossible. Okay, a uh, long time only ever able to watch replays. I love you. Hope you understand how solid you are as an individual, especially how you reflect on yourself. Oh, thanks dude, Robbie Brown. Appreciate that. Your boy Dobby did a $20 super chat. Thanks dude. Oh, you guys are so generous. I really appreciate that. Okay, um, I'm just going to order that. Okay, I'm going to loot and occupy, which is going to cause public order problems. But, if I sack it, I won't have enough movement, and we need to move. Is Krokka still the most powerful Lizardman in Legendary Lord, in your opinion? Oh, uh, was he ever? I, I don't recall him. Yeah, sorry, I, I don't, I don't think so. He's still very powerful, but I don't know if he's number one. Yeah, it's been a long time since I've even looked at that kind of stuff. Alright, draft master's good. I don't really need any more though. Not possible. Now watch as they just rush towards Bagar. Yeah, we got a bunch of units here that we can recruit in an emergency. Unlikely they'll be able to attack us in one turn. But what we should do here is recruit another lord and put it in ch oh, here, here is what we do. Put this guy in Astromancy Stance, and have another one recruit. Because that is exactly where they're going, I'm sure of that. 
Well, although what I actually hope they do is try to defend Sudenberg, but the AI rarely defends their, their settlements, I've noticed. They, they just, just run away. Alright, so now we got the money for... Wait, what? Oh, what did I... What did... We need to get this going. Okay, let's get a fire one. No. You require assistance? Mm, no, I don't think I'm gonna treat you with you. Wouldn't get that much money. No. Kendrick White did a ten dollar super chat. Hey Legion, I'm glad you're streaming more. I hope you're enjoying it too and doing well. Your live streams give me new ideas, so I like to use the early game guides. Lol. Love seeing you play this man. All right, thanks, dude. I appreciate that. Yeah, things are going all right. Appreciate it. Will we get an updated unit tier list since Worm Three is less melee cheats and nerf range units? Well, I have been doing unit tier lists, but they haven't been performing very well. Um, so I'll I'll think about it. We'll see. I'll, I'll definitely do them as new units are added, like we did one for Zinj. And I did one for the Warriors of Chaos, but yeah, it didn't didn't perform amazingly well, and it's a lot of work. Alright, is there anything else that needs to be done? No, we're good. Out of money anyway. Okay, let's see how cowardly these idiots are. anti blade bias, it was totally fixed. It was definitely toned down, though. Definitely. I'm not getting, like, random war declarations like we were in prior to 4.0. General question to chat. Cathay boring or not? I am trying to do a campaign at the moment. They're kind of meh. Yeah, Cathay is a little bit meh. But I don't think that they're boring. I think that they, they definitely don't have much late game interest. But in the early game, it's okay. Oh, no. They're going to continue what they were originally doing. He's going for that. And he succeeded. Looks like his army got fucking wrecked, though. Realm of Chaos Stream, it would be fun. No, it wouldn't. Realm of... Yeah, if I want to kill my channel, that's what I would do. Nobody wants to watch Realm of Chaos, because nobody plays it. Your boy Dobby did a $20 super chat. Hey, War Total of Legend. Um, have you given any thoughts to the multiplayer games, possibly with other Warhammer creators or some other type of subscriber wars? You can set up different goals rather than the normal in-game short victory stuff. Um, I can think about it, but multi multiplayer is not likely to be something I'm going to be participating in. It, it seems unlikely, but it, you never never say never. Thanks for the chat. Okay. Oh, cool. Well, this is unusual. He's holding his ground there. I guess he feels like he needs to in order to repel me, but he's not going to be able to win. This army is likely going to come straight down here. We need to make sure we're as ready as we can be. Yeah, we do need to get that done. Then again, if he comes rushing down here, I'll be able to force march Krokgar across here, I think. Okay, now that we've boxed Tic-Tac-Toe in, what it's likely to happen is he might declare war on Zlatlan in order to expand. But if he doesn't, then we'll be able to confederate him fairly soon because he's not expanding. If I sell him Plane of Tuskers... Yeah, we don't. Yeah, well, we'll see. Uh, Dirt Thirsted a two dollars super chat. Haven't played in a bit. Has the enemy AI improved? Actually, it's gone backwards, dude. <laughs> it's actually gone backwards. The AI has never been worse than it is right now. It's so bad. Are you streaming more regularly lately? For the next few weeks, yes. Next for the next few weeks. It's not a permanent thing. I don't think auto-resolving is a good idea. Let's have a look at the settlement. 
Because, yeah, our replenishment rate's not amazing. I don't expect that they'll be able to attack us over the end turn. Let me just check something real quick. It's going to be a tough one to cheese. Do we have any followers for movement? Um, move speed? No, it doesn't seem like it. Skink Priest. That would be good. Okay, let's fuse these two. Okay. Honestly, that item's nothing special. I mean, physical resistance, not bad, but let's fuse again and get a blue item. Ugh, God, this fucking rubbish. Oh, well, what are you gonna do? That is not a blue item. That is absolute rubbish. That is, that is a... There needs to be a lower tier than grey. Alright, I'll do the best I can. Would you recommend just play Warhammer 2 instead? No, not really. I mean, it just depends. Honestly, the difference between Warhammer 2 and Warhammer 3, there's, there's so many small things. There's a lot of quality of life improvements in Warhammer 3, but it, it just depends on the player. Like if you're if you're used to playing on legendary difficulty and you're looking for more challenging AI, then you should probably play Warhammer 2, more Mortal Empires. But if you're looking for variety, then Warhammer 3 has got you covered. So it just depends on what you want. Lower than great, brown tier. Yeah, they need to put a brown tier for that one. For shit. Plus 500 gold. I don't sell items. That's a waste. Fuse them into something better. But yeah, that one was absolute trash. If we ever get another one, just use it and hopefully get another one. Another something, that is. Alright. Alright. Problem here is that the speed... Oh, Crocar's at 78 speed. That's not too bad. And the towers here... Oh, powerful towers. At the very least, if we can draw their forces over here, they will... Um, they'll leave the front. Because, yeah, we'll get obliterated from those fucking towers. The Feral Stegodon is not going to be able to keep up with us, and we'll definitely get shot. So I started up over here, actually. Nope. We need to... We need to go over to there. Starting to feel like maybe I should have auto resolve, but we'll see. Yeah, they like to leave a bunch of units over here, but they'll bring them in. So what we want to do is just run around a little bit. You come over here as well. Did you see Venris went and made the Lore of Hags for SFO? The man is a machine. How? Surely his costs are up. <laughs> well, yeah, good for him. Good on him. Yeah, I might do an SFO stream. Venus' buddy supporting the game more than Creative Assembly.
Yeah, if we head on Assault here, it'll just be the exact same result as Auto. But I can maybe get this done. But yeah, see, they're moving away from here. That's good. Problem is, these guys here might shoot me. But if I pop that down, they might move out of the way. Oh, shit. Now, having two single entity horse characters does make a big difference here. Okay. So, we'll cap a few points around here just to try to get them to recap it and leave this un undefended. They have no fast units. They're all infantry. So if we get enough of a run up towards there, we can cap it and then just hold them back. But yeah, we've got to get all of these out of this position first. Get around over here. We'll just see what we can do. They'll probably dodge that. But. Oh, they didn't. Careful, careful. We don't want to get stuck in... ...in melee. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it, come on, that's it. Question Legend, does Krokgar count as the Saurus General for the minus 15% upkeep? I don't know. Some, uh, said so, someone said that he does, but I'm actually not sure about that, because he's actually got it in his own traits, but I'm not 100% sure. We could do a test for it, and um, see if we get a Saurus Lord and transfer Saurus units into them, and see if there's an upkeep cost difference between the two. Uh, which there will be, because we've got... Yeah. I'm just not sure, dude. Sorry. That's it, just draw them in over here. Okay, that should be enough. Looks like we've got enough of a run up over here that we should be able to cap that point before they've realized what we're doing. Especially if they prioritize trying to cap this. <laughs> no crowd control. Come on, there we go. Cap this as well, that'll help. They'll probably dodge it. Or... yeah, they did. Now these guys here are pretty good melee defense, so once we've capped this, all we have to do is just stand here, and we should be good. Unless they run through us, which that could happen. Uh, actually, if you could... No, that's a bit of a risk. I'm risking your life by doing that. I just... Wait, stand over here, because I might be able to use a random stun... Yeah, yeah, I can use a random thunderbolt all the way to here. To slow them down or maybe even hit them. I'm not sure if I'll be able to cast it from there. 
Plus I might get hit by these towers. I don't think he does, because his weapon strength doesn't increase by leveling up. Yeah, I think you're right. I think you're right. He doesn't count as a Soros board. Which is weird. Alright, all we're going to do now is hold them back until this is done. And we can walk out of this with zero deaths. Now, ideally, we don't even want to fight them at all. If they could just be delayed. Good, made them run back just a little bit. Halfway there. Do they get tired from running around? Yeah, yeah, they get tired. I just want to charge into him to sort of knock him back, if possible. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Just knock him back. I don't think they've they've got enough time. I think it's over. Did AI just cast Flaming Sword of Ruin on Broken Unit? I think they cast the um, the melee defense one. I don't think that one would have had the Flaming Sword of Ruin. How CA don't fix still this AI? Uh, not priority for them. All right, well, that was good for me. Tempting to loot it, but then I'll definitely have a revolt. I think I'll keep it at tier 2 if I just occupy. I think it was tier 3, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, okay. Hey, guess what? We get a skink chief. And it is discipline. I know! Okay, load character. Let's have a look here. Skink chief. Pompous, 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 pompous. Oh, oh there's... hang on. There's a disciplined one. Mm, this one's rank 7. I'll go with the, the one that's cheaper, obviously. Nice. Okay. Cool. And now we don't really need this here. Yeah. Let's get rid of that. Shouldn't pull, pull that in major settlements. Wait, should you? No. Alright, alright, alright. Well, that worked out pretty well for us. Boring battle, I know, but it worked out well for us. Yeah, this, this guy could use some speed. That would have really helped in that other battle. Arcane Conduit, that's good. And let's get that Geomantic Sustenance, because upkeep cost is a bit of a concern still. I think I might get rid of the Cold One speed. Oh, then again, going up against Empire. Mm, I'll just get rid of another... Saurus Warrior. It's fine. Okay, not that. Cool. Alright, money for that to be repaired. That's good. Just leave that one alone. And yeah, thanks to this stance here, it just gives us huge line of sight so we can see what's going on. Good. Good, good, good. Also, what we could do with these guys, since they're both siege attackers, we can get them to go and attack Castlebar. Maybe. 
Do you have a saved version of the Lawmaster Sotek character? I don't think so, and I wouldn't be able to recruit him anyway because I don't have that particular building. You still need to have that building to recruit them. Alright, things are looking pretty good. Alright, let's do some diplomacy and move on. Who seeks me? By the Heldenhammer. Yeah, I'm not sure at this point which one. Yeah, it's definitely going to be Thorak Ironbrow that's going to win. Definitely. Now, he's Make not super favorable towards to us. Do. The past trees with Bowman of Orion really pisses him off, which maybe in hindsight I should have done that. Seems unlikely that Libaris is going to come down this way, but I think we should wait just a little bit longer just to make sure. Actually, let me just check this. The goddess will. Yeah, it seems unlikely. However, she'll prioritize me. So let's just let that play out. Alright, that's fine. Let's move on. Nothing else to do here. Now, it's really important that. Um, that Krokgar gets to fight Volkmar at some point because the defeat trade is really good for him. Does that stance give you 150% or 50% LOS? Plus 150%, I think. Because it, it like triples your... Um, it gives you a huge amount of movement. Oh, no, 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 no. no. I see what you're doing, but I'm, I don't have any forces going that way. No. He obviously launched that attack. No saved up Itsy Bitsy Chieftain? No, I didn't. I haven't saved up any. Oh, okay, he's backing off. Man. I thought he'd bloody rush at me, but no, they're not doing that. Destroying is Techless dead? Karis curb stomped him in 12 turns when I played Croc Art. No, that hasn't happened. That's that's very rare, I believe. Definitely starting to get some more money, so we, we could soon start a war against them, sure. I don't think Tic Tac Toe is going to tra like traverse over here to go and fight them. I just don't think that's going to happen. Looking at this... Who owns that? Whoever owns that, they hate. It could be Kairos. One way to check is the Zinch Corruption. Yes. That's the only faction it could be. Zinch has landed here. Yeah, well that could be an issue. Let's not worry about it right now though. I've got... Bigger fish to fry. Taking the Black Pyramid of Nagash, it'll be tier 1 if I capture it now. Uh, we need to remove a unit here. I th I don't like Cold One Spear Riders, but going up against the... You know what, we'll be fine. Yeah, we'll, we'll be fine. I'm going to get rid of that. Okay, let's bring Krokgar over to here. We're at full strength, so we don't have to stay in our own territory. 
Well, we just provide public order, and that one is going downhill pretty quick because I plundered this one. We've got four turns until it revolts, or if I don't tax it, five turns. Yeah, you. Hmm. Yeah, I want more line of sight over this way. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. Alright, Temple of Skulls, let's go with... Yeah, let's get more... That's... yeah, that's good growth. Okay, and... It's not really worth getting. We'll go with the Public Order building because we do need to get that for unlocking your technology anyway. Okay, chance that Volkmar will, will attack us. Oh no, seems unlikely. Hopefully, he just 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 stays there then. He doesn't have any other enemies. But I saw another army went up north. If he runs down over this way, I can force March to catch up. But then he's not going to get the defeat trade. But he'll probably come back before. I will not. Hmm. Alright, recruit a few more units here. And let's move on. I don't see anything else we gotta do. This has been trading resource, a pretty bad in general, which they gave more. Yeah, it's it's oftentimes not worth even building their tradable resources up. It's just not worth it. There's other buildings that provide way more value. And Volkmar didn't do anything, he just sat there at the uh, Black Pyramid, which means I'm gonna kill him. Which is good, it's what I wanna do. Cool, well, I was gonna do that anyway. And he's just sitting there. And his defenses here are almost at full strength. And maybe I don't need this army after all. Hmm. Well, come over here. Maybe I'll get it to attack El Calabad. Maybe. We'll see. Okay, so time to go defeat Volkmar the Grim. We might be able to auto this, but I'm not sure if that's a good idea, because then we'll have to deal with this army here, and that might leave us in... Yeah. Alright, so... Um, let's have a look at the settlement. What are our chances of just... snatching it without them realizing what's going on? Okay, so... That is the safest way through. There's no towers there. It's a big map. Yeah, we should definitely fight this manually, otherwise our army's gonna get smashed. Any advice from someone who's played Total War, but not any Warhammer games? Okay, the best advice that I could give you is throw conventional tactics out the window. If you're used to, like, flanking to win battles, understand this. Flanking does... can be useful if the opportunity is there, but it is one of the least effective techniques in the game. What you want to be focusing on is high-powered area of effect damage. You win fights not by routing the enemy, but by destroying them. So damage dealing is the way to go. Having a good anvil can be really helpful if you want to use lots of bombardment spells and, um, and magic. But it really just takes a lot of practice because there's a lot of situations where if I just give you a generalized idea of it, it's not going to help you. So practice makes perfect. 
Alright. Hopefully we can do this fairly quickly because I hate sieges. Back off, guys, back off. Not you, you come up over here. My advice for which faction to start off with is, okay, if you just own the base game only, just own Warhammer 3, then I would recommend starting as Corn because it's pretty simple. You know, obviously you don't play on Legendary to begin with. I would have said Kislev, but Kislev start positions are all pretty difficult, except for Mother of Stankyos. And if you've got Warhammer 2, my recommendation would be start with the High Elves, uh, preferably Tyrion. But the absolute best faction to start a campaign, if you've never played a Total War Warhammer 2 camp uh, 3 campaign, the absolute best faction to learn how to play the game would be the Changeling. It's basically the tutorial faction because you cannot lose the campaign, it's impossible. So it's a good opportunity for you to like just figure out how the game actually works and just mess around with it. It's basically like playing the game on debug mode. Because you get shitloads of cheats. And the AI just can't do anything about you. Okay, this is good. They are moving their forces back. They don't have anyone defending this now. so Or any missile units defending it. So, launch the attack. And we're slowly destroying this section of wall as well. We're probably not going to be able to win this by capping it, at least not with this round, but the fact they're pulling all their forces back. We also need to be careful if Volkmar's got banishment, which he always does if he's on this mount. Yeah. So, Krokgar should be... Yeah, Krokgar should be able to beat him in melee if he's isolated. In we go. Yeah. Actually, it might be a good idea to get rid of those mortars first. They could be... They could wreck devastation on our units if they get in range. Gonna try and destroy that section of wall with magic. Where'd you go? Get back over here. Try to keep Volkmar back here for now. Because that uh, banishment right now would be... A banishment in there would be very bad. <laughs> very, very bad. I need, I need to prevent that. Alright, we've also got some fireballs with you, so we can use that. Okay, 
Can we go look at the Black Pyramid in the sky? Yep, there it is. Oh good, we took him off the artillery. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. Oh, these fucking guys are shooting at us. Oh, frame drop when I do that. No, 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 no. The game does not like. Don't do that. Don't do that. Oh, jeez. It didn't like that one bit. Is it quick? Nice. Good, all my troops got through. Take another point. Darth Fantastic there, twenty dollars twenty dollar super chat. Been enjoying your channel for years, thanks for all the content. No worries, dude, it's been my pleasure. Thank you for the super chat. Thanks for the support. Were one of the best fireballs I've seen in a long time? Yeah, they weren't too bad. Yeah, we got a fair few kills with it. Alright, this has so far worked out pretty well. Even though we didn't cap the city, their defenses were left completely impotent. And we've broken through. Plus, we've stopped their mortars. Yeah, whenever they drop their mortars, they don't get back on them anymore. Oh, I don't know what's wrong with the AI. Because, yeah, the mortars and Volkmar are the two biggest threats to us in this battle. Coming back over here to try to cap that point. That's fine. Another good fireball, I think. Let's go cap that point. It's one banishment, right? Oh no, he gets two. Uh, luckily, banishment's not that great of a spell. Is one with three still in early access at the moment? Uh, it depends on how you look at it. You could argue it is. Oh, this is going to cause some frame drops. Didn't cause any frame drops on my system. But yeah, I know that the encoder, like, shits itself. Oh, no, they didn't get... Look at that! They're right near their own mortars, they just won't get back on it. Alright, expect very soon for there to be a banishment, so it would be really helpful for us to not be in a blob like this. 
when that comes down. Coming of Cassandoras for big blobs, really big blobs, which this is not. Oh, here it comes, here it comes. Out of the way, out of the way. Move, 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 move. Alright, that is, they're actually hitting their own units with it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it kind of backfired. It didn't do much damage to us. Okay, you still got another one, so we've got to be careful about that. Alright, how about you two or more? Go sort that out. Oh, he's using his, like, bombardment spells and shit. Yeah. Okay, Volkmar's very strong. If we cap the other points, we'll instantly win. I'd say just try to avoid fighting Volkmar because he's just so strong. And he's anti-infantry. And he regenerates. And we're really close to winning. All we have to do is... Cap the points and we're done. And there's pretty much nothing he can do to stop us from capping these points. And he's not prioritizing capping the other points. Oh no, he is. So yeah, just don't engage with Volkmar. Yeah, I think I'm going to win by capping all points. Look, we've capped them all. Get out of my cap points! And we win. And now our army gets a lot stronger. Because of the extra melee attack and melee defense from beating Volkmar. That's going to be awesome. So that went pretty well, 48 casualties. Siege Badgers are just so anti-defender, it's dumb. And do you know what the funny thing is? Is that they're less anti-defender than they were before. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's just, I Honestly, if you, the player can defend pretty well. This is the AI is really bad. They're just they're so prone to having their points captured. They don't know what to do about it. They run around like headless chickens. They just don't know what to do. Quest battle time? No, not yet. Still got other battles to do. Oh yeah, that's really good. That's a very nice trait for them. Pack a bit more punch and have them be a bit more durable. Max Wolf did a CLP 2200 Super Chat. Needs some of the cheese magic for a test tomorrow. Um. Hmm. Did you try studying cheese? That usually works pretty well. Try some. Try some study cheese. Thanks for Super Chat. Purge mankind. Yeah, we're good. If it was all armies, that would be good. 
Let's not save on cash. Hopefully this one just rushes back to the Black Tower of Arkham. That would be good. Because I'll just smash him there. Because, yeah, they think the settlements are actually going to help them, but it doesn't. Good. Good. Improved replenishment is good. Um, Itasuke did a five dollars super chat. Hey, legend. I uh, love the channel. I'm working through the hot seat streams right now. I'm watching them to completion order. Did they do well for the channels? For the other guys, yeah, they were really good for them. Um, for me, same as any other stream, really. Um, but it's not for me. It's for them. But yeah, all the all the guys that participated said that they got. Uh, they they definitely got a benefit out of it, and they loads of people want to do more of these hot seats, which is fine. It's just a lot of energy to to sort of organize it. So. We'll see how we go. Alright, public order here went downhill because of an event. But it's not likely to revolt, might. Let's upgrade Serpent Coast first. Yeah, I'll have to turn off the taxes. Not this turn. It's gonna cost me a grand because of that event. Yeah, look, asking whether or not it was beneficial for um, for the other channels, you, you really should ask them. But they told me that it was useful, so that's good. Bring me you. Yeah, we'll definitely do some more. Praise Sigma. Okay. Yep, all good. Nothing else to do here. Love your work, been watching you since day one. Really, since since uh, January 1st, 2013? Alexandra Lissoff? Have you really been here since since uh, January 1st, 2013? Because if you have, that's very impressive. Kiwi doubled his subs? Yes, that is true. We, we pushed him. Doubled his subs. Yeah, that's right. He gained 500 during that stream. What do you plan on attacking after Volkmar is wiped out? Well, I usually just attack the closest thing I can see. Um, so, probably Bretonia, or probably Ark in the Black, or both. But yeah, I usually just smash the closest thing. Taking this entire area is good for us, because it's all green territory. Kaiser Wilhelm says, I have. Anybody who's been watching since January 1st, 2013, you're total OG, for sure. Because I gained 100 subscribers on my first day. That means that means that there are 100 people that can claim that they've been watching me since day one. Only 100. I think I only gained 100 views as well. Everybody subbed. It was a lot easier to gain subs back then. You just like make a video and people are like, oh, I watched it, therefore sub. Now everyone's like, sub, what are you going to do for me? I'll make content? Not enough. <laughs> All right, I'm going to... Yeah. I'm going to have them go and take El Calibar. That way, Volk, uh, not Volkmar, Krokgar can go north. They have three settlements, yeah. Alright, well obviously we need to do that. But I'm just having a look at this situation elsewhere. Three turns until a revolt. It shouldn't revolt, because that'll expire before this causes problems. So it shouldn't revolt. <laughs> Is that providing this? Yeah, that'll give us some more control. And then we'll start doing this one as soon as this is done. 
Maybe I should start that now, actually. That can always be done later. Um, Sven Braid did a 5 year subject. Craziest defense map is the Wood Elf Standard Defense, Laurelon Forest. The trees don't count as forest, but only the defender side. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. Thanks for the chat. Alright. I can get a bit more money together and we'll start raising an army to go take on those rats. Alright, let's have a look at this map. I have man, no lies, it's the truth. Used to be in a call center and used to swear a lot, haha. It's just Alex, by the way. I didn't swear a lot at the, um, the call center, I don't think. <laughs> I can't remember. Okay. Uh, yeah, we gotta fight this manually. Do you miss those days back years ago? Not really. Well, Alex, then, if you've really been here since then, I'm gonna make you a moderator, because only VIPs get to be moderators. As is so you'll stand out in the crowd. You don't have to actually do any moderating. Although if you see people being toxic, you know, time them out. That'd be really helpful. In your videos you swore. Yes, obviously, yes. I see my videos I swore. I still swear. So I wasn't sure what you meant. I use the auto button to train my troops. Yes, that is something you can do, absolutely. Um, but you know what? If I order resolve it, then the next battle might, might get killed. So... Order resolve is actually very good for getting experience on your units, for sure. So what I'm doing here... Is it I'm making it seem like I'm going to attack here, but actually I'm going to attack over here. Because they will put all their troops over here, and nothing over here! Because they're so stupid! <laughs> oh, they'll put a small amount over here. <laughs> because it only takes me a second to come over here, but they have to go all the way around. Some of these maps are really bad for the AI. They just don't understand what's going to happen. You can just trick them so easily. Maleficently did a become a member for 11 months. Are we going after the Pope in this one? I'm assuming the Pope is Volkmar the Grim, and we've already gone after the Pope and smashed him. You know me, I love to kill the Pope. Oh, man. In Medieval 2, I just had so many campaigns where the Pope would just excommunicate me, and I just grew to absolutely hate the Pope. And so I just it's like a secret pleasure of mine. Not even a secret, just a pleasure of mine to kill the Pope. And put my own Pope in. I think you can check how long they've been subscribed. Um... Okay, hang on. Let, let me just have a quick check. If I... M maybe I can check this. Okay. Okay, so here's the thing. Here's the thing, guys. I can... actually see... Subscribers that subscribed on January 2, but there's none from January 1. My oldest. Okay. The longest lived subscriber is Grand Stratagem. That that's the that's on January 2, 2013. I don't see you in here, Alex. <laughs> Goes up to January 17. Oh man, I lost... I've lost a, like nearly 100% of those first 100 subs. Let me just have a look. Oh, there's my brother. <laughs> uh, I'm looking for you though. Uh, 
Let me just see. No, look, I'm at April now. I'm not seeing you in there. It's all good. I, I believe. Maybe you just didn't. Uh, maybe you just didn't uh, subscribe at that moment in time. But that's, that's fine. And maybe you unsubscribed accidentally and resubscribed later down the track. It's hard to say. This is just continuous subscriptions. No, he probably was telling the truth. YouTube will, on occasion, unsubscribe you from channels if you're not actively watching it. That's possibly what happened. No, don't... No, it's too late now. Oh, great. Now everyone's going to go through fucking ladders. Why is everyone rooting against Alex? Every, everybody always tries to be mean. It's just a welcome to the internet. If someone can say something mean, they usually do. No, I still believe him. If he said he was here since day one, I believe him. It just means maybe you have to resubscribe at some point. I don't know. YouTube removed my At Legend of War from my recommended for like two years even though I've been subbed. Yeah, that'll happen, so... It's all good. Also, why would anyone lie about that? Like, who cares if you've been subbed since day one? Like, I appreciate it, don't get me wrong, but... In the grand scheme of things, who, who really cares? <coughs> Excuse me. Also, the more points we cap, the more melee attack leadership and, and vigor reduction we get, which is good, because it keeps our guys nice and fresh. Yeah. <laughs> the city sieges are really geared against the defender, aren't they? So even if they climbed up on the wall, they should recover pretty quickly with this. Alright, these guys got stuck. Oh, he said the Bok word. I like it how the word Bok became kind of a meme within Total War community. Because of the Reddit. Doesn't climbing ladders make units a non-recoverable exhaustion fatigue? Um, I don't think it's non-recoverable. Yeah. 
I'm pretty sure they can recover their fatigue. Pretty sure. I'm not not hundred percent sure. Who is your oldest subscriber in age, not longevity? Uh I don't know. Probably somebody in their nineties. I don't know. There's some old codgers that play Total War. Some really old dudes. Yeah, they are not letting me up there. Once we're on a dino, we'll be able to just punch through them with ease, but that's not yet. Don't want to go up through here because they've got a kill zone waiting for us. I'm not going to just walk into that trap. Fuck that. Although... Nothing stopped me from doing that. Crocodile is a much better fighter than this dude. I feel like all the battles we're fighting are bloody sieges. They're the least interesting battles in this fucking game. The vast majority of the battles are sieges. <laughs> I wonder how many Charlemagnes it cost for Creative Assembly to make the Seedry work. Must have been at least four Charlemagnes. And what does that mean? Couple of guys down this way. Recap that because that's going to be lost soon. Here we go in here. Yep, you're done. You come up through here because it looks like we can break through here in a moment. I hate Siege Super Boring. Yeah, I don't blame you. I don't blame you. At all. I'm the same. But, what are you going to do? Auto Resolve would yield terrible results. I just can't justify doing it on this difficulty. Gotta fight it. Watching me since you were 16, it's close to 8 years now. Alright, nice. Well, good to have you here that whole time. Oh, you know what? I think it's time for one of these. Probably a bit overkill. It's not a huge blob. And it's not really much of a blob at all. But it was on a... Um, Dangerous unit, so that fucking just deleted it. Might have done a little bit of friendly fire as well. Okay, just one more point we've got to get to.
Your favorite spell in Warhammer 3? Ooh, probably Wind of Death. No, yeah, Wind of Death. Wind of Death is so satisfying. Okay, one more to go. through come on push us through just want to clear them all out this will be great for that I just need to get in a little bit closer overcast that for the extra blast out of my way Cool. Anyone that stays here is gonna die. Out of my way or die. <laughs> Follow me and die. What's it gonna be? Here it comes. <laughs> oh my god. Get wrecked. Hit that. Almost there. What's going on here? What was the point here? Come on, time to win. Should just win any second. And because I got all the points, there we go. Cool. Close victory. I think Scar Vader and Stacks are really fun with Crocar since he can raise the limit at tier 3. Yeah, that would be quite good. Yeah. For sure. Hello Legend, I've been noticing in my campaigns that Casabar Landmark doesn't seem to be working. I'm curious if you notice anything. I have not noticed that. Is it damaged? It, def it definitely doesn't work if it's damaged. Lord Pajul says, You've helped me through some tough shit during that time. Abuse, death, close ones, attempted self-deletion. There was always Legend making joke of these games. Thank you. Uh, sorry to hear that you had such a hard time with it, but it's been my pleasure. Oh, I'm surprised how many people actually have a story just like that. It's not uncommon. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Do you remember when we were playing um, the Nagash campaign and how I was making jokes about how Creative Assembly was <laughs> wanting to itself? That caused that whole live stream to get demonetized because I joked about self-deletion. <laughs> Even though I was making fun of a corporation. No, come back in front of a corporation. That's demonetized. So I gotta be careful about doing that again. Okay, definitely want renowned and feared, but I don't care about. Oh, okay, I'll get one. Whatever. One point to us, not so bad.
YouTube bots are like, how dare you make fun of a hundred million dollar corporation? Won't somebody please think of the corporations? Cool, we'll recover in a single turn there, that's great. Oh yeah, by the way. <laughs> the movement bug. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna use it. I could! I'm not gonna. I already moved him this turn. It reset his movement after that battle. Alright, public order here. Yeah, we're okay, and... Uh, okay, go with that. Did you have it checked by a human afterwards? I did, yeah. Hey, Radio Nash. I did have it checked, and they're like, yeah, no, you can't joke about... <laughs> you can't joke about that. But why not? It's funny. No, I'm just kidding. Um... Yeah, whatever. Okay, we don't need this here. I can't let recruit basic Saurus anyway. Alright, that all looks good. Any... Hey, we're getting closer to Confederation with Tlaqua, although their relation with us is dropping, because obviously the gift is wearing off. So I gave it to them 14 turns ago. I actually don't like that I've declared war on Volkmar. I Oh, that helps. Well, that helps a lot. Yeah, that, that's a big deal. John Malcolm, because they're not going to help either, did a five pound super chat. Thanks, dude. Appreciate the support. Yeah, all the chat box in the chat go bok bok. If you're a chat bok. Uh, okay. Let's have a look at how things are going for him. Defender of truth. So yeah, Kairos is definitely hanging out over here, but his strength ranking is still pretty good, so I don't think he's struggling yet. Um, so next stop for us is Pools of Despair, and then I probably want to hit Zandri, because why not? There are only one settlement, and it's just Bretonia. It's fucking easy to kill them. Oh my god, look at all the chat, chat box. Alright, looking at Confederation, relative faction strength is really good. We need to get the baseline evaluation down, which means we need to get the relation above 150. Let's start with maybe throwing money his way. Oh, it's, it's not that expensive right now. Perfect. So this will give us 40, I believe. What else? Okay, if we could do another one, that'd be good. Okay, I can only do so much each turn. But yeah, let's try to work towards the confederation with Tlaqua. That'd actually be really good. Yeah. Could you just, could you just give me my money back? <laughs> I guess about nothing. Yeah, no, not enough to give it to him again. You really want to do the big gift. Clan Morbidus. Yeah, that would be a bad idea. That's going to backfire on us. Let me see if I can get him to cancel some treaties. See, that's my offering. Yeah, no, he doesn't want me to do that. Does He doesn't have any other treaties with anyone else. Uh, okay. Okay. Alright. And let's move on. In my last two campaigns, Marathi has took out all of Ulthwan. Does that happen to you often? No, because I usually don't play beyond turn 30. <laughs> so, I have seen it happen, yeah.
Wouldn't normal battle difficulty with max AA stats make battles like Worm or 2 very high battle difficulty? I don't know. I don't know. I don't actually think that putting the battle difficulty on normal is, is better. It just changes the behavior. There's just other ways of cheesing it. Like, you can... You can get them to waste all their ammunition on your lord sort of thing. I only parlay with them. Alright, they hate me more than Arkan. So I definitely will go to war with them next. I think I'll just be able to order resolve these battles. How come I didn't show part two of Starfield? Well, technically I did do two live streams of it, but it doesn't run well on my computer, and it performed, it didn't perform well as a live stream. It performed really badly. The game runs a lot better when I don't live stream it. I just, maybe when I get a better computer, which I'll probably have to get one by the end of the year, but it, it was a, it was okay to do one or two live streams, but I don't think I can justify doing any more. Right, at least right now. Right now. Well, I enjoy just playing it in my own time. Alright, that is the end of Volkmar. Nice. Oh, wow. Okay. Alright, he doesn't hate me. And he's busy fighting Rapance. What vile filth stands before me? Scarbrand. Hmm. Yeah, I'd say Scarbrand's probably gonna declare war on me. I think that our army here can handle him. Oh, we're so close to getting Grimlock as well. Hey Legend, why did you switch to 2D portholes to the 3D ones? Just to gain some campaign map performance. Oh, to, just it gives you extra frames, basically, better performance. And I'm not really ever looking at the portholes. It's who cares? It, yeah, I just want to get better performance out of the game. It's one of those things that 2D, 3D. It doesn't make any difference to the actual gameplay, so it was a very easy decision to get rid of it. Alright, if I got a Rite of Primeval Glory army, this would be spawned at my capital. I could use this to smash them. But I would need a little bit of extra gold. Now if you have a look at this... Four and a half grand. Thing is, a Rite of Primeval Glory army, I'd have to disband this army for sure. But yeah, Skaven are really bad at dealing with a Rite of Primeval Glory army. I'm, th I'm thinking about doing that. Because yeah, it shows up here, just come down here and smash these guys. That'll also make them like us. Do you know who else is really bad at dealing with a Rite of Primeval Glory army? Fucking Zinch in the early game. They're really bad at handling it. But 12 grand is a lot to ask. There's nothing else that needs to be constructed. And I do really want to get this confederation going. Alright, I'm going to disband this army because I want to save cash. And this one. I'm still going to give them a gift. Just one. One big one. Alright, I should have more than 12,000 next turn. And they're heading above 150, so that's good. If we have a look at this, it fluctuates. I 
I know you said things are tough, but you seriously need a new PC because stream has low FPS even at two times speed. Yeah, well, I can't do anything about that right now. As I've said before, the quality of the streams is not my top life priority. It really isn't. So I, I understand that people want to see higher quality streams, but it is not my top priority. You know, if Warhammer 3 was in a better position and the community was in a better state, I would totally do it, but it isn't. It just, it isn't worth the investment right now. Okay, cool. Looks like we've got a bit of a bonus there. Alright, who's ready for a Rite of Primeval Glory Army? Alright, let's do... Oh, hang on, I have to get a Blessed Spawning first. That's fine, I'll just put a Blessed Saurus Spear in this army. Um, yeah, I'll put a Blessed... Shame to get rid of an experienced unit. Oh good, they actually get traits now. Alright, let's put in a Saurus Old Blood to take over this. And let's go fucking smash some Skaven. Mm. I really don't think they're not going to declare war on me. Right, if I speak to Corn and offer to join war against them, I can get a bit of extra cash. Problem is, though, he might just declare war on me anyway. He might, he might not. What's his top? Well, we're not a top threat of his, so yeah, I think we'll be okay to do this. People need to understand that you buying a better PC really is an investment and computer parts are improving and old ones drop price rapidly. It's it's not just that. I just don't have, like it's, I've tried to explain it before. It's look, it's none of anyone's business really, but just being perfectly transparent, people generally don't care about whatever my life situation is. They want what they want and they don't care how much it costs me. And that's fair enough, but I don't have to care about what they want in return. So I don't have a lot of cash available at the moment to purchase a PC, okay? Obviously I get income each month, but I've had a shitload of expenses pop up out of nowhere and likely going to have a lot more expenses. This has been a rough year. A lot of expenses have come through. I'm not gonna go into details with it, maybe one day I will, but not right now. Um, I cannot have no money in my account because I bought a computer. I just can't do that. As much as I would love to be able to play this at 120 FPS, um, there are there's just more important things in my life than my channel. If my channel goes under, it doesn't matter. Like as I said before, if Total War Warhammer Three and just Total War in general was in a good state, I I I would feel like I would be worth the investment because I would get that money back quicker. But in the current state of things, the amount of time it would take me to return on that loss, uh, on that, on that, um, not loss, on that expenditure, is way higher. 
So it would just it would take longer for me to get that money back. I just can't afford to do that right now. Uh, I think we can get away with an auto resolve, because this is going to just be nothing but a grind, and it would guarantee this army here gets wiped. Josh Waddles at a twenty dollars super chat. You're the mad legend. Hope things work out for the better. Yeah, thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Look, so, look. Sometimes life throws curveballs at you. We're handling it, but it's been you know expensive, and I just don't have cash available at the moment. So I just just can't really deal with that right now. At the end of the day, this game runs fine on my computer. I can play just fine. I get that it's not, you know, other streamers are um, streaming higher quality videos. I totally understand that. But at the end of the day, I'm still at the fucking top. And if this is what I think, if I bought a completely new computer, probably setting me back three or four grand, I think I would make maybe about a hundred dollars a month more. I, I can't justify that. I just can't. It just isn't worth it. Alright, yeah, let's go with that. It just it would just take me way too long to recoup it. It's not like buying a new computer will suddenly double my income. It's just that's just not how it works. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, let's just move on. I try to explain that as best as I can, but I hear you about the the game dropping frames. I really do. My hands are completely tied at the moment. Unfortunately, the game just doesn't run as well as Warhammer 2 did. I, I can't do anything about it. But I hear you. And I want to do something about it. I want to. But I gotta get over real life stuff first. That's way more important before I buy a new computer. It's just way more important. Okay, we're gonna go over that. Cause yeah, I'd love to be able to play Starfield and not have it freeze frames all the time. <laughs> That'd be great. Uh, I just, I just can't justify it right now. All right, this army is probably kind of come back around here, but that'll be easy to smash it. And we're recovering pretty quickly, so that's good. I'm a little bit worried this one's going to declare war on us, so let's let's recruit another Croxigal here and just 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 to defend this area. I've still got some more money. Let's see. Okay, I can do. Ooh, that's all my money. We have to get it above 150. Have it teetering at 150 is not good enough. Viet Huang did a D129,000 super... Oh, that's 129,000 Dong super chat. I'm glad you decided to play Croc Gar since the last stream I asked you. Alright, thanks dude. Um, yeah, actually, you were the reason that I'm doing this because I thought about it and I was like, yeah, I do want to play Croc Gar. <laughs> if you hadn't asked, I wouldn't have, um, I wouldn't have done this. But thanks to the chat. Hey Anton B Gaming, how's it going dude? Uh okay. Okay, a Teotica. What should we do? I can get this to tier three here. And then give us extra capacity for Sora Scar veterans. Could also improve the geomantic web, which is not really worth doing just yet. Um, we should definitely increase our income. Hmm. There's so many good buildings for the lizard men. Yeah, I think I will try to get access to the shielded variants of the um, Source Warriors. It's really good. I guess when I declare war on Clan Morbidus, they will... 
be more inclined to increase relations with us. Yeah, you need to bloody leg it down here quickly. And this army, if it gets ambushed, it's just not going to matter. We're just going to absolutely smash him. I think. Alright. This one here. Grab that and that. Cool. Alright, let's move on. What about a collab with some PC manufacturers for free computers? Sorry, meaning to hurt you. It doesn't hurt me. Um, I'd be more than happy to do it. I just, I just don't get them sent to me, and I don't, I don't know. I tell you what, if you want to go and ask a, a computer manufacturer to send me a, a new computer, you go right ahead. But I just haven't managed to negotiate something like that yet. Because me and my wife, we do send out um. Like, uh, feelers for, for sponsorships, but most of the time we actually get turned down. I, like, show the channel, uh, channel link and they're like, nah, we don't want to work with you. I was like, oh, okay. CA should send you a new PC with their logo on it. probably have spyware on it. <laughs> the whole computer will be infected with Denuvo. <laughs> oh my god. We'll have the eye of CA basically staring at me at all times. Not worth it! I'd rather pay for it. What happened to the Valheim channel? It can't justify working on it anymore. Yeah, stuff, some stuff in real life happened. I'm, I'm like not gonna get into it right now, but we had to, we had to just drop it. We didn't have a choice. That was a hobby, wasn't a job. So, um, it only made us like ten dollars a month. So we couldn't justify even spending a single hour on it anymore. We we do really want to keep doing with the Valheim channel, but we just we just can't. Absolutely can't. Life circumstances just just destroyed that channel. Essentially, I just I can't continue it right now. Maybe one day, but right now I can't. All right, take him out. Every time you should talk, see, so yeah, your computer turns off. Yeah, look, every time I turn on my computer, I have to pay twenty five dollars. <laughs> I'll have to like insert twenty five dollars into the computer in order to turn it on. <laughs> Cost her up! Yeah, I don't know. That'd be pretty funny. They'll send you a free copy of Pharaoh on your PC? No. No, it'll it'll be locked into only being able to play Pharaoh. Alright, well that's the end of the Knights of Arrigo, and hopefully Corn doesn't bother me. I do really want to smash Cetra, but I reckon there's a good chance that Corn will take on Cetra instead. So these guys are definitely not going to attack me, whereas if we have a look at Rapance, she doesn't like us. Yeah, so I'm gonna go after Rapance. Cause she's she's got her Rapance down at the moment. She's not very strong. And I don't think that um Ark in the Black is gonna put up much of a fight right now. Nor do I think he's gonna declare war on me. Hang on. That's not too bad to build, but I think we should go with growth first. There's actually a decent chance that they'll attack us, but if we put in some defenses here, honestly, going up against a corn army, a small amount of defenses isn't going to make any difference. Yeah, you just stay there like... Actually, hang on. One night. Do this. Really need to get some line of sight. If I see corn coming, we recruit more. We got Grimlock now, that's good. Alright, let's have a looky here.
All right, now might be a good time to get... Where's the missile resistance? Oh, that's... okay. Yeah, I don't need spell resistance. That'll be good. Uh, let's get... Yeah, let's go further down the melee line. Okay. How are things going with Flankwa? Yeah. If I give him a settlement, that's actually bad towards what we need to do here. Still going up. I can afford another gift to him, but I think next turn will be cheaper. Because we've also got a lot of other things over here we need to build. So, let's go with the minus settlement first. Yep. Yeah, don't worry about the growth buildings. Yeah, because as I fight these guys here, they'll, they'll be... Um, they'll be favorable towards that. Okay, and let's move on. Any plans to do hyena cosplays in future? <laughs> no. Okay, good. Um, Exiles of Corn declared war on Ironbrow's expedition. That's really good. That keeps both of them out of my house. I will do this soon. I can't do this right now. Why is the public order so low? Because legendary difficulty. On legendary difficulty, you have a minus eight global penalty to public order. You can negate that fairly early on, but I just haven't done that yet. That was stupid of him, because Rapaz is just going to re-blow it up again. You'd get the case with the CA logo, and everything else you have to buy from them is DLC. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I'd buy a computer part for $25. Catch her with the repants down, yeah. Farm repants for trait. Look, it's only 5% research rate. It's not essential. It's really good for the Tomb Kings, but even though the Lizardmen have got so many technologies and research rate's really good, there's just other things that are more important to worry about. Okay, now that he's at war with Ironbrow's Expedition, I think we can safely assume that... He's not going to declare war on us. So I'm going to spend that to save money. <laughs> so hopefully that's an assumption we can make. Yeah, that's getting cheaper each turn, which means he's spending his money. How are we going for... If, if I could borrow his... Oh no, we're not even close. Yeah, look, Rapaz just went and took it straight back. She scored a tier 2 settlement. That was very silly of, um... Oh yeah, look, he got fucking wrecked. Absolutely wrecked. Tomb Kings recruit very quickly now, though. Might be good to send a small force over here to capture Great Desert of Araby. Because after I've taken out Rapaz, you know, she's next. Oh shit, look at this. Aranessa got... Got screwed. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. What am I doing? Get some money. Get some money out of him. It's probably absolutely desperate for me to help out. Oh yeah, look at this. For Tomb Kings, that's a lot of money. Can I justify an order resolve? Because we'll probably lose a lot of units. But how strong are Rapunzel's forces? I will not. Impossible. Oh, I don't want to fight a siege. 
I don't want to. Not in this world or the other. I'm no. fairly sure we'll be okay. <laughs> it's more than a full stack, but I'm fairly sure I'll be okay. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, I guess we'll find out. Oh my god, I would not have taken even a single casualty. Piece of crap. How do you feel about the no stat boost for the AI feature? It makes Cav feel so much better. You know what? That's always actually been in the game. It's called normal da battle difficulty. <laughs> it's always been in the game. Um, but yeah, if look, if you want to play in very hard battle difficulty with no AI stat bonuses, it's good. There's no downside to it for sure. Um, but yeah, don't act like it hasn't been in the game this whole time. Yeah, it would be good if we could use him to Lord Snipe a bit better, especially going up against Rapunz, she's large. Alright. Alright, let me just check how strong Clan Morbin is. Not very strong. This army here should be able to handle it. It just depends on what they recruit. If they start pumping out rattling guns, we're fucked. But I guess we'll find out. Take him next turn. I could also recruit some skink cohorts, but honestly, they're not really going to help out. Uh, yeah, it's better than nothing. How long do we have this for? 13 more turns. That's pretty good. It's not going to take us long to finish off Rapant now, which means we're going off to Arkan next. Yeah, I'm going to hold off on giving Tic Tac Toe more money right now. I'm going to prepare for war. I'm pretty sure there was a no difficulty with zero stat alteration. If I remember, normal actually boosted you a bit. Oh really? Um, yeah, look, I'm not entirely sure. I know on the battlefield it didn't didn't boost them. But on the campaign map, maybe. But that's a separate difficulty setting. Alright. All good. So yeah, they actually might besiege us. They might. You know what we could do? This'll help. Let's merge that and recruit a blessed unit. And yeah, do it again. And recruit another blessed unit. And considering that we've got cavalry to deal with, the spears will be quite handy. And they're only slightly more expensive than those variant. And they are significantly better fighters, except for the experience. Okay, that puts us in better shape. Okay. And let me check diplomacy. No, nothing to worry about. Let's go, move on. Is there any quest battles you can do with Crocar right now? That'd be stupid for me to do that because my army's in bad shape. I don't need money, I need my army to be replenished. So that, that wouldn't be a good idea. Usually I do quest battles when my main army doesn't have any battles to do for several turns. Usually when I finish a frontier and he's just got to move to a different frontier, I would uh, do a quest battle. That way he's got time to recover from whatever happens during the battle. Because our army is not fantastic. It's mostly like tier 2 units. And most of these quest battles you get pretty fucked up. Unless you're using a full cheese doom stack, which we're not doing. What battle difficulty is Legend running? I'm running it on easy battle difficulty with giving me cheats. Because I suck. Oh, That went defensive. Good. 
Yo, Legend, just want to thank you for the Total War content you create. No worries. I thank you guys for all the kind words that you guys give. And all the super chats. <laughs> Where did replants go? She disappeared. It is forbidden. She went down here in Force March and then she just disappeared. Hmm. Well, it's Mormon time. Oh my god, he said the thing! Alright, so that's going towards 134, do this. And it's going towards 139. Okay, well. Legend, you casual now? Well, I can't, I can't actually beat the game on the easiest difficulty. Okay, we definitely need to fight him manually. This is not amazing in order resolve. And these guys are freaking useless against us. So, I don't want to be taking excessive damage. Yeah, I've never actually won a Total War Warhammer 3 campaign, so I just play easy difficulty all the time. It's too hard, this game. The AI is really smart. Wouldn't your life slam be better for the Rite of Primeval Glory army? Yes! It would. I didn't think of that. <laughs> it would have actually, yes. Yes, it would have. Yeah, that was. Yeah. 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 Yep. It definitely would have. See, this is why I needed it on easy difficulty, guys. Can't even think of that shit. Okay. Main thing here, just keep our guys together. It would be important to target the missiles. I just want these guys here for balance of power. Sending them up here isn't going to help. See, I can do it too. Oh, they've probably got heaps of them as well. Yeah, go for the missile units while they're nice and pinned down. Yeah, get down here so they don't see you because they're, yeah, they're going to put down more. The speed's steady. Okay, we can outrun them. Just There's no point in finding them. They're just going to decay anyway. So we needed some damage. That's good. Yeah, I really should have put the life slant on here. Holy crap. That being said, we don't exactly have a lot of magic because this region sucks for it. I just keep charging wherever possible. Just constantly cycle charge. Just cause absolute rampage. They can't do anything to us. They got no armor piercing. They're cowards. They run off the battlefield. Terror routed. It's all good. Killing their lord would definitely be useful here, for sure. So, 
doing this to try to charge into their rear so that they um, they break. Actually, very rare for me in one of my Lizardman campaigns to actually use the Rider Prime of Glory on me, but it, this was really a perfect opportunity to use it. Had an army uh, enemy really close to my starting position in my capital. I just needed an instant army. And I got one. And funny thing is, this would have been cheaper than recruiting a Saurus army. I don't like it how I can't use this on the actual banners, it doesn't let me select it. It's super bloody annoying. Oh, run away from them. Yes. If we can get this guy off the battlefield, that's as good as killing him here. When should Thrones of Decay come out? December? Yeah, they said um, winter of 2013. That is only December. There's no other winter month of December. Uh, of uh, 2013. Oh my god, just, just leave the battlefield. Should have had a life slam here. That would have made such a big difference. We could have healed all of this. But I guess it really just depends now on how quickly they recover and counterattack this. This guy's getting smashed. Let's get him out of that. I mean, he's going to get replaced anyway. There we go. Alright, decent start to the war. Definitely should have used the life slam, because he's missed out on quite a bit of experience there. But that gives you a pretty good indication of these guys' effectiveness against early game Skaven. And the fact that we killed a whole bunch of heroes. Those were by far the most dangerous units in those armies, and they're going to be hard-pressed to replace them. Twenty thirteen. Sorry, did I say twenty thirteen? I meant twenty twenty three. Sorry, I'm like, yeah, sorry. Uh, James Menno did a twenty dollars super chat. Just want to say thank you for all your content. Have enjoyed your videos for some time. Glad to catch you during the last stream. No, it's dude, my pleasure. Thanks, super chat. Are you watching Law Beats with Ant Lawmaster and Andy Law? Yes, I'm watching it right now. No, honestly, I haven't been watching any of that stuff lately because I I don't I'm losing interest in the Warhammer lore. Yeah, I haven't been watching any of that stuff lately. I just haven't really, um... Those videos tend to be very long, and I just don't really have time. Like, they're great videos, don't get me wrong. And I do really like Little Master of Sotek, but I, I haven't had time to watch that stuff lately. I haven't really been uh, too absorbed in law Warhammer lore lately. Okay, I really should have bloody... Used the life slant. I totally forgot he was there. Fourth generation. Oh, that's fire. Um, where's the other one? 
No, it's still fourth generation. <sighs> Whatever. Yeah, he had the heals. Ah, shit biscuits. Still recruit these ones here, because I need the... Uh... Oh, that's good experience. Right. Okay, it's boosting my relation with them a little bit. That's a lot cheaper. Yeah, I'm going to go for that. If all goes well, we'll have a confederation offer from him in the next four or five turns. Did you manage to find free time for BG3? No, not yet. Oh, there she was. I had enough movement to reach her. Or we should have. Okay, is this a minor settlement battle, or is this... No, it's just nothing. Okay. I can auto-resolve it, but we'll lose a Sora, so I'll have to fight it manually. Which should be fine. Yeah. It was weird. Rapance moved only a little distance and she went into Force March stance. Are you watching Skill Up or G Man Lives? Because they are also from Australia. Um, I don't care where somebody is from. I don't watch people just because they're from the same country that I'm in. I doesn't bother me at all. Um, I don't know who they are. Sorry. Alright, what kind of area of effect do they have? Oh, they got Life Wizard. Hmm. Won't be able to blob so easily. I'd say just go wide and advance on them. They really aren't going to be able to resist our charge. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Stop. They're going to advance on us. Okay, just hold your ground back to where you were. Doesn't have to be a pretty formation. Summon it, charge in, and then when they're pinned down, use maybe Comet of Cassandra. It depends on how many we pin down. Do this to make sure they don't instantly route. Ooh, taking out Knight's Errant would be good. Come on, a bit more in there, a bit more. Alright, take it. Oh, we've got our totally useful item here as well. Oh, I didn't do so much damage to it. Still got a decent amount of kills, but it wasn't, wasn't amazing. Move them back.
Okay, these two should go and try to hunt down heroes. That might be a candidate for Comet of Cassandora. Or this might be a candidate over here. Can't overcast it though. Nice and pinned down. Nice. Our guys appear to be doing just fine here. Nice hit. That's what we want to see. This is going really well. We're barely taking any damage. They're getting wrecked. Their cavalry is doing basically nothing. Fireball. Probably should use that, but... More important to keep him in melee there. I don't want to rearrange him. Is chain lightning even good? It can be good, but if you don't cast it well, then it won't be good. So, if we have a look at these Grail Knights, yeah, well, they're, they're dishing out some damage. Mock, mock! He says with Skaven accent. <laughs> Why is it playing wood elf music? There we go. Yeah, much better than what Order Resolve said. Hey Legend, have you thought about sending a hero to list is to meet the other Lizardman factions and start building relations? There's no point doing that right now since I'm struggling to maintain relations with Tic Tac, uh, yeah, Tic Tac Toe. If I sent a hero, I'd be paying for its upkeep. I don't have that many heroes available. I'd meet them and have no means with which to improve relations with them. So it's something that we should do later down the track. It's, it's not worth doing right now. Hey, Legend, we want some Manscaped giveaways. Um... Yeah, I don't have to do about that, sorry. Uh, okay, let's occupy. I'm a little bit concerned that she will attack Al Haik. She is a siege attacker after no. all, and we've got no garrison there. I will hear your plea. If she does take it, Krokar could go and immediately take it back, but that would mean we suffer a defeat, which we haven't done yet. I'll try and do a no defeat campaign, it just happens. Let's 
So yeah, we should be able to confederate all of this fairly soon, which means I'll want good relations with this guy. I don't see any reason why we should uh, be at war with them. Okay, this is good. Doesn't cost that much there, and yeah, definitely want more cash. Grease those wheels. Who's better in a fight, Krokgar or Gorok? Gorok. Okay. Honestly, trying to explain how things work is getting a bit tiresome. I'm just gonna say Gorok. We're both legends. Most of the time, it's Gorok. Yeah, salt's no good. Ah, uh, gonna grow through that. Because that way, if it collapses, it's not gonna cost us that much. What is your PC spec? Potato. My computer's so old that you probably can't even buy it anymore. I'll get a new computer soon. I just need money. I just, I just need time to get that money. I don't have any money right now. Okay, well, we should see a decent increase in our income. Oh, well, not really if I'm going to be recruiting more of this. Oh, well, let's go deal with it. Moving on. So I'm just going to our legend. No, don't worry about me. Don't worry about me. It's fine. I just, I just can't do it right this very second, that's all. Is the on Doom still good in Warhammer 3? It's, it is good, you just don't need it, that's all. Small family channel, please understand. Yeah. <laughs> no! No, 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 no! Oh, but I don't want to suffer a defeat. Oh well, I took a jet gamble on it. bad. Oh, okay. Yeah, that means that Zinch is starting to be very... Z oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Zinch is being Zinchy. Oh, dear. Hmm. Well, then again, Zinch isn't as dangerous as he was when he could halt your entire faction. Alright, with Clan Morbius, yeah, even if they ambushed us, we'd be fine. Ooh, bloody asking for trouble by force marching that. But I'm gonna. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, we're fine. What are they gonna do, ambush me? Probably should have switched to the um, other land now. Okay, I got an idea. I'm gonna sell Al Hai to them. I'll just get it back off them later. I should have done this last turn. Would have saved myself a defeat.
Because that way they'll have their garrison restored. And I'll get some money. And I, like I said, I'll just get it later. It'll save me having to repair it as well. Because what I'll do is I'll go and occupy Kofa this turn, and that'll guarantee that Rapunz just goes and takes it. At once. Oh, I can't take it this turn. Never mind. Oh, what I could do is... Hang on. I could just declare war on him right now. No, 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 no. How are we going here? It's getting there. It's getting there. That's a big risk, what I did there. Brian Hartley did a 20 dollars super chat. New PC, find hope all as well. Alright, thanks dude, I appreciate that. Uh, everything's fine, everything's fine. It's just, like I said, I just don't have cash right now. It's not, it's not a big deal, but over the past few months, people have been asking me to buy a new computer, and uh, I just don't have the money for it because I've just had like shit loads of bills come in all at once and I just don't have cash. Hmm. I reckon we'll go into ambush stance here and we'll just see what Rapunz does. Yeah, if she occupies Al Haik, then I'll take Al Haik. If she go rushes back to Kofa, we'll let on take her there. If she goes to Fyrus, I get her there. So we'll just we'll just see how that goes. You, I'm not doing well for money. Let's get a few more. Legend out here following BitBoy's advice on crypto. I don't, I'm not investing in crypto. No, my, mon my money is not tied up in crypto at all. Bring me in the Ferratas. Liberus shall rise again. Is it time? The goddess wills it. Alright, let's move on. Is it worth it to confed that minor Lizardman faction for this landlord? Yeah, I guess so, yeah. Well, I don't see Brona. Usually the confederated landlords are pretty shit. But if they're not hostile towards you, I don't see any reason why we have to fight them. No. Uh, she's just... Oh, we... Okay. Oh my god, she is not interested in occupying territory. No, they they missed their chance. <laughs> They're going out. Yeah. Is Crocker start harder in Warhammer 3 than Warhammer 2? No, it's way harder in Warhammer 2. Okay, she's trying to get to the Pools of Despair, but she's currently in Al Haik. If I capture Kofa, she might go for Al Haik, because they usually go for the closest settlement that they're in, but they she still might go for Pools of Despair. If I recruit a bunch of Regiment of Renown here, I probably still won't be able to beat her. Um, Because also, I, I don't have that much money. Hang on, 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 hang on. 
I might actually be able to beat her. We need a uh, Croxigore. There we go. I cannot. Okay, and let's see what she does. She owns Lucini, by the way. Oh damn! Look at that. I hate no fires. Give me warp <laughs> or oh, you die now. <laughs> Yeah, how about that? Okay, well, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. If I capture Kofa, she might accept a peace treaty. I do not care for you. But that would mean that she would probably capture it. Well, I can deal with her later. All right, we'll get a peace treaty with her. That'll sort it out. Yeah, because she's being super annoying. She's refusing to engage with us. And just... Sacking settlements, so Speak do this. I, I will at once. Okay. Okay, time to Morbin time. I think that there is a large army in here, if I had to guess, but this is a great army for a walled city siege. Yeah. And they kept this one out in the bloody boonies for some reason. Alright, let's do this. It's Morbin time. Hey Legend, do you have any plan to start a Vampire Accounts livestream campaign? I don't like playing li uh, Vampire Accounts. I, I, yeah. I, like, I think about it, but I actually don't like playing Vampire Accounts in Warhammer 2. Uh, 3. I prefer playing them in Warhammer 2. I think that the Vampire Accounts are just so brokenly overpowered in Warhammer 3 that they get boring by turn 10. <clears throat> They're so bloody overpowered. And their mechanics are a little bit on the boring side. See, so yeah, I just I just don't like playing vampire accounts in Warhammer Three. I found that super powerful factions aren't actually fun to play unless you have a powerful enemy to fight against, and none of the vampire accounts have. <coughs> Excuse me. They don't have powerful enemies to go up against. Like if you play as Vlad, you're dealing with the Empire, which is. Probably one of the easiest factions in the game to fight against. If you're playing as... Oh, shit. If you're playing as... Manfred. Manfred is also ridiculously powerful. You know what? Why don't we go over this way? This is a bit heavy here. Uh, Helmand Gorst fights <laughs> fucking Nurgle, as if that's hard. Um, yeah, it's all pretty easy. Are you planning on playing Azazel in the future? No, no plans to play Azazel anytime soon. I mean, I just played a Warriors of Chaos faction, so I think I'm Warriors of Chaos out for a little while. Do you think Thankwell and Nagash will be 99th and 100th Legendary Lord? I think that Nagash is likely to be the 100th Legendary Lord. It could it could just as well be um, Thankwell as well. Don't know. I guess the simplest answer is, I have no idea. Yeah, just I have no idea. Could be something stupid as well, like maybe Volton. <laughs> if they do Volton for number 100, I don't know, I feel like that's not terrible, but not really what people were expecting. 
Creative Assembly do like to subvert expectations by giving you a disappointing situation. <laughs> Alright, what we want to do here is push towards the Victory Plaza, but then again, this lands here, and he is going to be moving slower. Yeah, see, that's really annoying. Damn it, this one got one of the heels. Alright, if we can kill this guy here, it'll be a lot easier to route all these other guys. Wouldn't be the worst thing either to pop this down. It could get absolutely th thousands of damage in. Yeah, lots of damage. Damn it, keep focusing on him, I want him dead. I hate it when you click on their icon and it doesn't register an attack order, it gives a move order instead. That's really annoying. They're trying to snipe my fatso. Did you turn off shadows or is the lightning fucked again? Uh, I turned off shadows. Yeah. I don't even notice it anymore. What happened here? Oh, menace below as well. That's okay, this is just here for bounce of power, really. Let's make a push. Come on, stupid. Let's go. Things are dying. Yeah, who cares? Who cares? Legend only JF skiing challenge. Um, I think I could do it. It just wouldn't be fun. Look, there's loads of challenges that you could do in this game that you'll probably want to put, 
you'll want to stop very early on because it's not fun. Like, as one example, the Blitz campaign that I did with um, Malice Darkblade, that was not fun. That was really, really not fun to do. So just because something can be done, or is challenging, doesn't mean that it's worth doing. They are not doing much damage, but I still need to take them out. Enemy Lord's almost dead. Still got a fair amount of magic left, so we've got some heals left. Chameleon Skink Only sounds fine. Yeah, doing it with Oxyodal, Chameleon Skink Only, that's very much viable. got this guy. It would be good if we could actually kill him. Need just one more hit. Wait, one more hit. You got him? Did you get him? You got him. Good. That'll cause quite a bit of routing, I think. suffering a bit. Ah, uh, that's right. Storm Vermin. So, that one's done a fair bit of damage to us. I'm gonna break it. Right, everyone focus on the Storm Vermin here. It's not gonna let us pass. the storm vermin it would seem so that's good total war campaign where you can have tenures max tenures in an army so what you're saying is i should be rolling around with two armies but just 10 army uh, 10 units in each <laughs> No, look, those kind of those kind of gimmicks are not worth doing. If you want to do it, you go right ahead, but I'm not going to bother with it. Like gimmick campaigns. Because it's also really important that when the game's in this kind of state, just to focus on having fun. And so I find these kind of restricting or like silly gimmick campaigns, I don't find them fun, so I'm definitely not going to do them. If I think it's like a exercise in tedium, no, no way. I don't think they've got many units left. I was going to try to run to the town square, but they've sent pretty much everything they've got at us. And we would have taken a bad as them out of damage. Just getting there. Make sure you keep charging. Keep charging where possible. One more heal, I think. We'll be fine. Oh, 
I'm expecting the army losses any moment now. It's really important to keep our guys together. They fight much better as a single unit. And also it helps with their leadership. If they get isolated, they can rout quite easily. These ones here are pissing me off. I'm sure they're not doing much damage. And they might even be... Yeah, they're not. They might be doing a fair bit of friendly fire. Alright, the slant is no longer needed. He's used up all of his magic and is only risking getting killed. Uh, no, 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 no. If I, if I run out this way, the towers will freaking get me and these are lightning towers. That would be a mistake. Good. Army, nope, no, army losses, not yet. Alright, let's break through here. Start making our way up this way because this battle is dragging on a fair bit. And they've just, they've mostly got missile units, they just sort of refuse to engage with us now. And they're just kind of grinding us down with towers. But if we go and cap this, they won't be able to do anything about it. Just careful. You don't want to get stuck or left behind. They can go around this way. They'll probably actually get there first. Camping this will lower their leadership by an additional 10, which would be good. Never declare war campaign. Um. Sounds boring. It's like playing a first person shooter and not ever <laughs> playing it without using the mouse to shoot. I don't know. Seems silly to do that. But I mean, if you want to do it, you, you totally can. One faction you can do it with is the Changeling because you can just hide the entire campaign. In fact, you can just disband your entire armies at the start never declare war on anyone, and you can still kind of manage to get victory conditions just by spreading your um, your, uh, your your things around. Come on, up this way. Yeah, I know it's dull, but whatever. Just gonna, just gonna do it. All right, only man of time now. They're not getting up here. 
It'd be pretty funny if we inflict the army losses now. Please help, I have low authority king in medieval 2 and I can't move any reinforcements out of my castles because they will rebel. Okay, so what you want to do in that situation is build forts. A army can't rebel if it's sitting in a fort. But yeah, low authority kings can fuck your campaign up big time. Might do another Medieval 2 stream sometime soon. Okay, now, this army here, its only hope is to use the underway, but what they can do is jump from here to there, possibly, or from here to there. Leaving it um, not well defended over here. Now there's only 11 units, but they do have some good stuff there. May have to recruit an army here and just put some dudes there just, just to intercept. If they jump in on the underway, there is a chance we'll catch them. But I've been in this situation before where an army's been like this, and they usually jump in the underway. What other options does he has, have? If he jumps over this way, he's definitely going to get caught. So he is definitely going to jump that way. No two ways about it. If he goes to Teotika, he won't win. So his only hope is to go to Sotex uh, Snail Trail. So let's get a Croxagor that we've recruited before. Strategist will be good. Need to have range. Move at range. Ooh, Saurus. No, just go with cheap. I'm not exactly rolling around in cash right now. We no longer need these here. Get rid of them. So save some money so we can put it up that way. You go that to a point into that. That gives us a lot of extra magic. Looking at them. Yep, yeah, Confederation is possible soon. But I need generals to build a fort. Fuck, man. What? I don't know what to tell you, man. It looks, sounds like you fucked up. Okay. If you don't have any generals, and your king has no authority, I think you may have lost. <laughs> so I, don't, I can't help you. You know, Keep your armies stuck inside the settlements and wait for a family member to show up. There's not much else you can do. You, you dumb fucked up. Either that or um, quick save, quick load. So before you hit end turn, quick save the game, then hit end turn, and if they revolt, quick load the game, and then quick save because it re-rolls the chances. It's never a hundred percent chance that they're going to defect. All right, let's grab that. That'll be good. <laughs> yeah, look. Sometimes you can actually end up in a situation where you're just fucked, and there's no way out of it. You've dug yourself into a hole that there's just no no way of getting out. That is possible to to do. In every single Total War game, there reaches a point sometimes where there's just nothing you can do to get out of it. How do you see Confederation cards coming soon? Okay, so one of the biggest factors for Confederation is getting above 150 relations. It'll drop this minus 70 baseline evaluation down to minus 32. Then we just need to get the relative faction strength up. And also time just passing does make a big difference. Time passing as well as them not expanding. We've also got them kind of surrounded. So it, should, it shouldn't it should take too long. But Lizardman Confederations can be finicky. Ooh. 
it's not purple. Alright, so Rapunz, could you just, like, fuck off now? Just go somewhere else. <laughs> uh, I really can't justify recruiting anymore here. Time to declare war on Arkan. Alright. Yeah, grab that. Okay, and let's move. Oh, hang on, what do we got here? Yep, let's do that. Let's get another life slan in reserve. Because we've got a fire slan as well. And let's move on. Did I global recruit? Should probably global recruit. Oh, I'm out of money. If this one jumps over here, our best bet is to take this army and just go straight to the caverns of Sotek. Because that'll stop them running around looking for an easy target. They'll just attack the first thing they can see. Can you get a mission from Teotika to borrow an army? That's an interesting thought. I actually can. Yeah, if I could borrow one of their armies, that would definitely help. That's a, that's a really good idea. Good thinking. Oh, I don't have military alliance though. They they really don't want a military alliance. So we'll see. Uh, okay, check diplomacy one last time. See what we can get available. No. 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 Okay, moving on. Did you meet Kairos? He should be a big problem. Yes. Yeah, it does look like he's going to be a problem. He has defeated Teclas. Which means his armies are in this area. So, as soon as we're dealt with Clan Morbidus, I'm probably going to be forced to declare war on um, Kairos. Because he usually declares war on the player pretty quickly. But I've kind of reached the point where I can't be beaten now. You know, hit the 10... Turn 30 critical mass. You know, Krokgar's army is pretty damn strong. Confederation is just around the corner. Oh, okay. I thought he was going to jump in the underway. Interesting. He defeated Teclis? Yeah, he defeated Teclis last turn. Finished him off. <laughs> it's it's fucking stayed just out of range. Impossible. Okay, if we use this stance here, we got a really good chance of intercepting him if, if he decides to run away. Foolish, stupid. Yeah. Really good chance. Okay. Rapance is probably heading towards Al Hayek as we speak. You have no right to mm. Need Root Marcher? Well, here's the thing. They can see how much movement you've got. If I had gone with Root Marcher, they probably would have jumped in the underway. It, it would have changed what the AI did. But yeah, you're probably right. A guy thought he was going to jump in the underway. The AI always tried to stand just one tile away from you. Another thing that we could have done is actually left a skill point alone. Like, just left a skill point ready to go. He would have stayed there, and then you spend it on this turn, and then you've got the extra movement to catch them. Also, if we have done that, 
hit them there, he may have retreated and run around, like, to there. <laughs> I've seen it happen. Stupid bloody pathfinding stuff. Alright, so, here's a thought. Let Rapance take al -Haik. We'll come back for her later. We're going to be here fighting for a few turns. So what I'm going to do is send Kropgar to go and hunt down... Uh, this green skin here. Now, what I was going to say was, I need him to hunt down... Oh god, I took a bit of damage there. Hunt down Arkham the Black's armies. What am I taking attrition because of? Sandstorm. Oh. I'm in Martek. Okay. And while that's going on, this one. No need to force march, just by regular stance. Come over to here and recruit some more garbage. If... If he's sitting in Martek next turn, then I'll hit Martek. But we'll, we'll just see how things develop. We want to make sure that if we're going to hit him, we hit him really hard. Right on, on that first turn. Uh, there's a good chance that this army here is doomed, but I'm not 100% sure, so I'm just going to leave that there for now. Did you get another ancillary you can use? Yeah, it's just two of the same things. Alright. Good. Yep, they always need more missile resistance. Okay. Okay, okay. I don't need this here. I should have got rid of that last turn. Let's upgrade Plane of Tuskers first. And amount of money. Yeah, there's always a chance that this one here will be able to jump over here and not get intercepted. So we'll just have to see how that goes. Right, we can test, uh, check to see how well... Oh, shit, yeah. Oxyodal is getting pushed back. You see, there's extra Zinch corruption here. God, Zinch is going crazy. Alright, this area over here has no Zinch corruption, so Oxyodal is fine here, but he's probably got some territory in here because it's only plus one, so it must be pushing back a little bit. But how did we go over here? Okay, Zinch didn't fully push into into um, Slanesh territory there, so it's not that big. But yeah, we need to attack Zinch sooner rather than later, or else Oxyodal is going to be overrun. This army here will do it, but I just... I gotta deal with this first. So this will be good. Next turn I'll get some more public order. That'll definitely help. Speaking of difficulties from before, what changes about AI behaviors depending on battle difficulty setting? Um, it's hard to keep track of everything, especially considering... I, I was monitoring it intensely during early access, playing a whole bunch of different difficulties. And right now, I don't... Um, monitor it at all. So, the AI on very hard battle difficulty 
main thing, I suppose, doesn't use their missile units against small single entities, whereas on normal difficulty, they definitely do. In fact, they'll do it on hard difficulty. But as for all the different minute changes to their behavior, I don't know, because I, I don't monitor it that much anymore. Because it just keeps changing all the time. Okay, that could be good. If I can get there. Yeah! Got him. Pyrrhic victory? What a load of bull. As at bullshit. Whatever. <laughs> Three Skaven like slaves. As if... Oh my god. You're but not in their anti-lodge. <laughs> that area starts under the control of a minor Zinch faction. Yeah, and... Teclas takes them out straight away. I, I could promise you right now, Kairos did it because we were monitoring it. Um, Teclas was only at war with Kairos and he got wiped out. It was not Sartharael that took him out. A minor faction will never, in the start of a campaign, take out a major faction. That'll just never happen. Okay, these guys here are in pretty good shape, so you stay back. Shape and move back. Reckon we might get a Lumbrio DLC. What's Lumbrio? Why isn't South Rail a legendary lord? In in terms of the lore, there is only one legendary lord in the game who has absolutely no lore whatsoever, and that's Daniel the Dickhead Demon Prince. <laughs> He's the only one that has absolutely no place in the lore whatsoever, except for maybe um, Silostra. So South Rail is not a canon legendary lord. He was made for Total War Warhammer. So he's not technically a legendary lord. He was a legendary lord in Warhammer 1 and 2, but now that they've got proper lords of change available, he's just a regular lord of change. Do you think CA is going to continue with the bug fixes, fixes or is it temporary damage control? Oh, look, it's really hard to say. I guess it depends on how cynical you are towards Creative Assembly, in which case I've been pretty cynical towards them because they haven't obviously behaving that way. Um, I think that the bug fix, there's going to be patch 4.1 is, I, I don't think there's going to be another hot fix. Um, it'll be interesting to see what patch 4.1 does. I, I just don't know. Anytime I try to predict what Creative Assembly does, they usually prove me wrong by being worse than what I predicted. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, they'll continue the bug fixes. No more bug fixes. Or the bug fixes are just not really fixing anything. So, I don't know. I just don't know. I'd like to hope that they're going to do some bug fixing, or some more- oh shit, boy. I wasn't expecting the flamethrowers to do that much damage to the uh, 
the dinos. I guess they are more armor piercing now than they used to be. Pyrrhic victory, my ass. My bloody ass. Pyrrhic victory. Try to recover a little bit because we're not going to get that much replenishment over the intern. Ah, that'll do. Did you see Venrus's video from back in August about the game file structure and the difficulty of fixing the game? It's an eye opener for those who think it's hard to fix the game. Yes, I did watch that video. I'm just trying to jog my memory on it. Yeah. Lumbria is Australia in Warhammer Fantasy. It's only been mentioned, mind. Oh, okay. I didn't even know about that. I thought it was called Here Be Demons. Oh, excuse me. Um, no, I don't. Do not think that we're going to get a Lumbria DLC. Um, I think that there is a chance, a small chance, that we might get Ind. That if we're going to get any new faction, new race, Ind is probably the, at the top priority. I think. Um. And given the state of how things are, if, if Creative Assembly doesn't turn the game around and get people back to playing it, I don't see, I don't see Ind coming. I've heard Dogs of War is on the way, but I don't know for sure. They should have added the Monkey King, or he's not a Lord. I'm fairly sure they're going to add the Monkey King, it's just they did Yuan Bo first, that's all. Yeah, it's a bit of a weird choice to go with Yuan Bo first, that's for sure. Alright, if we have a look at Morbidus, they don't have any armies left, which means we don't need this guy anymore. That's good. Which means you can force march over to here, try to get here as quickly as possible. So that war is done, skis. We got him. So, extra three public order, faction wide. Really bloody helpful. Reduce upkeep cost for Saurus. Hells to the air. I'll take that. So that saves a lot of cash. Okay. This guy here, if we're going to hit Al Haik first, it would be good if this guy hits Martek, Eye of the Panther, and then probably Vulture Mountain while Krokgar goes down this way. I don't think they're going to raise armies over this way, and even if they do, it doesn't really matter that much. Or maybe, maybe Krokgar should go mark. Yeah, yeah, okay, that would actually be better, I think. So, this one, just stay here, recruit two more before they head towards the desert, and Krokgar, go into ambush stance in here. And we'll just see. We'll just see what happens. This one might come over here. Wherever this army goes, that's what we want to hit. Yeah, we definitely want to take that out. It's pretty strong. Gunbow's voice acting so bad. It, it, yeah, it's not great. It's not great. It's, it's um, yeah, it's not great. You, it's, it's not terrible. It's just not great. Um... Yeah. Maybe we should get Root Marching out. <laughs> that one extra tile. Okay, how are we going here? Oh, so close to 150. Relative faction strength, it's not bad. 
Oh yeah, did we? Yeah, we got it. We got the um. Okay. Oh, that's right. We need a military alliance. Fucking hell. I have to give them a settlement if I want a military alliance. Yeah, Lizardman diplomacy is really fucking hard. They just, they just don't want to accept deals. Monkey King will be $35. Well, it will be premium. Hey guys, it's only the price of, a, of like five hamburgers. Okay. And Rapunzel is probably not going to take Al Haik. So I'm going to go get it back. Now that Nakai is fixed, you'll be putting another skink on the Barbie? Um, I was thinking about it. We'll see. That's good. Yeah, Blessasaurus Warriors with shields. That's what I want to see. Uh, let's go into the stance. Uh, no, no, that'll make us discover Kairos. I don't want to do that. I mean, we'll discover him next turn anyway. So let's just get to there first. Alright, it is time to declare war on Arkhan. He does have another army. Let's try to track where it is. It's here. This army here should actually be able to take Al Haik since she's going home. She's, she's obviously totally exhausted. You take Al Haik and our, and um, Kropgar fucking leg it down this way. We'll take a little bit of attrition. But what we want to do is hit their armies up as quickly as possible. Taking out these cities is not really going to hurt Arkan. Taking out Wizard Kalis Palace definitely will. Oh, well, Lashiak will definitely hurt him. I don't need you to recruit this turn. You'll, you'll be fine to capture that, as it is. Do you have any allergies? Minor siege battles? Yeah, fair enough, I understand that. I, I definitely do have allergies. Let me switch that now. Um, I have a weird allergy to grass. It's called hay fever. It usually hits me in September, and it definitely did this September. Uh, but I wasn't on basically any any day where hay fever hit me really hard i was like yeah i'm definitely not live streaming because in the past every time that i've live streamed during september and i've had hay fever people would not stop being like legend are you okay go to the doctor and i, I find that to be so fucking annoying so i just refuse to live stream when i've got hay fever i mean i take antihistamines but sometimes it just hits you Forrest McGee did a five dollar super chat. Hey guys, is only like the price of five hamburgers? Sure, they're a little undercooked, but you already spent three hundred dollars on hamburgers. What's the big deal? <laughs> yeah. Do you know what that is right there? If you were to go into the dictionary and look up sunken cost fallacy, just that is the exact definition of sunk cost fallacy. <laughs> Hey guys, have you bought some Bitcoin? Wow, so what if it's going down? Just buy some more Bitcoin. You can't lose with that. You've already spent 100 grand on Bitcoin. Just buy some more. Actually, Bitcoin probably will go back up, but I don't know. <laughs> Throw good money at bad money. I should have used a shit coin. Um, Freaking Titcoin Cash or something. I don't know. One of those shit coins. Bitcoin was a bad, bad, um, uh, bad analogy. Legend is allergic to stupid questions. Oh yes, yeah, super allergic to. I'm also allergic to fucking liars. <laughs> so I've had an allergy to Creative Assembly the past few years.
Nice and calm. Okay, the calm before the storm. Okay. Good. Okay, taking him out while he's recruiting something. I know they've got an army here. Seven, so... Times what, 21. Yeah, okay, so they've got a full stack here, and then there's Ark in there, so that's what it means. Okay. Your petty. Alright. Arkin, thanks for repairing for that for me, words. but I want it I. back. Hurry and speak. Bretonia commands me. Oh, no, it's going down now. I need some more money, do you? I've got the money, I just don't want to give it to you. Hang on, um... If I take out Clan Morbidus, because they're about to die, they'll be more willing to go to a war since they'll be completely at peace. I shouldn't be dumb about this, because I'm right next to fucking Kairos. Yeah, don't be dumb. Don't be dumb. Give him a settlement, you get it back after Confederation. No. Uh, if you give him a settlement, it resets a timer that takes seven turns to go down. So he won't... He won't if, okay. if you give him a, a settlement, he won't Confederate under any circumstance for seven turns. So no, we can't give him any territory. Uh, okay, let's move. Yeah, there's a bit of a weird thing. So there's three factors that come into, three big factors that come into confederations. The first one, the easiest one to manage, is relations. You need to get 150 relations or above, which we're right on the edge there. That's the first thing. The next thing is you need to be strong. You don't necessarily need to be stronger than them, but you need to be strong, which we are. So that's, that's a tick on that regard. We could be stronger. The next thing is actually um, whether they've expanded in, this, in the past seven turns. And what that means, if they've captured a settlement or have been given a settlement, if their faction has expanded in any way, even if it's reclaiming settlements that they just lost, it resets it back to seven turns. You can't confederate them if they've captured a settlement in the past seven turns unless they're on the verge of death, which tic-tac-toe is absolutely not on the verge of death. Someone to go and kill that Grace here. Almost got their grace here, so that's good. This one here is struggling a bit.
I never knew that. Is that from Warhammer 2 or something new they added? It's something new that they added. Yeah, they had nothing to do with Warhammer 2. In Warhammer 2, um, there were various different conditions depending on what race you were playing. So there was also hidden conditions. So there was a particular trait that High Elves could get, for example, could never confederate. And Tyrion had like a 50-50 chance of getting it. And it was hidden. And what it meant was that he would just never confederate if he had this trait. Um, unless it was like... His faction was basically doomed or something along those lines. This one over here is struggling. So yeah, it, it's really hard to know exactly how the confederations work in Total War games uh, in Warhammer. Um, you get bits and pieces of information that seem to make sense. And you just gotta make the best of what you can. We have a bit of lopsided damage. Healing that would be a pretty bloody good idea. Let's try to deal with that. And kind of see why the Order Resolve said that it was like going to be a Pyrrhic victory. Main thing one to heal all the like the particularly damaged units. Get him out. Especially this one here. So that we can at least try to heal to full over the end turn. Okay, That's, that should be fine. Tyrion, did Tyrion have a trait called Worst Ally or was that just natural to him? No, this is anti-player bias. That, that wasn't necessarily Tyrion specifically that did that, it was just the fucking AI. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the way, yeah. So it was just the AI trying to screw you over. So in Total War games, in Warhammer 2, what would happen is if you had a military alliance with, with a faction and you had a non-aggression pact with another faction, your military ally would try to screw you over by declaring war on somebody that you've got a non-aggression pact with, even if they didn't hate that person, forcing you to have to declare war on, on that person or else suffering a massive uh, diplomatic penalty and then they just cancel their relation with you, which is what happened to me in that particular case. Now, luckily, that doesn't happen in Warhammer 2. Uh, 3 anymore. But yeah, that was... That derailed my campaign. That sent me back so far. Got him in the end, but... God damn, we'll derail it. Hossein Salahi did a 5 super chat. Loving the stream, mate, from South Australia. Alright, thanks, dude. Glad you're loving the stream. Appreciate you. Nice. Nice. Okay, now, you've got no enemies. Followers of Nagash. Still the same. Heading towards 155 again. We've now met... ...them. Okay, we can see how far Tic-Tac-Toe is. Been pushed back a fair bit. He's got 10 regions. This area here doesn't have any military presence, so we need to fucking go straight away. Just go and bloody attack him. Some... Ooh! Yeah, I would prefer this one. It takes two turns. But that would be... That would be good. Let's get that. That was... That's very convenient. Wait, what's the upkeep cost going to be like? Yeah, that's not so bad. Good. Alright, that's all the, the skills he really needs. Winds of Power Reserve minimum. Well, you shouldn't have to worry about that. Barrier would be good. Let's go with that. Ever heard of the game Terra Invicta? What do you think of it? I have heard of it and I've looked at it. It looks... I haven't played it, but it does look really good. For sure. 
Ten quitax cow cacromato. Four grand. Four fucking grand. Mm. He doesn't. If I do some damage to them, he'll consider. Uh, oh, eh. Yeah, I shouldn't do that, but... I don't think this guy has a whole lot to worry about right now, and... He's gonna be just dealing with easy, low-hanging fruit. Down this way. And he's recovering at a pretty decent rate. If he joins the war, he might take territory, resetting your confed. Yes, that is correct, yeah. But I'm just trying to get that last little bit of relation going. Ugh, I wish that was actually useful. Okay, relation improved. Mm, okay. I think we we're just better off giving him a gift. Relative faction strength went down a fair bit. Alright, let's recruit another army here. For one thing, to boost our faction strength, but also because this guy's not going that way. Gotta prepare for the hopeful confederation that's coming very soon. Oh yeah, took a bit of damage there, that's okay. We'll be fine. Money is okay. Let's have a look in diplomacy and see what else there is. Yeah, it's not long before she's doomed. And if we have a look at Thorak Ironbrow, who is at war with... Oh, yeah, he's dogs, pretty friendly towards us, so... Stand together. I don't... Th Hang on, let me see. If I offer to join war against Court of Libaris... Because he's bound to win. <laughs> but I kind of expect, if I do this, she will send an army straight around over here to deal with us. So, just chill. He's not going to declare war on us just yet. Still need to go get Cetra as well. All in due time, or not. So this one over here. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yep. You should pick up a couple of extra troops as well. I'll probably have to fight the next one manually. Does AI Tic Tac Toe usually do well, or does he die in most campaigns? He usually does well. Okay, cool. I mean, I knew this was going to happen. <laughs> so, good. He'll probably want to confederate now, because he'll be shitting his fucking pants. As I said, Kairos usually declares war on the player the moment he discovers them. Ooh, I hope I can catch him. I don't think I can, though. Because i got to go over this damn bridge. It's in a bad spot. Remember Krokgar's campaign being interesting as a faction, but a bit easier in terms of star positions with Warhammer 2? Is it more challenging than Warhammer 3? Um, no. No, I, I struggle to think of any star position from Warhammer 2 that's more difficult than Warhammer 3. I can't think of a single one. Is Oxero still alive? He is he's still alive, but he is getting beaten up by by Kairos. But that's okay. I anticipated getting declared war on. Okay, we just gotta get that relative faction strength up. 
and he wants me to fight Kairos Fate Weaver. Kairos Fate Weaver is right. Shmiaw. Okay, now this one, I want you to go to war with Oracles of Zinch. They probably won't accept. No, they definitely won't. Okay. If I could just borrow one of Tic Tac Toe's armies, we will be able to probably be able to confederate. If I could just get a bit stronger. Now, if I recall from memory, if you just sail straight to Sorcerer's Island, you might be able to cap it, but then this guy here will just run away. So what I want to do is stand here. And go into Ambush Dance and just see what happens. want to be lazy. This would be such an easy... F uh, I really can't be losing units. I'm not exactly making tons of money. I'd say the Empire is also harder to start than it was in Wemma 2. No, I don't agree. <laughs> Sorry, I don't agree. It's definitely one of the hardest starts in Total Warhammer 3, for sure, but I do not think it's more difficult than in Warhammer 2. The thing is, in Warhammer 2, everybody had a tough start. And it's just that Reichland was no different to anyone else. But now, they're sort of outliers in being particularly difficult, but they're not more difficult than Warhammer 2. In my, in my opinion. Because, like, I've played some Empire campaigns now, pretty damn recently, and we didn't really do that badly. It wasn't that tough. Took out Vlad pretty quickly. Alright, they're gonna pop down that thing, but we dodged it. That's good. I'm gonna pop down this, because I got them. So they'll be using another one. The main thing, if you want to dodge that, just keep moving, because they're seemingly gonna keep using it. Good, that's taken out a whole fucking unit. Yeah, I knew that order was off was bullshit. Okay, there we go, we dodged it again. Nice. They only get two, I'm pretty sure. I feel like these are stronger than they were in Warhammer 2. Because I remember they used to just die straight away, but they actually dish out some decent damage now. Hey Legend, do you think Handgunners is stronger or Thunderers? Thunderers, easily. Easily. Handgunners have no advantage over Thunderers whatsoever. Thunderers have armor. They've got shield block. Okay, the only advantage that Handgunners have is that they have 10 extra entities. That's, that's the only advantage. But yeah, no, Thunderers would win hands down. Just because of the missile block chance alone. They're also way better in melee. They've got way more leadership. So if you've got a Thunderer unit versus a Handgunner unit, there is no way that that Handgunner unit is going to win. No chance in hell. In my opinion. Unless, of course, you're going up against the AI and they blob up all their Handgunners all in the same spot, which not unheard of. Come this way. That's it. Come this way. <laughs> of course, they'll have their Ushab T summon. I think we just try to run away from that one.
Yeah. Units in this game are really bad at running down other units. <laughs> so you just, just refuse to engage. We'll take way less damage this way. But legend, they're hitting you in the rear! Doesn't matter, they can't they can't connect properly. Oops. Yeah, bullshit auto resolve. Have you played Neferata campaign? Uh, she's not in the game yet. I guess there is mods, but no, I haven't played a modded version of it. What about height? Well, the height actually works in the dwarf's favor because they're smaller targets. Line of sight issue will occur though. How do you plan on confederating Nakai the Chad? Not really my plan right now. My plan is to confederate um, uh, Tic Tac Toe. Elevator firing angle. So yeah, if okay, if you've got a unit of handgunners versus a unit of thunderers, and the unit of handgunners is on the high ground, I suppose it has a bit of an edge, but I'd still probably bet on the um, thunderers. Because the high ground advantage, unless it's an extreme high ground advantage, which is rare in this game, I'd say that they would win. Alright, we'll see how that goes. Don't worry, tic tac toe, I'm coming. No, uh, not tic tac toe, oxyodal. No, 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 All right. Kofa, spices any good? No. Go with, uh, just go with money. I mean, growth. Still gonna go with gross, I think. Okay, I might actually do this because. Oh shit, I'm not sure if I'm gonna have enough money now. Because I would like this army to be in the best shape it possibly could. Experience on Bastilodons will definitely help. Most of his units are probably blue horrors, maybe pink horrors. So infantry, anti-infantry will definitely help. These ones here are, will be good for fighting Kairos himself, I suppose. All right, assuming, yeah, well, we'll see. Kairos is a difficult opponent. Uh, this one here. Okay. We'll have to wait, that's not urgent. I need troops. No. Actually, if you could just give me some money, that'd be really great. Although I think I... Oh no, here we go. Okay, yeah, he's gonna give me some money. He's gonna give me a fair bit. Okay, I'm down for 900. It's free money. Is there any chance we go to dwarf campaign? I feel like I covered dwarfs fairly recently. Good. All right, we've got to keep our strength ranking as high as possible so that we can convince Tic Tac Toe to confederate. I don't think he's going to be particularly helpful against Kairos, but who knows? He might send all of his armies down here. And if any of them get wrecked, actually, that could work for us quite well. How do you feel about 
covering Wood Elf, Sisters of Ordraiha. Uh, I'll think about that. I don't think you touched playing Mulder and Women 3. I did. I have played the Mulder campaign. No, you're still on my to kill list. Is Women 3 fixed now? No. <laughs> oh no, what else is happening here? Oh, we, we did it! I wasn't actually expecting that one to go. I'm going to Tormentor Sword. That's a good item. Good. Arkun has just lost all of his armies. I mean, obviously he can recruit them fairly quickly, but... We've got an opportunity here to really push hard against him. Do you believe in the Lizard Conspiracy? Probably not. Never heard of it. I don't. Probably not. So the reason why I ordered it is because... They would have tried to escape. And probably succeeded to some degree. Ooh. Get that in an ambush win. Saves us a few few little coins though. Alright, All right, we can kind of get an idea of where Kairos is if we do this. Oh shit, he's right there. If he uses teleport stance to jump on us, we're not vulnerable that vulnerable at least to ambushes. So it could happen. It could happen. But we're not that vulnerable to ambushes. Come on, tic tac toe confederate. Oh yeah, he's moving down this way. Oh great, he's gonna capture a settlement. <laughs> Fucking... He's gonna capture a settlement. Oh, son of a bitch. Because Kairos doesn't want to bloody deal with him. Well, if he gets close, I'll just threaten him. Alright, this one goes to Eye of the Panther. Should be okay to auto that. Yeah. I definitely would have done better. So, Vulture Mountain has 11 years. This, this army here can handle it. Campaign movement range, that'll be helpful for you. Alright, Tormentor Sword would be really good for you. Let's give you some magic items. Helm of Discord, yep, because I think you might get ambushed. There's nothing we can do to block a teleport stance, so just give him all the good stuff. Talisman. That's a good one, actually. Really good one. Cloak effect. There's another really good one. That's... I don't know, whatever. And... Extra leadership wouldn't hurt. That's not gonna matter. Spell resistance. Oh, you guys already got it. Yeah, you wanna put that on yourself, because Karis is probably gonna try to snipe you. I'm assuming that Kairos is going to be able to jump. If we have a look over here, it says military presence of six. 18 units. Oh, it's not a full, not full stack versus our 19. Actually, have we got a regiment of renown? No, I lost track of them. Plus, they're probably highly experienced. You may have never lost a battle. So, I still kind of, it's only turn, oh, it's turn 38, okay. You might have some high tier units, plus doesn't he start off with a soul grinder? Well, we'll see. We will see. Wait, wait, wait. Neutralize cat. Oh, it's not faction wide. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, let's get both. And yeah, give me those gemstones, that'll be good. Garth Garth here. Okay, we don't need this anymore. Alright, so I'm fairly sure that that Kairos is going to ambush us. We'll see what happens. Fairly sure. The only reason he wouldn't do it is because the balance of power is not in his favor. I mean, it is a right of Primeval Glory Army, and we've still got this going for four turns. That will come in our advantage. Plus, we've got a Life Slam, and it's relatively early in the campaign. And most of his units are probably trash. Yeah, he did do it. Like I said, expected it. Okay, I really need for these ones here to not rout, and I need you to have that spell resistance. Okay. All right. I don't know what he's got. So we're just going to see. But the interesting thing here is that if he doesn't kill any of our guys, he won't be able to move any further. We'll take attrition though. But we'll be able to run back and and heal. Is it lag because of your PC or the stream? It's it's not my PC. I, this has been running really smooth for me. It's it's OBS. OBS just hates Warhammer Three. I've tried so many things to try to get OBS to uh, to uh, run this game well, but it just it just really struggles with it. I've got it um, opened it. Hang on. I gotta concentrate on this. Sorry, guys. This is this is the toughest battle of the bat of the campaign. Maybe we'll see. Well, 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 well. What the? What the? Okay, there they are. All right, let's get an idea of what we're up against. Mostly horrors. That's what I expected. Okay, just um, just back off a little bit. If we can kill Kairos quickly. That'd be okay. He can't move that fast. Also, we don't want to go into a fight in the next 36 seconds, ideally. Okay, you have to. Yeah, I thought he was going to do that, but our barrier will block most of it. All of it. That's good. Okay, we got incoming here. It's playing chaos music. Let's see how we go. Not gonna lie, a little bit worried. Kairos and Zinch, such bullshit factions to deal with in this game. Alright. He's coming in, that was really stupid of him. Go for, go for Kairos. Try to take him out. He's really bad in melee. If you can take out Kairos, that gives us a big chance. Okay, his magic. Heal. Fatso. We're not taking much damage. I think, I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Make sure he doesn't get back up. Luckily, the pink horrors and blue horrors don't do that much armor piercing. Going ham for my fat boy. They want him dead. I feel like we're doing okay. Oh god, they 
really want to kill my fucking dude here. Fucking hell, they really want to kill my poor bloody Slan. Oh, I really want to get him in there, he's got all these items, but... I gotta get him out of there. Yeah, you run these fuckers down. Man, we haven't even got through Kairos's fucking barrier yet. No, you don't stay there. Guys, go for Kairos. I can't come in, most of the units are getting rampaged. No, you're fine, just keep fighting though. this fucker here, please. Can't dodge because he's too fat. I think I'm winning. I think I'm winning. I think I'm winning. It doesn't seem that bad. Like, they've lost a shitload of units. And we're just damaged, that's all. But all of our guys are still full fighting force. We're going for magic. Yeah, we still got a bit left. You need to get your barrier back. What little you can. Man, how much melee defense does Kairos have? Oh, look at they got this dude here. It'd be really good if we kill him. He's rank 19. <laughs> what, what a bad time to die. I think we've got this. He's they're getting torn to shreds now. I think we got this. No, don't kill my bloody dinosaur. Kill him. Kill him. Okay, don't let this guy here get away. He'll bloody get his immortality. No. Where do you think you're going? Don't let Kairos get back up. Did you manage to kill him? Come on, don't let him get away. We've won. We've won. Yeah, we army lost him. Don't let this one get away. Suck shit, Kairos. 
Like I said, he's not good at dealing with this stuff. Don't let this guy get away, come on. Alright, dinos. No, 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 he's getting the f How the fuck is he getting away? Come on, come on, kill him. Level fucking 19, kill him. Come on, one more hit. Yeah! Okay, good job. Try to heal as much as we possibly can, but that's GG for Kairos, basically. Because we're going to kick him out of the Southlands now. He doesn't. I don't think he's got another army out here, so that's going to reduce his resources. And yeah, you know, he's dealing with Oxyodal on another front as well. In the middle of the stream, I just got a commercial. Well, I've actually set it so that it shouldn't be doing that. It actually said, adds automator is off. So it shouldn't be doing that. Will you be doing a Pharaoh stream on release? Hell no! <laughs> Why would I do that? Some people have early access to the game and they're not live streaming it. Why the hell would I stream it on release? Did you get to hear it? Yeah, we got him. Pyrrhic victory, zero casualties. They lost 90% of their forces. Have you ever won an auto-resolved ambush? Yes, I have before. But it was a bit touch and go there for a bit. I mean, they were really trying to kill my slan. Because I had all these items that would have been great to debuff their units. He has a lot of bloody... Um... Okay. Quick, save it before Yaltef falls out of it. Okay. Oh, was he the only survivor of that battle? That's interesting. What's his defeat trait? Kairos, I think, will give us extra winds of magic and spell resistance. You're doomed. I'm gonna... We know you'll be playing Total War Pharaoh in secret. <laughs> well, you can actually check. A lot of some of you guys have my Steam account details. You'll be able to see if I own it. I want these guys here to go for the settlement so the tic tac toe doesn't, because I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get there in time. Yeah, that's fine. Sacrifice them. Oh yeah, we got the... Um, yeah, there's a defeat trait. Winds of Magic Power Reserve Capacity. Spell Resistance for the Lord's Army. That's going to be good for next time we fight him. Now. No, 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 <laughs> no. You're supposed to be my friend. Well, I would have made a lot of money in that loot. Why the hate? What hate? What are you talking about? I'm not hating on anything. Oh yeah, I don't have um military alliance.
<laughs> Damn it. Fight that manually. It shouldn't be difficult. Crocker could go and assist, but if he goes over there, he's not going to be able to get to Wizard Kelly's palace, which he is needed urgently. Yeah, very urgently. I'm gonna grab that because that'll be good for Captain the Town Square. Let's go. Can I auto resolve it now? No, I still have to fight it manually. That's fine. Are you a rugby fan? The Wallabies don't bring that much joy to Australia this World Cup. I don't follow rugby at all. Not buying a product because of lack of interest equals hate. It's 2023. Yeah, it's yeah, exactly right. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I try to say things like, why would I get Pharaoh? Like, what's, what's in it for me? I can't think of a single upside for me to, like, play Pharaoh. I'm not interested in it. But Legend, it's your job! No, it's not actually my job. Okay, um, this one here. Alright, I got another idea. I'm gonna come around here. Because that way they'll put all their forces here, and they won't see me coming. Ah, oh, bugger. Powerful towers. Put a really, really weak unit to soak up the damage. They didn't activate the tower. Well, whatever, that's up to them. I am going to sneak in. Be careful, people are going to think you're racist towards Egyptians. Why? I've said many, many times before that I would love a good Bronze Age Total War game. And I've played Egypt in Medieval 2 Total War, so I don't know why anyone would think I'm racist towards... I think you're being silly. That's what I think. I think you're just being silly. Not being interested in a game equals racism. What a load of garbage. One of my favorite factions in this game is fucking Tomb Kings. <laughs> SMHF15 did a ten dollar super chat. Skinks. All right, thanks, dude. Appreciate the support. Yeah, don't do that. Okay, we want to get rid of their archers with this. Two arches, nice. Come on, get this one crumbling. Oh, well. Okay. 
Okay, okay, okay. If we run up through here, we're gonna get detected. We have to run this way. Alright, we're going to need to throw some guys up on the walls to climb over it because those Nehekara warriors are not gonna let us pass. Are they shooting while in melee? They would no, no, you don't let them do that. You don't let him do that, it's not fair. Well, Jesus Christ. Yeah, they're shooting while in melee. Get him out of there. Yeah, eat this. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Error AI is even worse than AI before. The AI keeps trying to reposition, then sends a single melee e you know, each time. Yeah, I, s I saw Jackie Fisher's video. Yeah, I, I watched it. Um. <laughs> I don't yeah. What are you gonna do? AI in Total War is not a priority. can use this one to try to take out that archer if we can. Would be nice to use our javelins, but we're not really getting any opportunity to do that. Maybe a good idea to cap this po uh, position first, because that'll lower their stats. Because I'm not sure if I'm going to have time to capture that. Tomb Guard there. That's uh, not good for them. Hold on. So yeah, we're breaking through the front now. I'm gonna put my guys on fire at will. Just hope they actually hit something. Would you recommend crap stacking for the less experienced players in Total War Warhammer? The ability to field multiple armies sooner due to the lesser upkeep might help cover multiple fronts. No, what I would recommend is that if you're a newer player, don't play on Legendary Difficulty. And if you're not playing on Legendary Difficulty, you can build whatever the fuck army you want. That's what I would recommend. Okay, cool. So they've just lost extra leadership and melee defense, so that's great. And the front is open, so we can bring them over here and start shooting here. Uh, this is fucked. We need to get them out of that position before they get wiped out. Oh, oh damn. Oh, 
You got a Venmo? Okay, you go down your foot. Let's run up on the walls. down the sharp teeth. Uh, gonna be difficult to dodge that. But we'll try. Just don't really want to engage with that fucking unit. Doesn't look like we're gonna cap this point, those archers just stopped us. This is actually proving to be quite difficult. Yeah, we're actually kind of struggling with this one, I'm not gonna lie. I might actually lose. Uh, Samu Liponen did a 12 euro super chat. Thanks for streaming. I had a really rough summer and your content brightening my day. Keep the good job. Your videos and streams mean a lot for many. All right, thanks dude. I appreciate that. Okay. Cause yeah, we are just not dishing out damage with this fucking army at all. And now their towers and shit are really starting to dish out damage. So what I need to do is to start fucking running. Run for bloody capture points. Yeah, just, just try to really make a run for capture points. And use our speed to our advantage. Because we took out all their fastest units, and they've used up their Ushab team now. Now we just gotta... We've got to stop the fucking towers. Alright, just capture whatever towers we possibly can. Because, yeah, fight, fighting these guys head on. We need our javelins, we just can't fucking use them. I what these guys are doing out here. Route into the city. That's it, route into the city. So we got a fairly clean shot to up here now. Yeah, we got this. We're in. We got this. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. I'm not seeing any issues. All we gotta do is run. You'll be able to beat that easily enough. We got this. Who cares how much damage we take? I'll go for that one there.
Oh, look, the tower shooting at this one. We should be good to cap this now. Also, I think all their archers are finally gone, which was definitely the biggest problem. Twenty seconds ago, we're going to lose. Ten seconds ago, we're absolutely fine. Well, things looked really sort of iffy on the front there, but I saw an opportunity to just push through, and it totally worked. Because we don't have much armor piercing and we were fighting more uh, armored units than I thought, like with the uh, the tomb guard. Just couldn't break through them, but we've kind of routed into the city. Oh, I didn't fucking capture this position. So we just got to capture this and then just not lose for a couple of minutes. Yeah, we don't want this one bloody restoring its ammo like that. No thanks. Go around this way. Look at the pathfind. These guys are on the barricade here and they can't decide where to attack it. Okay, now... Just hold this position. At all costs, hold this position. Don't let anyone get in through here. We do that, we've, we've won. Don't have to hold on for long. Just as long as you can. These are low damage units, they're just not going to break through. Still got some towers shooting at us. They're not going to get through. AC Taylor 15 did a HUF 2000 super chat. That method still works, namely start a campaign on easy difficulty and at the last step set up to very hard difficulty and get both campaign victory achievements in Immortal Empires. Thanks for the answer. Um, I don't know if that method still works, sorry. I don't know. I haven't, I haven't tested any of the achievements, but thanks for super chat. Any of the new achievements, yeah. It worked originally, I don't know if it works anymore. There we go, we got through it. Are you interested in Mana Lords? Mildly interested. I played the demo, but I was like, eh, I wasn't super fond of it. It was just another city builder. I know that a lot of the features weren't in the game, but it was, it was really just another sh city builder. It wasn't a bad one, but I mean, <sighs> I think that Mana Lords would have been great if it came out in the year 2000 because it really reminded me of the game Black and White. Um, but I'm, I'd be keen to look at it again. But I, I think some people thought that Mana Lords was going to be the Total War Killer. It's it's not. It's not the Total War Killer. There's no way that that uh, this game being made. By oh man, I lost one. Being made by one dude is gonna 
destroyed her in a war. That's a good banner. This guy wants to survive, he'll rush over to here. Ooh, a relative strength ranking actually went up. Alright, well I need to recruit another unit here, because I just need... Those are good troops, but these are cheaper. Just need balance of power. Probably have to fight this manually, but we can use this opportunity to heal. Nah. <laughs> you will be fine. Hopefully I can get to you, Artek, next turn. It looks like I can. Yeah, good. If I get to you, Artek, before them, that... That stops Tic-Tac-Toe from gaining a settlement. Very bad. No Tic-Tac-Toe. Go away. Fuck off. Okay. Don't need this. Need this. Money's okay. Oh, it had garrison building. Hmm. I'll leave that there, actually. Might even sell this settlement over to Zlatlin so that they um, give me money and the way they can build that province up. Which means looting and occupying it is on the agenda. Okay, well, let's have a look at diplomacy. I kind of wanted to end the stream when we uh, confederated Tic-Tac-Toe, but he just really doesn't want to do it. Okay, let's move on. Oh, commandment. Here, right? Yeah. Why no resource building? It's not a good return on investment. The Lizardman uh, resource buildings are not good. Especially if you've only got one trade partner, which is the case here. They don't provide any strategic advantage, unless it is specifically a resource that does provide a strategic advantage. But in the case of furs, it just provides the resource and most of it won't get sold to Tic-Tac-Toe anyway. What is the most challenging campaign now? Probably Boris Ursus's campaign, I'd say. Good, they stayed put. That which means we can possibly wipe him out next time. You're hyped for Pharaoh? That's cool if you're hyped for Pharaoh. I, look, if anybody is buying Pharaoh, I hope that you get the game that you paid for. I hope that you get what you want. I'm just saying that what's on offer is not what I want. That's all I'm saying. And I think that it's also not what a lot of people want. But if you play it and you love it, then awesome. Wish you the best with it. But I also think you're getting ripped off. <laughs> but you know, what one person one person's trash is another person's treasure. Who am I to say that you shouldn't enjoy a game? Yeah. No siege. Which is my favorite kind of siege. Bit surprised you didn't get the medicinal herbs. Doesn't provide any serious value. Alright, so if we have a look at the medicinal herbs, let's have a look. So, reduce upkeep cost for skink and chameleon skinks 3%. Not a unit that I'm necessarily prioritizing, or well, I am actually recruiting a lot of them. But 3% isn't going to make a big difference. Um, here a recruit rank for skink priests. Well, we could just get that through this building here. Hero recruit rank plus two faction wide. 
Um, I could build that once the province is grown, so there's still room for it to be built. It's just not a priority right now, that's all. Sorry, tic tac toe. That's a no. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Are you saying we shouldn't get mad at people enjoying things we don't like? Yeah, no, you shouldn't. But people do. They just. Eh, whatever. Alright, you want to get rid of this and put a military building down so that we can sell this to them. Oh, they already sell it pretty high. You just don't want Tic Tac Toe to have it. Okay, we got that back up again, but this turn, the relative faction strength just isn't quite there. And even at 150 relations, he doesn't want an alliance. We have the same enemies. He just doesn't want it. Yeah, Lizardman can be like that. Alright, that is the end of Ark in the Black. And we got a short victory achieved. Nice. Hmm. Hey, that improved. That improved. Yeah, don't disband anything. Just try to get more strength. <laughs> yeah, and we'll see what he says next turn. But yeah, we're approaching eight hours. I really shouldn't stream any longer than that. I also get pretty bloody tired. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. I still think that they plan to put the, the race of Araby in here at some point. Oh, look. Oh, I don't want to just... Yeah, whatever. We've got Saurus with shields. Oh, they come almost at the rank that we wanted anyway, so that's, that's fine. Nice. I definitely prefer regular Saurus Warriors over the spear ones, plus we got regiments right now anyway. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. No, in hang on. Yeah, that and that would probably be a good idea going up against Zinch. Yeah. And that would be good. Cool. Move on. Get some heroes. Money. Isn't short victory only for dwarves? Do you know what they should make it? They should make it so that dwarves don't actually get short victory condition. They only get quick victory condition. Or long victory condition. <laughs> they should really change it so they don't get they don't get short victory condition. You also have the Blessed Saurus Warriors. Oh you're right, I forgot about them. Yeah. Oh wow, it seems like as soon as I got short campaign victory, people are just like, ah, oh, I'm done, I'm out of here. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, this is this is what happens in Warhammer 3, as soon as you reach a certain milestone, people just like, nope the fuck out of a campaign. It sh you know what they should make it? Short campaign victory, 
makes a whole bunch of grudges for the dwarves appearing. Oh, come on, man. We have to take attrition this turn or else Tic Tac Toe is going to get there before us. Hells are going over. Hang on, let me have a look. Oh, yeah, he is pushing in on Oxyodal, like big time. But that just means that all this shit over here is ripe for the taking. Oxyodal's. Yeah, he's prioritizing getting rid of him. He's like, if I'm going to lose this war, then I'm going to win one war, <laughs> at least. Alright, get over here. Cetra time. Don't want to disband any armies yet. Oh shit, I think Corn did that. Not my problem. Oh, uh, it might one day be. Uh, that'll do it. Yeah, because we want to increase the sell price. So if you have a look at this, for example, just making salt. Alright, so look at this one. 20 barrels of salt. What does that mean? So if assuming you sell all of it, 20 barrels of salt means 200 gold. That's the maximum money that you can make from that building. The maximum. Which is the exact same as this, except this has a plus 4%. So this one is actually better at it. So the way that the resources buildings is currently set up with um, lizardmen, most of them aren't worth building, most of the time. This is this is better buildings to build. You know what? We kind of need more cash. We've got a fair few armies. Okay. Come on, Tic Tac Toe, you've, you've been, yeah, I don't know. Oh, Miz, he is kind of stronger than me. Kind of. Hmm. Hang on, he wants me to... Okay, well that dude's on the other, other side of the lake, so that's fine. Maybe Oxyodal is easier to confederate now that he is in the last leg. Yeah, he probably would be, if we could get there in time. I'm not really worried about it. Like I said, I'm going to stop streaming in a few minutes. The Lizardman skill tree still offends my eyes more than any of the others in the game. Fair enough. I miss the days of War Two streams. Love that the Warden and Paunch DLC was released. Best times. I agree, that was the best of times. But you know, you get good times, and then you get not so good times, and maybe good times will come around again. Yeah. Yeah. It's easy to sit here and say, ah, CA sucks, everything sucks. But we've got to keep in mind that 10 years ago, Rome 2 was being released. And that had to really fucking suck. Really, really, truly suck. And at the end of the day, they did eventually make it another great game. And so I think that they can do it again. One day. It might be this game. It might not be. But one day. So, tic-tac-toe. so is this hard to get stronger than him in Legendary Difficulty? I'll probably push towards Fortress of Dawn.
And yeah, I can't borrow any of his armies, even if I did have enough influence. Because he just refuses to, to get a military. It's easy to get a confederation. I just... I could threaten him. That might work. I don't know, I just hate threaten. Just, it's a really bad mechanic. Try to send him down here, but he'll probably just go for that instead. If he got wounded, he would definitely confederate, but the AI is just not going to prioritize him. Alright, keeping an eye on Oxyodal as well. To threaten and see what happens. Alright, next turn, I'll threaten just to see what happens. But we'll, we'll wrap it up there. It'll backfire. So it'll definitely backfire. If it's, um... If it's under 10, it is most likely going to backfire, especially if they're as strong or stronger than us. I can't see a threat in work. And even if I did threaten, I wouldn't want to because I would lose my reliability. It would just collapse the campaign. Yeah, he didn't listen to his fucking orders. Get one of his army skills on purpose. I, that's a great idea, but he doesn't want a military alliance. There's nothing I can do. To, I can't borrow his armies. That's the problem. Lizardman diplomacy is just really weird. They just outright refuse to do anything. We have 150 plus relations with them. He doesn't want a military alliance. We have the same, exact same enemies. Doesn't want a military alliance. Jess Ammonium became a member for 13 months. Yes, bully him. All right, thanks, dude. Thanks for the chat. Ah, membership, I mean. I'm very tired now. Time to wrap it up. So let's see. Sigal Sarsulkal Bottle Teradons Matu Ruta. Yeah, see, didn't work. Anyway, time to wrap it up. Alright, let's go chuck a host over to somebody. Let's see who wants to live stream. Or who is live streaming, I mean. And we'll chuck him a host. But yeah, I had fun with this campaign for sure. I'm sure if we just kept playing the campaign, eventually it would just show up with a uh, confederation, but it largely just comes down to tic-tac-toe just being as strong as us. Alright, let's chuck the host over to... Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's... Let's chuck it over to Snake Nerd Gamer. Because I don't think he's been live streaming that much, and it's good to see him back. And everyone else we've pretty much hosted over the past few days. So let's chuck a host over to him. Help him get to 1,000 subs. Uh, hang on, just let me just get set up. But yeah, I really appreciate all the support today, guys. Live stream. Another live stream will either be a hot seat campaign. Or it will just be another live stream campaign. Sometime soon. Like in the next day or so. There we go, I set up the raid. Go and show Snake Nerd Gamers some love. Maybe he wants bugs or a stick. Oh, who knows, don't worry about it. Anyway, that's the end of this one. I, I get the, what you meant, carrot or a stick. Anyway, that's the end of this one. Appreciate you guys, and I'll see you next time.